Kerner, we're going to go on a little bit early here. We have just seen the worst fight I think I've ever seen in my life, but we are ready to rock and roll here. Hey guys, how you going to today on VCAS Sport? We're here for fight night between Michael Zarafa and Isaac Hardman. Now, this is going to be a really fun fight to watch here because... Um, I can hear myself right now. Oh, now I can't. Um, this is going to be a really, really fun fight to watch here because these guys actually genuinely do dislike each other with a passion. These guys actually do genuinely hate each other. And we saw that in the uh, the weigh-in and the press conference and we've been seeing it on, on Instagram and uh, the socials for literally years now. That these guys just simply can't see each other, specifically more so on Hardman's side. And um, I'm definitely expecting a Hardman victory here today and I want nothing more than to see Hardman knock out Zarafa because Zarafa is a little flog um but in the same sense it'd be it's it's going to be super interesting because obviously Zarafa has the I guess bigger name uh I guess uh but Hardman is just simply the better fighter so that fight will come up soon I'm not even going to bother talking about the fight that we just watched because that was woeful like I Latia La, La, whatever I'm sorry I don't even know the guy's name that was honestly the worst fight I've ever seen in the history of my life hold on one second here I want to go get it it was between uh, it's not even here technically on the undercards. The, the, the names aren't even technically on the undercards here. So that's Jack Gipp and Nick Wright were meant to fight, but it was Levitia or something like that. It was it was genuinely horrible. So um, this is the undercards right now, guys. We've still got a little bit before we got to get to the main event. Uh, we have got Campbell Sullivan versus Lawrence Glover coming up tonight. Kimelina Ross versus Zoe Puterak in a four-round super welterweight. Carly Salmon, Christina Jacobs in a six-round featherweight. Benjamin Bomber versus Waywit Nariruk in an eight-round super middleweight. Then we get to a really good fight here, and this is actually the only title fight of the night, which is Shaneka Johnson versus Melissa Esquivel. Melissa Esquivel is a very good fighter. Uh, Twelve round, uh, sorry, ten rounds, super bantamweight, vacant IBF women's super bantamweight title, and then we obviously get to the main card, main fight, which is Michael Zarafa versus Isaac Hardman, which is a twelve round middleweight IBF middleweight title eliminator. So it's not for genuinely the title, but it is for a uh, world title eliminator. So guys, let's go and hit that thumbs up button. Obviously, subscribe for new round here. Uh, we're going to be here for quite some time. Uh, get your best on who you reckon is going to be winning. Let me know in the chat what your thoughts are, and uh, yeah, just let's let's get going. I'm taking I'm taking I'm taking uh, Isaac Hartman, and I just don't simply care. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jay Hayes dropped the link to the Beacats Put USA channel. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much. Are you see at Tama Pio says Hartman by fourth round. Uh, I honestly think it could be even quicker. I genuinely do. I think he's going to be simply the much better fighter here today, and I think he's going to put. Uh, I think he's going to put uh, Zarafa to the sword and Zarafa's going to realize, because we saw, we, we were meant to see this fight ages ago. You know, this fight was meant to happen beforehand, but obviously Zarafa didn't do it. I'm actually going to turn the fan on, guys. It's really hot right now. Um, but uh, Zarafa, this this fight was meant to actually happen last year, uh, but Zarafa is a little girl and uh, he she ran away uh, from the last fight that I believe was meant to be in Newcastle. Uh, on the two undercard, maybe, or it might have been their own fight. I'm not too sure, but the fact of the matter is, is that this this fight was meant to happen already, but it hasn't because Rafa is a little girl. Uh, Sajan Collins, would love to see Rafa get his shit rock tonight. Come on, Hardman. I think we will be, man. I think we will be seeing uh, him get his shit rock tonight. There's just no... There's no way that I can see a world in which uh, Zarafa is a better fighter. Um, Hardman still hasn't lost, and uh, I think he's going to be uh, continuing tonight. It's really, um, it's funny though. I'm watching this on Fight TV now. Fight TV said this was meant to start at 5 p.m., so I had this scheduled for 5 p.m. Uh, who's fighting Sue? Uh, oh, he was fighting Sue. That's right, Ants. But see, you're right. Yes, yeah, Zarafa was meant to fight Timmy Sue, uh, but obviously Zarafa would have got flogged in that fight. Like Zarafa would have genuinely gotten flogged in that fight. Now, next up, guys. We do have Ross versus Puterak. Uh, I'm not too sure here, um, but let's see how this one goes down. Uh, Ross, uh, Kimelina Ross versus Zoe Puterak, four-round super welterweight here. So uh, we've got how many fights to go then? So the, okay, we're already here. So we've only got four fights until the main main event, which is great to see. So obviously, as you guys know, I commentate uh, I commentate the fight here. Uh, when the uh, actual rounds are on. In between rounds, I'll talk to you guys in the chat and ask your opinions and ask your thoughts on what's going on. If it's a really shit fight, I probably will even talk to you throughout it. But uh, the main thing is, is that I can't show you to broadcast restrictions what's actually happening in the fight. The best I can do is commentate it and let you guys know. So like I said, thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get ready to rock and roll. Where is... So this fight's in Melbourne. This fight's in Melbourne. I think this is where... Zarafa is from Melbourne, isn't he? I think Hardman's uh, Queenslander, isn't he? I'm going to have a quick little look-ski here. Isaac Hardman. Where's uh, where is Hardman actually from? 
Where is he actually from here? Uh, Australian. We know he's Australian. Uh, where is Isaac from? And Ampl- says, I just saw Lavadia and thought he looked familiar, and he did because he fought Mundine, son on the Sunday with Williams vs. Hall card. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this fight was raucous. Like, this one was was raucous. Yeah, he did fight Mundine's son on the undercard. The last one, he looked way better than what I just saw. So, honestly, genuinely believe that that was throwing that last, this this one here. It was, wow, that chick is sexy as shit, whoever's sitting in the first row there. Oh, my God. Dude, don't even watch the fight tonight. Just look at whoever that chick was. Go back to her. Oh, my God. Damn, bro. Um, yeah, so Lavadia was way better against Mundine's son. That last fight was embarrassing, man. That last fight was absolutely shocking. Where is he from? Where is he from? He's from Brisbane. I was right. Yeah, so Harbin's from... So that makes him even a better bloke, you know? Makes him an even better bloke there, uh, Mr. Isaac Harbin, because he's a Queenslander as well. And it's because that's very short notice to take a fight. Yeah, that's cool and all, but that was woeful. Like, that was just embarrassing. Uh, surely show us the chicks. Well, we've got a, uh, a a woman fight right now, women's fight right now between Kim and Lena Ross and Zoe Putarak. She comes on out here. I want to see a good fight here. No, I want to see a couple of good fights. We saw some good fights on that undercard of the uh, the Harry Gar side and Munru Mate uh, fight the other night. So hopefully tonight... Um, Hopefully tonight we can see. Uh, hopefully tonight we can see something uh, similar in regards to that Dargan and uh, Sims fight. That was an unbelievable fight. All right. Well, NS Blitzy, are you having a bet on this one, big fella? Are you having a bet on this one, big bro? I don't know who the favourites are. I don't know who is the uh, who the one who is looking the likely out of these two uh, ladies. My last name is Ross, so I better get around Kimelina Ross. Uh, and. Here we go. I'm interested, but are you getting on a bet tonight in regards to this? Zoe Puderak is a fight debut in the blue corner. And so he says, find your Muppet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's about to get on. We're on here, boys. We are on here, boys. And so he says, a very pa- fast-paced walkout. Uh, Rahul Samar says, Blaze should have taken a quick sneaky pick, mate. I should have probably. You know, I probably should have. Probably should have. But, jeez, uh, this chick is ripped, man. She's my sister, Kimelina Ross, you know. We're both ripped, so, you know, we're just... Uh, <laughs> it's a fight debut as well here. So, the, both these two fighters are having their debut. I wonder how much interest this fight is going to uh, to pick up tonight. I wonder how many people actually care about this fight here. They don't look like they really hate each other. They don't really look like they're angry at each other. And it's just a little bit awkward here. This <laughs> That was a bit awkward there, that stare-off. But I tell you what, this Puderak chick... I, I think the Puderak is going to win. So, and it's basically, what are you doing? Are you getting on a bet or are you getting on? Who's your, who's your one? $3 on who? $3 on who? Let us know right now. All right, underway here. I'll give us 20 cents each fight so we can add up at the end of the night, but it doesn't add up to a dollar. I'll just donate that. All right, so we're underway here. Two minutes and 53 seconds to go here of round one. And uh, Kimelina Ross coming over. Oh, hell, Puderag comes over the top there with the right, and that one does land. Ross goes forward there with the left, misses that jab, and then uh, Puderag just goes for right and left, and... You can definitely tell this is a fight debut right now for both these ladies, but uh, Puderak is definitely finding the... Uh, sorry, Kimelina Ross is definitely finding the way through more so. Ross comes through again with a left and a right. Puderak controlling where it is, but I'm telling you right now, Ross is... Uh, she's moving around the better, and good right there that does connect, goes across, goes forward there. Now, you can obviously tell Puderak is... Oh, they're going for a bit of a swing here. Two minutes, 16 to go here off round one. I wonder if there's actually any power behind these puns. That's what we're going to see here. Puderak is the only is, is the one coming forward though, but nothing that she's doing is actually too threatening or, or, or anything good. But that's a really good right there from Ross and also from Puderak. I'm feeling like Puderak would be the favourite here though. I would say she's the favourite, but you know this is a very difficult one to to read. But Puderak is definitely the one in in uh, the aggressor right this second. I mean, 45 to go here of round number one. Uh, this, there's not much going on here. There is definitely no power behind these punches. They're just obviously throwing them. Uh, Puderak comes there with a couple of left, left jabs. And she goes over the top there with the right, misses that. And Ross with a left right. I'm telling you right now, Ro- Ross is actually probably throwing the better punches, but Puderak is putting the aggression in. And she's actually the one moving this fight around and coming forward and goes for a body shot there with the right. That's a left and a right that both kind of land there. It's a good right there from Puderak. That one wobbles uh, Ross a little bit there. Minute 10 to go here of round number one. Puderak to the body with the right. She's still on the uh, 
the ropes. Puderak is really defining exactly where this fight is. She'll come with the right and the left. She's just absolutely smothering her. Um, oh, it's a two-minute round here. And, geez, you can see that, that chick in the front row. Um, but there we go. So round one there, I'd give that one to Puderak. Dylan uh, Circle says, who you got winning? I got Hardman winning, man. I do. I got Hardman winning. Uh, and I got him by winning by TKO knockout, man. I just think that Hardman's the better fighter. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Ross had a couple of better punches. I'm telling you, Ross had better punches. That's a 50-50 round because the punches were actually better from Ross. She actually did better, but Puderak was the one who was defining everything that the fight was doing. She was coming forward. She was moving around. And um, I don't know. That's a hard one to tell because I, I genuinely believe that Ross probably threw the better punches there. I, as a judge, would actually probably lean that one with Puderak because of the fact that she was always coming forward and she still was throwing a lot. But in the same sense, like I said, Ross did pretty well. I've just seen the girl goddamn net. And it's basically anyone who's watching the screen, you know what I'm talking about, baby. You know what I'm talking about when we got a good viewing of this fight. Even when the men are on, we're going to have a good viewing of this fight. Four of them, too. I think they're the ring girls. They must be the ring girls. They must be the ring girls down there. Surely. All right, so round number two here. Round number two. Oh, here we go. Ross comes over there with a nice little left-right flurry. Puderak comes forward there with the left. She'll miss that one. And Ross comes over with the right, and she'll miss that one. I don't know. I'm feeling like Ross might be the better fighter here. I feel like she might be. She may not be the aggressor, but she's definitely the better fighter, in my opinion. So Ross, with a left and right there, they're just going at it, and they're in for a bit of a clinch. That's the first clinch we've seen. We don't even get a clock right now. We have no clock. We have no clock, ladies and gentlemen. We have no clock here. We don't know how long this has been going for. Poodre oh, good right there from Ross. Really good. She's definitely winning this round two right now. Ross comes underneath there with a, a body shot. Puderak comes. Oh, Ross lands a nice little left chin slap up there. Nice little left chin slap up. Puderak comes forward with the left. She'll miss that. Into the corner now. She can try and do something here, Puderak, but she's not getting anywhere near enough. She'll get a nice little left uppercut there, though. And uh, body shot, body shot, body shot. And that should be... Uh, I, I, honestly, I have no idea how long there is to go in this in this round because there is no timer right now. Oh, jeez. Ross went and powered through that punch, but unfortunately, she'll just miss. That would have been a knockout if she actually landed that one, but it didn't happen. So, Puderak cuts forward again. That's a really good right there from Ross. Really good right. Another right and a left body shot. Puderak comes forward there. And Ross is the better fighter here. She is. She really is. And that's going to be a left there. Both landing. Puderak's not really doing anything like genuine. There's nothing really, you know, quality about what Puderak is doing. Just because she's coming and being aggressive doesn't mean really shit right now. Ross still moving around here, just trying to figure out where exactly she's going to go next. Goes for a right. She lands that one. Oh, that's a good left jab there from Puderak. I think it's probably like less than 10 seconds here, surely. It's got to be around that 10 seconds to go mark. They're both in the corner right now. Puderak is just trying to land him, and that is the end of the second round. I'm giving that second round Ross. I'm giving that second round to Ross there, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are. Ryan Zuggs, is this on Fox? No, it's uh, on fight.tv. So I, uh, it's $40. $40 for the event, which is, I believe, way too much for an event that is not a fight title. It is not for the title. Uh, but Zarafa and Hardman do obviously have a bit of a crowd that uh, do support them. So I get it. But with that being said, I think it should have been a $20 fight because the undercards here are all, you know, this is a fight debut. The last one was just woeful and... Um, I think that Shanika Johnson and, and Melissa Esquivel plus Michael Zaraffa and Isaac Hartman are probably the two fights that are the only ones worth uh, worth really caring for right now. Uh, Will just says, up as Rafa KO win, hopefully. No way. Well, no way. I don't want Zaraffa to win. I don't want Zaraffa to win. That guy's a wanker. And Splitz, he says, I'm watching on fight, and the chat's not even talking about the chat. They're talking about the girl, a bunch of horn dogs. Are they really? Are they really? I'm going to have a look here. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're either all talking about the girl or they're talking about how much they want to punch on with each other. I was I was doing that before too. I was I was saying that I was going to punch them all out and stuff like that. It's just a random... It's, it's a chat that's associated with the, the, the live stream, guys. Is this a three-rounder or four-rounder? This is a four-rounder. So there's one more round after this. One more round after this. And that's going to be a good left there from uh, Budarak. And here we go. A couple body shots. They're just going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Can we please... Can we please, can we please have a timer? Can we have a timer? I'd say it's probably 20 seconds gone here, and Puderak probably start off the better here in this round three. I still am maintaining that Ross is the better fighter here. She'll get the right there. Puderak comes for the left and the right. She is the bigger. I guarantee you she's got the extra reach. She's definitely taller. 
Her frame is a lot better, bigger, but uh, Ross definitely is 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 more of the uh, the body for a boxer. Puderak comes with the left and right. Now Ross returns there with her own right. She'll go underneath there. She's ducking and weaving. She'll go for a left. Nothing really too much lands there. Puderak has her in the corner right now. Can she get something done? Can't do anything there. Ross comes with the left, lands that one, but then Puderak just keeps her in the corner right now. None of her punches are doing anything, though. Ross will land a left. None of these punches are actually doing anything from Puderak. These are woeful punches. And then Ross comes over the top with the right there. She's working it now, Puderak, but she's not doing anything. Like, there's nothing... She's just shoving her into the corner, really. There's nothing actually going on here. She'll duck underneath that one. Also, oh, that's a good left jab there from Puderak. That one will land. Ross comes up the top there with a the right, and she'll kind of sneaky get a bit of a cheek onto that one. Puderak is just opening up right now, but she's just not... That's a good right. And now that's a good left. Okay, she's starting to do a little bit better now. Here we go. Here we go. Puderak is definitely winning this round three right now. She's just been letting go with flurries, man. Flurry, flurry, body shot here. She just keeps coming forward right now. She's just got the pace. She's just got the energy. She just keeps coming forward, and that's going to be the end of round three there, and that is honestly a 10-8 round. I think that's probably a 10-8 round, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I know, Ennis, but see, I know. I, I get off that chat. Uh, the co the colors of men of culture. Harrison Holmes says, how do you watch it, mate? Uh, due broadcast restrictions, I can't obviously show you. Um, I've paid for the fight and fight.tv, man, so I can cover this event. Um, but I can't, I don't know how to watch it illegally. I don't know a stream, man. Uh, the best I can do is commentate it. Uh, but the main events are still a while away. If you are trying to find a stream, otherwise the best you can do is listen here, bro. Um, uh, but there is also, um... There is also, what's it called, uh, Fight TV, which is $40, which I've, I do think is overpriced. I do think that $40 is overpriced for this event. And as we said, Sebastian Grammer can't argue with, his, with you there. Orange and black. Is that, are you talking about the Tigers? What's going on here? What are we doing here? What are we, what, what are we doing here? What, what's going on? What are we doing here? Tessa Dossie says, hi, hello, Tessa Dossie, how we doing? All right, so round number four going on the way here. I would have called that as a 10-8 round. Wow, they've got a timer here. So two minutes to go here of the final round. I honestly would have given that as a 10-8 round of Puderak. Ross did literally nothing. She did literally nothing. That second round would have been a 10-9 in my opinion to Ross. And I think the first round probably was a 10-9 to Puderak here. But Ross is starting to come back a little bit. So what I'm calling is a um, 39... What am I calling? 39-8... Nine, geez, I can't do the math right now while I'm watching this fight. A minute 30 to go here. Someone do the math for me. I've got uh, Ross, I've got Puderak winning round one, 10, nine. I've got uh, Ross winning uh, round two, 10, nine. And then I've got Puderak winning round three, 10, eight. I can't do the math right now. So a minute 18 to go here and Ross is giving it a go. She gives it a nice left and right there. And then Ross comes to the top. The work rate here from Puderak though has just been phenomenal. She just keeps coming forward here. Left, right, she's just unloading, man. Not that they're doing anything, but she's just unloading and they're just scoring. She's just getting score after score after score, man. And this is just going to be... This is just going to be... Uh, uh, yeah, it should be a win here for Puderak in this fight unless we can see Ross get a knockout. And I can't be seeing a knockout right now. I don't see anyone getting a knockout in this this fight as we speak. 44 seconds to go here. Puderak, body shot, body shot, body shot. That's a nice land there. Body shot again. Al, um, Ross will come underneath there with an uppercut, though, but nothing significant. Puderak with a left, right, left, body shot, uppercut, left, right, uppercut. Jeez. Nothing powerful, but look at this. Oh, right, left. Now she comes forward again. The pace, the energy here from Puderak is just mad. Left jabbed, lands nicely. She'll come forward again. Ross just can't get away from this. This is just... She's just up in her face the whole time. She's just up in her face the entire time. It's a really good fight tactic here from Puderak, in my opinion. She has not let Ross get a breath of fresh air at any stage. She's just been up close and personal the entire time. And this should be a unanimous decision victory here for Puderak. And that will be the end. That will be the end. As he says, please, Ross, I have 20 cents on this. Well... <laughs> I don't think so, brother. I don't think so, brother. You're going to lose 20 cents because Puderak should be getting the win here. There's no way Ross got the win in this one. No way. Jeez, yeah, she does have something on that left eye there, Puderak. 
Uh, T-Max says, Rafa is a big test for Hardman. Rafa is a bit of a dog, but he's a legit challenge. Oh, no, absolutely, T-Max. If Hardman wins, I reckon it'll be early around stoppage. Uh, stoppage. Not too sure where he gets a decision. Um, yeah, I agree. I said that I think Hardman can knock him out in the early rounds, though. Um, I think Hardman is the better fighter. Uh, I think that Zarafa is a dog, yeah. I think he's a little scared dog, too. Um, but with that being said, I, I just think that winners win, losers lose, and, and, and Hardman's a winner, man. Hardman's a winner. I was going to say, Sebastian, 30 to 28 didn't make sense. 30 to 28 didn't make sense. But I would have given that last round there as a 10-9 to Puderak. So um, I would be giving that that this uh, fight as a 39 to 39-26. I'll be saying 39-26. Teddy T says, 20 cents loss, that's life changing. No, you go to a dollar. Just a dollar per fight. Come on, man. Get a, get a dollar, India. Give us something. Give us something. Get a dollar per fight. It's all good fun. All good fun. But obviously, wait until the end. Don't obviously do it each and individual time. Just wait until the end. So we're waiting here for the official scorecard. This is my opinion, by the way. Honestly, we could still genuinely see... Um, we could see Ross win, but I doubt it. Cooper Jobs says, I have Zarafa on points personally. Should be a good fight regardless. Absolutely, Cooper. Um, but I hope it, you're wrong. I would rather I'd rather see Hardman win this one. Uh, I also said 30-28. You guys can't do math. I did the math. I did the math around here. I did the math around here. I can't even do the math. I'm a commentator. I'm not a mathematician. What do you expect from me? All right, here we go. After four rounds, I called 39-36. Judge Andrew scores it. 39, 37, red corner. Wait, what? 39C7, blue corner. What? 38, a draw. No, 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 no. No, no, that's, I'm sorry, that's stupid. No, 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 that's... No, no. No, that's a terrible decision there. How is that a draw? No, that's robbery, man. That's a dead set robbery there. That's a robbery. No, sorry. Sorry, but get off it. Get out of it. That's ridiculous. So we're going to do draw... No, no, we don't want to see a rematch of that one. That's, um... That's a diabolical decision there. Oh, wow. Boxing is such a controversial sport, man. <laughs> Boxing is such a controversial sport. That is uh, really stupid. Um, wow. At this level, man, like, come on, bro. We're, we're adults here. Like, give us, an act, give us the result that we all know actually just happened there. That was woeful. It was clear that Puderak won that fight by a decent bitch. She slapped her up. Who was the fight who gave two rounds? No, sorry, three rounds to uh, to Ross. Three rounds to Ross? Are you joking, bro? What on earth are you talking about? Hold on a second here, guys. I'm just fixing this draw here. That's ridiculous. All right, let's do that. There we go. All right. Chicken and black, easy win. Exactly right. Everyone's talking about it. $20 judges for a fight, $40 fight card. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. All righty. So that will be technically a draw there. And okay, cool story. Um, <laughs> a cool story, man. <laughs> uh, Hardman and uh, is a ragdoll flea bag. Wow, nice. Cool story, bro. ZDT says, make the judges watch the match on TV so they can see the fight better. Dude, that was that's so bad. I just don't understand how you could have called that fight in that way. I don't get how you could have called that fight in that way. By the way, there's barely any break between fights here. They're just going bang, bang, bang. Like, they're about to announce the next fight already. And it says money's safe. Well, well no. No, no, no. The money's not safe. It, you didn't win. So, Somerville versus Glover coming up here, guys. 26-35. Uh, one and no record for Somerville. Debut for Glover. Orthodox stance for both of them. Uh, but Somerville has a nine year... He's nine years under. He's nine years age advantage in regards to being the youthful prospect there. And he says judges were too busy looking at the girl. Uh, yeah, fair. Fair. So we are ready for the next bout. I'm cra- this is crazy. This is just going bang, 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 bang. We get no break. We get no break. So I don't think I've actually got this on this here, do I? Do I have it? No, I don't. I don't. I've got Salmon and Jacobs. I've got Bomber and Hariruk. I've got Johnson and Esquivel and then Zarafa and Hardman. This is a shocking undercard, by the way. I just want to throw this out here. This is a shocking undercard and terrible coverage. 
I really believe this should... We, we, no limit is so much better than this. No limit is so much better than this. This is such a dead undercard, man. Honestly, honestly, if I if I knew this, I would have just waited. I dead set would have just waited for the main two fights. Captain James is hard and better win this fight. Zarafa, Zarafa annoys the F out of me. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, guys, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Hopefully, this is a better fight. This card is just so bad. It's so dead. Don't forget, guys, we'll be streaming both NBA playoff games tomorrow on BKR Sport USA with the uh, Boston Celtics going up against the Brooklyn Nets in Game 2. That'll be at 9.30 a.m. I'll be starting that one up. And uh, for the second game, I'll be doing my Chicago Bulls. I'm currently wearing a Chicago Bulls shirt right now. Plus, also, obviously, got my hat on. Uh, the Bulls take on the Bucks in Game Number 2, so we'll be doing that one about 11.30 a.m. Team makes the $40 of this card's robbery. Should be free on Facebook Live until the main event. And honestly, you're absolutely right, too. This is why I said it should be $20. It should be worth $20, man. $40 for this fight, this card is, is a genuinely raucous. Like, truly, it, it, it is robbery. $40. Like, I'll pay it because I, I get paid doing what I do. But, like, you guys paying that is just... Like, I get this money back. You guys don't. And that's why, like... Honestly, it shouldn't be this money. It shouldn't be this much. It should not be this much at all. It's at a bar. I know I saw that and it's litzy. <laughs> this is literally at a bar. This event is literally at, an, at a bar, guys. <laughs> Sebastian Grammer, thank you very much. You just shot the Peak House Sport USA link, guys. If you haven't subscribed to Peak House Sport USA, go and click that one. Don't want to click that one, man. And as says, that a bar. Captain James says, so I shouldn't waste my money to watch. Nah, man. I, honestly, I'd listen to my commentary. And that's not me just picking up my own stuff. I just say, like, it's not worth $40. This card is not worth $40. All right. So, Lawrence Glover here. Fight debut. All right. So, representing Kings, Clip Boxing, James, Boxing, James, try and find a crack stream. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I get the money back for this. You guys don't. So, that's why... I can at least give you the commentary about what's happening. But the main two fights are good. This is what I'm saying. The main two fights are good, but everything else is just dead. Alrighty, here we go. Come on. Campbell, Somerville, one fight, one win, zero losses. His opponent, uh, he's on zero, uh, zero fights. This is his debut, Lawrence Glover. This is a four-round super welterweight. Four-round super welterweight. Hardman bash Zarafa's face in, bro, from Thomas Murden. <laughs> oh, jeez, look at the height advantage in this fight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at the height advantage here between Somerville and uh, Glover. This is mad. This guy's got to be like 6'9". The other guy's got to be like 5'2". All right, so... Somerville here, I think, is in the red and the black is the black is Glover. But Glover here is looking like the, the obviously the more energetic fighter. So three minute rounds times four. Glover, massive, massive disadvantage in regards to height and also reach. Uh, Somerville here with a left and right, but then again, and it splits he knows. Don't always get on that. The advantage is there, but Glover comes in, he, he gets a couple of shots in. One like body shot. Oh, Glover comes over underneath and Somerville tries to slap him away with the left. Breaks through the hands here. Somerville keeps moving forward. Keeps moving forward. Glover goes and hits it with a body shot in the right. Two minutes, 22 to go here. Goes to the left there. Glover is probably doing the better as we currently speak. I still can't believe that last fight was a draw. Somerville now. The advantage is, the reach advantage and the height advantage is just way too much here. He's just crunching him now. He's coming forward. He can get him in the corner. It's all over. That's a left and a right there. Somerville just lands that one nicely. Somerville comes forward with the right, misses that. The right uppercut and the left, and he's just going here. It's just landing everything right now for Somerville. He's got him in the corner, and then Glover lands a nice little uppercut on return. He's in the corner, though. Somerville really can dictate wherever the, where he wants his fight with his reach advantage and his height. It's just ridiculous, the disadvantage here to Glover. Now Somerville just starts landing, just starts going there. Minute 40 to go here, round number one. Somerville with the right, lands that one. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Uppercut misses that last one, though. He goes with the left and the right body shot. Over the top with the right. And over the top with the right again. He goes for the uppercut. 
Oh, jeez. Glover is getting crunched here, man. This is this is Somerville, absolutely. You just can't you can't get away from this height advantage right now. This reach advantage is ridiculous. Somerville comes forward again here. Glover has to really just go on the counter-attack here and just absolutely crunch a powerful body blow. But Somerville lands two left jabs there. Glover with a body shot to the right. I don't think he's going to be able to reach his face, man. Somerville just left, right, left, right. He's just crunching him right now. Left, right, uppercut. Right, left, right again. Left, right. Uh, left, right, left. Oh, Glover's getting crunched. Jeez. Right again. Man, referee, when are you going to stop this at this point, man? Like, this is just humiliating. Oh, he's still going. At least he's got a he's got a heart of gold here, to be honest with you, Glover. 40 seconds to go of round one. He's got a heart of gold, but too early. He's getting crunched. Left, right, left, right. Body shot, body shot. Glover again gets hit across the chops. Somerville comes forward with the left and the right. The referee, oh, man. Glover is still returning, but, like, he's getting humiliated here. 22 seconds to go here of round number one. Somerville left, right, left, right again. This is honestly should be a 10-8 round. Like, it really should be. It realistically should be, but it won't be. He bounces his head back there. 12 seconds to go. He's all over the place. Referee, he's all over the place. He's just getting annihilated right now. Seven seconds to go. Left, right, uppercut, left again from Somerville. And that should be the end of the round here. A body shot, and there we go. That'll be the end of that first round. Wow. Uh, Santa says, sorry if I've told you, bro. Will you do any Super Rugby Trans Tasman streams? I wanted to do the Drua game this week, but I can't. Uh, but maybe this week, man, there might be, I might be able to do something this week. I'm not too sure. I will give it a go. Um, it's very difficult, though, Santa, with obviously the NRL on. Uh, but whenever I can, I will try. Because I do do my best, man. Obviously, I'm very flat out. But I'll, I will try my very best, my guy. K versus Luau, Luau, but the advantage is being used. Yeah, the advantage is being used here, ZDT. The advantage is being used. Um, Captain James, I'll listen to your commentary. Honestly, it probably is better. Uh, ZDT says, understand why they made 40 the price. They measured the price by the judge's IQ. There is that option too. Sebastian Gomez, it sounds like he's talking, taking some serious punishment, the wee guy. He is, man. He really is. Like, Glover is returning a body shot to the side, and, and that's really about it, man. There's nothing... There's nothing good really coming from him besides a, a random uh, oblique shot, which is actually, you can see it's quite red there for some of all, but nothing of any kind of legitimate note here. All right, so second round here. I'll say it's oh, uppercut again already. That's a right, and uh, Glover is trying, but Somerville again. By the way, boys, if you don't have the fight, honestly, the $40 is nearly worth it just to see these ring girls on the sideline. I'll tell you what. They are just super. The one, the one that we know, the one that I'm talking about, she is unreal. I'd rather watch her than the fight right now. I'm watching her. Oh, jeez, but Glover gets a nice left there. Lancing on Somerville. That's the, the, um, and also, I think this is his professional debut here, 35 years old. That's the one, you right? Glover is giving it a go. Like, Somerville is winning this fight and will win this fight, but Glover is giving it a go. So, two minutes, 20 to go. Somerville comes forward there with the left, misses that, and lands the left, right, left. Glover goes for a body shot, misses that, left body shot, and then Somerville with just a couple of uppercuts there. Both of them miss, though. Two minutes, 10 seconds to go here of the second round. Lands a right. That's a really good right there. And a left as well. Somerville just opens up there. Glover with a body shot. Now Somerville returns to the left and a right over the top. Uppercut there from Glover. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Gee whiz. Left again. He's just going here, Somerville. He's just going here. I don't even know if he can knock him out, but all I know is that he's he's definitely winning this fight here, Somerville. So a minute 45 to go here of uh, round number two. Glove with the body shot again. Easy defense there for Somerville. Comes forward at the left, lands a jab, lands a jab again, comes up the top of the right. Body shot again from Glover. That's literally all he can do right now. Only thing that Glover can do is genuinely just body shot, body shot, body shot. Somerville comes up the top of the left, right, lands a good, here's a good flurry, here's a good flurry, here's a good flurry. And another good left there from Somerville, man. Glover with up over the top there with a the right. Body shot lands. Oh, I don't even know. This is just, oh, man. Oh, uppercut, 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 uppercut from Somerville. And all of them are landing on Glover right now. Oh, jeez. Body shot. Oh, whack with the right. Left, right, uppercut. He's just loving this uppercut right now. Oh, my God. Referee, bro. Referee. You had to stop that, man. He finally does stop that. It's over, but like referee, that was that was, you had to stop that earlier, my guy. Wow, you got to give Glover a go though, man. Like truly, I want to say Glover gave it a crack, but holy shit, referee, 
you let him get annihilated before you stepped in for that fight. So Somerville will get the TKO there. Look at this. Just bang, 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 bang. Uppercut, bang, left, right, uppercut, left, 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 right, uppercut, left, uppercut, left, right, left, bang, uppercut, done. Jeez. That's what the referee just allowed before he stopped that. <laughs> oh, man. As well, he says, I can't find a crack show in the car. It's just the shit. That shit. Captain James, they need the ring girls to do some jelly wrestling by the sounds of it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. That's what we're here for, mate. That's what we're here for. And the odd opportunity that maybe they thought, you know what? We're going to get some jelly wrestling here. We're, or mud wrestling. Jelly wrestling? Eh, mud wrestling. That's the shit. That's the shit. That was a very good fight there from Somerville, though. That was a very good fight there from Somerville. He kept going and going and going, and his punches were landing, man. But yeah, finally, the referee finally stopped it, and uh, there we go. As Hatchet Colton says, the only reason uh, to buy this fight is the ring girls to see Zarafa potentially get floored. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. So I obviously don't have this on the uh, on the card over here. That's because this was meant to be the original fight, and these are usually meant to be the last over here. Sorry, uh, they're meant to be the last five fights, but they put the Ross Puderak fight before this one, which was odd. All right. So maybe Salmon versus Jacobs is on next. I'm not too sure because uh, Jack Gipp has already fought in one of the worst fights you would you would have ever seen. Uh, Somerville and Glover just fought then. Uh, Ross and Puderak have already fought. So I'm assuming this is Salmon versus Jacobs up next, which is a six-round featherweight fight. All righty. Jack Spark says, who do you have in this fight? I hope Hardman retires the rap. Oh, Jack, stop it, man. I really want you to be right, man. I want, I'm excited for you to be right. I'm excited for you to be right, please. Please. Zarafa just talks so much for a guy who is he's dogged multiple fights. Like, bro, if you're a boxer, man, that means that, like, I'm not a boxer, yeah? So I'm going to talk shit and say, I wouldn't beat Zarafa. Zarafa would beat me. I know this. I have an advantage on him in regards to height and probably reach. Uh, but when it comes to boxing IQ and actually fighting itself, I am not the good boxer, right? Um, but I'll give it a go. But I'm not a professional boxer. But I will sit here and I will say that Zarafa, when you are a boxer... And you hide and duck and run from any fight. You are a bitch, right? Because you're going into that ring knowing that you can die at any moment anyway. But instead of going in against good opponents, he's chosen easy opponents because the guy's a little flop. And then he will talk as if it's the other guy's fault and it's the other guy's problem for why he isn't fighting that guy. Like, too, the amount of excuses that guy made was ridiculous. And it's just like, bro, you're the one who dogged the fight. You dogged the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just raucous. Just raucous. Mr. Lockton says, love this video, BKR. Uh, always 10, always, 10 out of 10, always, as always, love the content. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> but by, by the way, guys, next week is actually a very good... Uh, next week is actually a very good fight. We do have Tyson Fury and Dylan White. Tyson Fury and Dylan White is going to be a fun one to watch next week. Tyson Fury and Dylan White will be a fun one to watch next week. Actually, that's this Sunday. That's this Sunday. Ooh, spicy. That's this Sunday. Tyson Fury and uh, um, Tyson Fury and Dylan White. Gee whiz, there we go. Xavier Brown says, don't watch boxing much. Who would win, Sonny Bill Williams or Jake Paul? Sonny Bill because of the height and size advantage, um, but Sonny Bill is not a good boxer. Jake Paul is a better boxer, and he's not even that good of a boxer. Uh, but he, he is a better boxer than Sonny Bill. But Sonny Bill, because of his height and, and size advantage, and yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, but then again, the fight would probably be rigged. It probably would be. Jack Sparks says, I've only ever sparred, never had a fight in the ring. I admit Zarafa would kill me, but his mouth is too big for his boots. Absolutely. He's a professional boxer. He, we are allowed to criticize him. We are allowed to criticize him. It is just how it is, man. Um, when you do sport and you do, uh, especially in Australia, if you are a big talker, you're going to be getting tall poppy syndrome and people are going to bring you down. And uh, unfortunately, this guy is just simply a wanker. He is. He's just simply a wanker. He's not really done anything to 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 act the way that he does. You know what I'm saying? Like he hasn't really done anything. Well, let's go through his history. Hold on. Let's go on. Let's go Google it. All right. Uh, Zarafa. Michael Zarafa. Um, Michael Zarafa. Uh, fights. <laughs> I've just seen someone saying something about Devin Haney. She was. 
Uh, Michael's Rafa. Here we go. Let's go th- look at look at his 33 fights, 29 wins, and four losses. Uh, so he beat. Uh, okay, let's go back to his start. Beat. Oh, where's the record? Hold on. Is it, show me the record of the opposition. So it'd be uh, Peter Macropotis, David Gall, Jean. Okay, let me just see who's been a good fighter here for one. Let's just see who's been. Luke Sharp's not too bad. Um, <laughs> he lost to Peter Quillen. Unbelievable. Lost to Peter Quillen, Arif Mag- Magomedov. Uh, Kel Brook. He lost to Kel Brook. That's right. Yeah. Got slapped by Kel Brook in a U- U- UD. Um, and then lost also to Jeff Horn. Yeah, it's not, it's not unbelievable. Last fight was Chuck. Uh, no, it wasn't actually. It was still of any Nawai from Fiji. Anyone who chooses, and, and obviously I'm Fijian guys, so I, I'm not disrespecting a Fiji here, but anyone who chooses to fight a Fijian fighter knows they're going to win and they want it just for a win. Right, and that's just how it is. That's just how the kid crumbles. I know it sucks to say. Um, I, I I say this as a Fijian, you know. Um, anyone who chooses to fight one of these Fijian boys, like Silvani Nawai or the guy that we saw before who fought Anthony Mundine's son the other night again, when the Harry Gar signed on a card, you're just going to you're, you're you're trying to fight a Fijian guy so that you get an easy win. So no, the, he he obviously did fight Anthony Mundine. Uh, round one, <laughs> two minutes and nine seconds in. You know? But that was Mundane though. Mundane just wanted to get a few extra dollars. That's why he also fought Jeff Horn. And I was at the Jeff Horn fight. I was at the, the Jeff Horn fight. That's it. Lavadia, whatever his name is. Lavadia was the guy. As Abe Brown says, you're going to Cowboys versus Titans. Maybe, man. Maybe we'll see how we go. But it's a big, big weekend for me, man. I'm doing the NBA playoffs. I've got my Cubs. We've got Tyson Fury versus Dylan White on Sunday. You know, so I've got tonight and then tomorrow in the morning at 9.30, stream BKR Sport USA. Please moderate, drop a link to that one. Uh, but BKR Sport USA, I'll be doing the uh, Boston Celtics and Brooklyn Nets game. And then we'll be going straight into the Chicago Bulls versus Milwaukee Bucks game. I'll have a little bit of a break. I've got to film a video for my BKR tips. Uh, chuck that out for the members. Uh, and then on tomorrow night, I'll go to Australian the Sharks versus Manly game on this channel. And then on Friday, we've got more. We've got baseball at four in the morning for the Pittsburgh Pirates versus Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field. Uh, do some NBA right after that. And then Friday night, we've got another NRL game, obviously. On Saturday, got to give it four in the morning for Pittsburgh Pirates versus Cubs. And then we've got the Bulls game as well. Uh, and then there's the Cowboys Titans game. And then there's the other game on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday night. Get up again on 4 20 a.m. in the morning to stream on BK Sport USA for the Cubbies and the Pittsburgh Pirates game three. Um, then we've got Tyson Fury versus Dylan White, plus we've got NBA players, plus we've got two NRL games. And on Sunday, oh, sorry, Monday, uh, I think there's a break. No, so Monday we have game four at 4.20 in the morning, again, for Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Chicago Cubs. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, and, and you know, then we have two games in NRL. So I'm very busy, man. I'm very busy. I'll see if I can get up to the Cowboys and Titans game. If you guys are just tuning in, obviously, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe when you're here. We're just kind of talking right now between fights. There's a bit of a break between this one and the next one. Uh, Jack Spice says, I wouldn't count the wise a fight. That was a heavy spar for Zarefa. I know, man, but technically, has it here? He's such a flop, man. He's such a flop. I forgot that he originally beat Jeff Horn. I forgot that he originally beat Jeff Horn, and they fought again, and then Jeff Horn won by um, MD in uh, round 10. All-star, BKR, get around him. Good on you, man. Good on you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just looking at the chat on this Zarafa versus Harbin stream. Like, the one that you buy on Fight TV, there's a chat that comes with it, and people aren't really watching the fights. They're just insulting each other, saying, you know, all everything about everyone's mums, about how the women, uh, the attractive women in the crowd, they're not talking about the actual fights, though. Uh, as Blissey says, they should have named Zarafa vs. Mundi in Battle of the Wankers. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Smith says, question mark. What do you mean, question mark, man? Uh, yes, I will be streaming Fury vs. White on the weekend, All-Star. Absolutely. That's at like 4 in the morning too, isn't it? Actually, I, I do have to stream the Cubs game though, man. Jeez. But I want to stream Tyson Fury fight. Actually, what time is that on the weekend? That'll be at like 7 a.m., won't it be? If that's at like 8 a.m. my time or 7 a.m. my time, I can definitely do it. But I do have the Cubs game. But then again, it's Tyson Fury. I may, I should do it. I should do the Tyson Fury and Dylan Whitefire over the Cubs versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. But frustrating because I want to do every Cubs game I do. 
So we're still waiting here for the next fight, guys. And the next fight, I believe, is uh, Salmon and Jacobs. The next fight, I believe, is between Salmon and Jacobs. See, anyone want to come to the pub after the fight and have a punch on? Like, that's what someone's saying in the chat. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Dearie me. What's another big fight coming up soon? Obviously, I know about Cambosis and uh, I know about Cambosis and Devin Haney later on in the year in Melbourne. Um, what's the uh, boxing events coming up? Let's Google this one. While we're waiting here, guys, like I said, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe and new around here. We're just waiting here for the next event and the next uh, fight to come on up. I'm just getting some of the uh, upcoming events on here. Ben James says, did the Cubbies win? How was the NBA? Uh, I didn't do the stream of the NBA today, but I did do the Cubbies and we lost 6-5, but it was a good game. We were down 4-0, came back to 4-3 and then went to 6-3 and then went to 6-5 and we lost 6-5. So, Tommy Fury... Oh, Tommy Fury's fight this week against Daniel Boschanski. Okay. Okay. Uh, Valdez Stevenson. Eh. Jesse Vargas. Eh. Amanda, Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor could be a decent one. That could be a decent one there. Uh, Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol. Yeah, Alvarez versus Bivol. Uh, what other fights have we got? Floyd Mayweather versus Don Moore. Shut up, man. Anderson Silva versus Bruno Machado. Unreal. Badoo Jack. Ah, Badoo Jack. Okay, okay. Uh, Tony Yoko and Martin Bacol. Jamel Charlo versus Brian Castano 2. That's in uh, May 14, Los Angeles. Uh, what else is on here? What else is on here? I can see a bit of chat going up here. Let me hold on. Let's have a look. Uh, Jack Spar says, Hark Hartman did get pretty emotional in his last interview. He might throw it away if he gets work too worked up. Yeah, boxing is obviously a sport, man. You don't want to get too worked up, you know. Um, you, you want to get... Um, you want to get a... Uh, you, you, you really want to have a cool head going into it. You want to hate the guy, but you also want to have a cool head. Smith says, wasn't there just a second round KO? There was, man, yeah. There was a massive height advantage, weight difference, and, and reach advantage in favor of Somerville. And Somerville got a round two KO, yeah. So TKO, sorry, TKO. Uh, also, there's 162 Cubs games, only four Fury fights a year maximum. Well, I think this could be... Well, Fury's on the out, man. Like, Fury's, Fury's going to leave soon. So... Bivolta smash Canelo. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be a good fight, man. I think that's going to be a good fight. Obviously, Canelo's got the name, but Bivol's going to... Bivol's a killer, bro. Javante Davis and Rolly Romero. Uh, that will be on uh, the Barclays Center in New York. Uh, thank you very much to whoever just subscribed. Hold on, let me just go read your name out. Uh, it is SA. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you. Jamel Charlovas, Masiek Suluki. Uh, Louis Ortiz... No, that's for results versus Charles Martin. Okay, they've only got until July 9. Uh, but obviously, yeah, Cambosis versus Haynes is going to be a good one. Bivol, uh, yeah, you know, I'd stream Bivol Canelo, yeah. I love Katie Taylor. Yeah, that'll be a good one. And obviously, you know, Jake Paul does really big up the Amanda Serrano, whatever. I don't really care about that, though. I care about Amanda Serrano, not about what Jake Paul has to say. Um, you can stream more Cubs cam than Fury Fight. Well, what time is the Fury fight? Can you guys check for me? Can you guys tell me what, what time the Fury fight is on this weekend? Because I definitely will stream it. Jack Spice's Canelo wins easily. I think it's going to be a good fight, man. I do believe Canelo wins, but I think it's going to be a good fight. Uh, what is going on here with this? Why is there two guys dancing in the middle of the ring? What is this? No, 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 Fight TV. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but no. What is what is this? Why is there two guys in a white shirt and black pants dancing in the middle of the ring here? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, ZDT says, John Jones meant to fight soon. Would you stream that? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, what's the next UFC fights coming up, actually? Is there... What's the big next the big UFC events? Uh, there's Lemos and Andrade this week. UFC 274. Oh, hold on one second. We've got Charles Oliveira versus Justin Gaethje. Ooh, 8th of May. I look forward to that. Rose Namahunas versus Carla Espaza. Okay. And Tony Ferguson versus Chandler. Okay. Mauricio Rua, Vince St. Preux, and Donald Cerrone versus Joe Lazon. Okay. Okay. I see you. I, I see you. That could be a good one there. UFC 274. I will stream that one. Yeah. I will stream that one. Olivia versus Gaethje. Yeah. Doug Rose. Doug Rose Namahunas. Whoa, whoa. All sides of 10 p.m. main event walkouts at 7 a.m. your time. Oh, that's good, actually. That means that um, that means I can probably miss the first of the... Let's go have a look here. So Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury undercard. Um, that's good, actually, because that could actually help in regards to the fact that the Cubs game starts at 20 past four in the morning. Um, all right. 
So 10 p.m. Head to the ring. So uh, the undercard, which includes Fury's brother, Tommy, is due to begin at 6 p.m. BST, with the headlines expected to head to the ring at some point between 10 p.m. and 10.45 p.m. Okay, so yeah, that would be about like 8, 9. I could definitely do that, yeah. I could do the Cubs game, and then I could do that too. Absolutely. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Why are we still waiting here for this next event? Why are we still waiting here for this next fight? Smith said it's not displayed on results, so it might have a big delay on stream. Uh, oh, so you're talking about here? So I didn't put them on that there. That's me. I, I haven't put that because that wasn't meant to... So basically, I have the last five... Oh, man, it's over here. Shit. It's over here. Um, I have the, the the last five fights there. So they actually put the Ross Puderak fight before the Somerville fight. So that's why it's not on there um, because it doesn't fit. I could do more, but it just it's not worth it, man. These are all undercards between guys who are deb- debutants and whatnot. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter a great deal there. ZDT says, I have Chandler winning over Tony, Gaethje destroying Tony, and Chandler versus Gaethje was amazing. Plus, Tony's about done. Tony's done, man. Tony's done. Jack Sparks says, what's your thoughts on Gallon fighting for a title after his next fight? Yeah, he's fighting um, Tzuzuki, I think, on May 11. Uh, I obviously will stream that one. Um, that should be interesting. That should be interesting. We all just want to see Sonny Bill versus Gal, but Sonny Bill Williams' team is so scared, man. They're so terrified. They're so scared, dude. They're such pitchers. Truly. They really are scared of Gal. Do you like MMA? Yeah, man. I stream MMA too. What are you talking about? Of course I like MMA. Put on a fight. Why are we still waiting here for another fight? I don't get it. I don't know why we're still waiting here. Like, it's been like 20, 30 minutes since the last fight. (laughs) it's, It's been about 30 minutes since the last fight. Why are we still waiting here? Oh, man. Like, this this event is just so odd. It's just such an odd one here. It's in a bar. They've got all debutants on the undercard of a, of a fight that probably does have a bit of traction about it compared. And now we've got people on the other chat saying, meet me now at Footscray Station. Like... <laughs> Zay Brown says, ads, I guess. What do you mean, ads? Oh, well, we've got ads now. Knockout. Home Designs at Knockout Prices. Shut up. I'm not buying your shit. Just put it, hurry up and put it. Home's around 167000 You think people are? Well, I guess if you've got $40 to spend on this, you probably do have money. Jack Sparks said, I laughed so hard when Sonny Williams trained said he's a world title contender. Get out of here. $40 is disgusting for this ZDT. $40 is absolutely a blatant ripoff here. Like this, <laughs> this is actually genuinely a ripoff. But like I said, I get it back. You guys don't. It doesn't matter to me, but... <laughs> It's just funny, man. Like, I can't believe it. But yeah, Sonny Bill Williams is a title contender. Like, bro, he did nothing. Bro, he got a knockout of a guy who was 10 years older than him, who hadn't fought in years, who had a severe weight disadvantage, a severe height disadvantage, a severe reach disadvantage. And (coughs) it only happened for a minute, so you didn't actually get to see Sonny Bill do anything. You just got to see the clear difference between the sizes in bodies. My dear is. Uh, but we're still waiting here for another fight. This is this is surreal. All we're getting is ads right now. I refuse to buy anything from any of these advertisements because of how long we're having to wait. We've seen these ads three or four times in the space of when we've been waiting between fights. <laughs> this is a joke. Get no limit on it, lads. Get no limit on it. Jack Sparks says, the referee's trying to talk his way out of it. He doesn't want to fight now. Probably is the case, man. It probably is the case. It probably is. And it's, but he says, Barry Hall lost his confidence after he got hit and then didn't want to throw because he was scared. Uh, Barry Hall lost his confidence when he realized that he was about five foot smaller than Sonny Bill Williams. Sebastian Grumman says, if you paid that uh, sort of money, you deserve the express uh, to express your frustrations in the live chat that comes with it. I bet it's mental. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, this chat over there is. <laughs> Someone said, just set the smoke alarm off from the pipe. This is getting outrageous. Someone says, I'm going to punch the organizers if they don't sort this shit out. Uh, <laughs> someone now insulting somebody's mother. Um, 
Now there's someone saying that I'm going to fight you at Footscray Station. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's getting pretty full on over there. ZDT53 is almost as bad as the Austin McBroom versus Bryce Hall card. That pay-per-view was $65 and none of the fires were paid. Yeah, but in the same sense, like that was just a bit of entertainment and that was deliberately done for entertainment. This right now is us watching advertisements for half an hour. This right now is us watching advertisements. So we pay $40 to watch advertisements. I am literally paying these guys to show me advertisements right now. <laughs> Uh, Jack Sparks says Barry Hall also cracked his rib three months before the fight it would have killed him getting body rips uh, I don't think he, well if you actually have a look at it the the shot up top like he doesn't actually really get landed upon like there's nothing that he really got landed with um, but with that being said Sonny Bill was just uh, just way too big of a guy man this is why there is a thing in boxing called weight advantage there is a thing in boxing called divisions and uh you don't it, it, it's, it's just not it just it's just it doesn't work alongside each other man they just didn't work in the same ring together gal is much better match to sunny bill than barry hall was and as he says notice how no nrl players or aussie ufc fighters are there um yeah but this is also in melbourne mate this is in melbourne so you're not going to get many rugby league players there uh but then again there's no afl players here too it's just a bit of a shocking event, mate. It is. Jack Spike says, you can see on the stream, Harbin just got there. This fight won't happen for about another two hours. Nah, surely this is them. Nah, bullshit. Surely this is them showing when they did enter, whenever they did. There's no way they're just getting into the getting to the event now. Uh, Sergeant Gilman says, the chat fights and the fight chat should be on this card. Yep. <laughs> Someone just said, I'm going to get in my car and run you over if I see you. <laughs> Xavier Brown says random question what's your favourite pre-game meal um, pre-game meal I had a HSP today and I regret every moment of it but I am about to get into a massive fitness routine so I don't really care what I eat right now because I'm about to go into a massive grind in regards to uh, fitness again oh here we go hey Tom, uh, Tom the bomber bomber here versus Nariruk uh, this card is all over the shop. That's meant to be... Oh, no, it is actually next, but Salmon and Jacobs was meant to be... Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, so, Bomber's 20 years of age. Nuri Rook is 43. Oh, this is a shambles. <laughs> oh, no. There's a 23-year age difference in this fight. There is a 23-year age difference in this fight, guys. There is a 23-year age difference in this fight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. An 8 and 6, 43-year-old. This guy's won eight fights, lost six, and he's 43 years old. <laughs> All righty, here we go, Nari Rook. I reckon even I would have a chance against this guy. Uh, surely. <laughs> surely. He can't be his father. I reckon it is his father. But unfortunately, Daddy's going to have to get worked upon today because I reckon Bomber's going to win this one just because of the age factor, man. It's going to be too energetic. Guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe and you're right here. We'll be back here doing a real fight this week between Tyson Fury and Dylan White. But then again, we do, the Zarafa versus Hardman fight will be a good one. Zarafa versus Hardman will be a good one. Uh, but we have to go through a couple of dodgy, dodgy, dodgy fights here. We've got a couple of dodgy fights here. How can you be proud to stream this fight? <laughs> Uh, he's double his age and more. Honestly, he is over double his age. He is over double his age here, guys. If you do not subscribe, then uh, the Zarafra is going to pull out of this card tonight. Triple Day says, what is a HSV? A HSV? I don't know. A HSV, is that on the screen here? What's a HSV? I don't know. Oh, my God. Now we've got this this massive hype song. Don't stand there, bro. Just walk, man. <laughs> Sorry, we've waited half an hour for this fight. Please walk to the arena. Please just walk, dude. <laughs> we've waited half an hour for your fight. Hurry up. So, the bomber is a Benjamin bomber with two M's. I got confused. I actually thought it was a typo, but it wasn't. That is actually how you spell his name. B-O-M-M-B-E-R. So maybe he might be a good fighter coming through the system. I don't know, but the guy he's fighting, this is an easy win for bomber here. Oh, what's a HS? Oh, HSV. No, HSP, Trevor Daly. P for papa. P for papa. You're about to map it. 
Trevor Early. But no, HSP is a, a halal snack pack. So basically, you get your you get mixed meat, you get fries, you get sauces, you get buddy. I put jalapenos on. Oh, bloody. I just went crazy. And I'm full as. You regret it straight away, though. Once you have a, a HSP, man, it's amazing until it's not. Once you're finished, you're just like, oh, I am literally the fattest bloke alive. So why we, why wit Nay Ray Rook? 14 fights, 8 wins, and 6 losses. He's 43 years old. All right. I think he may be... He's definitely from Southeast Asia somewhere. Definitely from Southeast Asia. <clears throat> and now we've got Bomber from Melbourne, Victoria. This is definitely a fight designed for him just to get a, a win to his name. This is just a... Did someone say snack pack? Me! I had one today and it was bloody amazing. Three fights, three wins for Benjamin Bomber. Uh, but Daz, mate, I've got some bad news for you, mate. I've got some bad news for you, Daz, mate. Uh, firstly, the Lakers aren't in the playoffs, so we won't be doing their playoff game tomorrow. Uh, but secondly, this undercard has been absolutely ho- horrific. Jim Bill says, a HSV is a Holden special vehicle. Fully sick for doing skids. Oh, my God. I, I just know that this fight is designed. I know that this fight, I know what we're about to witness here. This fight's going to be over in the round one. This fight will be over in round one, guys. Book it. All right, guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe. 23 years age difference here. 43-year-old going against a 20-year-old. And uh, the 43-year-old is 8-6. and six. The 20-year-old is 3-0. and oh. So, hmm. If you don't get boxing, you're about to understand boxing. Three minutes to go here of round one. Bomber in the blue. Nari Rook in the, uh, in the gold trunks. And uh, Bomber here just trying to wait for his moment. Goes for a body shot there. He'll come forward there. That's, to be fair, Nari Rook's got a punch on him. He's got a jab on him there. That was a nice little jab. But then, oh no. Bomber goes for a right, lands that one. <clears throat> You can see, oh wow, that was a pretty, that was a really good counter right there from uh, from Bomber. He ducks underneath in the rerook's jab and then goes whack. Nothing too much has gone on here through the first 35 seconds here though, guys. Bomber goes for the jab, misses that one, and comes in for a body shot. Doesn't get anything going there. That's a body shot there. Nareet Rook just looks like he's having a good time. You know, he just looks like he's having a good time here. Gets a nice little jab in there as well. I'm telling you, Nareet Rook's jab is actually pretty solid. I'm just throwing this out there. His jab. Oh, that's a solid right there from Bomber, but nothing too significant. It, oh, easy defense here, but Nari Rook gets shaken back a little bit there. Minute 55 to go here, round number one. Oh, that's a low blow. That's a low blow. Yeah, that is a low blow there. Oh, uh, Nari Rook, get out of it, brother. Don't be crying now. It's not. It still hit you on the like the right quad. Don't pretend like that. <laughs> Nari Rook, you soft man. Get out of here. He's pretending like it hit him on the, the groinal area. You're a joker, brother. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> Nari Rook, you sook, man. That didn't even hit him on the groin, brother. Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> You're a joker. A minute for you to go here, round one. I want Bummer to flog this guy now. Left, right, left, right. Oh, here we go. Now he's starting to now he's starting to throw a few more flurries here, Bummer. Get a few more combinations. How many rounds is this, actually? How many rounds is this? Uh, so that's a counter shot there from the right. I can't believe I just watched that, how he pretended just then. Uh, this is eight rounds, super middleweight. Oh, goes for the return right there, Bummer. Minute 14 to go of round one. Body shot there. Bummer is winning this round so far, but nothing too spectacular. Goes over the top with the right there. Probably misses that one. Minute four to go here of round one. Nare Rook comes forward there. That's an easy little block away there by uh, by Bummer. And then Bummer comes forward with the left. Goes with the body shot. Lands that one. Every time Bummer lands, Nare Rook gives him like a, a nod of approval. Like it's like he's he's just waiting to, to say, you did good, man. You did good. 46 seconds to go here, round one. Bomber's been pr- okay. He's not done anything special, but he's going to win this round here. Dead round. Nari Ruck's not done anything besides that jab. The early jabs were actually pretty good, but besides that, he's done absolutely nothing here. 29 seconds. Now Bomber comes forward here with a left and a right, left and a right, right over the top. 20 seconds to go now, round one. And Nariwa goes for the, the the shot there, misses that one. Then Bummer tries to counter, misses that as well. And that's a really good... That broke through the left there. That broke through with the left there, Bummer. He goes, and that's an easy defense there for uh, Nariwa. There's less than 10 seconds to go here of round number one. 
Can Bummer end it? Uh, can Bummer end it before the end of this fight? Because this is looking like a bit. Oh, jeez. That was a good counter right shot there from Nerevil to the body. But overall, it's still going to be a round to. It's still going to be a round given to uh, Bummer there. But it was. A, oh man, it was pretty shocking. Yeah, let's just get the ring girls out here every time. They're attractive as Matthew Leps as Hardman TKO. Uh, I agree. I agree, mate. I do. I agree. Anything's better than what we're seeing right now. Jack Sparks says, Gallon's also boxed for 20 years. Yes, he didn't fight as a pro or AM, but uh, he's still box experience. His experience, absolutely. Absolutely. Gallon's a good fighter. Dylan Sergis did what happened with Jacobs. Um, I don't know. The Jacobs hasn't fought yet. We haven't seen Jacobs fight. We have not seen Jacobs fight yet. Oh, uh, yeah. That's ridiculous there from Nari Rook to pretend like he got hit. Uh, like, he got hit below the belt, but it was on his right, right side of his leg, nowhere near the groin. Uh, Sergeant Collins says, the 43-year-old's having a good time. That's all that matters. Sebastian Grammer says, bet looks like the defen a defensive son fighting his stepfather in a pub. Pretty much, man. That's pretty much how it is. All right, round number two here, guys. Like I said, I'm giving that round two bummer, but not anything crazy convincing. So round two here between Bummer and Nari Ruck. Let's see if uh, Bummer can get a little bit more going right now. Nothing really crazy. So, oh, that's a good shot there from Nari Ruck. I'm telling you, Bummer's not having this all his own way. There is a 23-year age difference, but with that being said, you know, Daddy, Daddy's had a few fights beforehand, son. You know, Daddy's had a few fights beforehand, so uh, I've got the experience. I may be only 14 times in the ring, but I've also four people in uh, four people at the King's Cross before too. Don't you worry. We've also been to Service Paradise and had to, uh, you know, get in, a, get in a punch on a few Islanders. You know, that's just what happens. <laughs> Service Paradise. So, Tim S7, go here, round two. And Bomber here goes for a body shot. And left there, easy defense, comes over the top of the right, misses that. Body shot, good body shot there, another body shot. Shut up, Nari Rook's trying to pretend like he's getting hit below the belt there. Oh, that was a massive left uppercut, but he misses it. If that landed, then Nari Rook was done. Now Bomber's coming forward there with the left and the right, and they'll have to separate. Minute 49 to go here of round number two. Bomber and Nari Ruck in the middle right now. Bomber needs to still do more here. He is winning, but in the same sense, like this is not convincing against the 43-year-old guy with six losses to his name. You can't be telling me the Bomber's going to be getting too many wins against... Too many better opponents if this is what he's putting up here against this bloke. A minute and a half to go here. Round two. Left and a right there. That right gets defended pretty easily. But does rock him back a little bit as well. He goes underneath that punch. He read that one nicely there, Bummer. Left into the body. That was a nice one. Uh, and then over the top there with the right. That lands nicely. Referee, get out of here. Shut up. Move out of here, referee. You better move it. Jeez, shut up. So Bummer comes forward there with a the right and a left, and now he lands a body shot. That was nice, and uh, you can see the left eye of Nari Rook is starting to open up there. Definitely getting some bruising there. 56 seconds to go here. Ooh, there was a bit of a jab there from Nari Finally, we saw that jab again. Like I told you guys, that jab is actually not too bad there from Nari Rook. 48 seconds to go, round two. Uh, Bummer over the top. Oh, referee, please shut your mouth. For the love of God, please, I'm begging you to shut your mouth. Just let the fight happen. You muppet. 35 seconds to go here, round two. There was no punching behind the back of the head, you idiot. 30 seconds to go now. Bomber comes forward with a left jab. And he goes over with a right. This defense here from the re-rook is pretty brutal, though. He is really easily just stopping it. But with that being said, you know, he's doing nothing himself in the re-rook. He knows that this fight is designed for Bomber to win. So, oh, geez, that right there from Bomber was pretty solid. There's less than 10 seconds to go here of the round. The Bomber's definitely going to be winning this round 10-9 as well, but nothing spectacular. Goes to the left, and that will be the end of round number two. Malcolm says, NRL should be on every night. It'd be great to see. Trevor Daly says, it sounded like you said your fave pregame meal was a HSP. Oh, no. HSP with a P for papa. She was not V. Not HSV. I don't have HIV, mate. No HIV over here, but a HSP. Papa. You map it, man. No, my favorite pregame meal. No, I was saying that I had that today. My favorite pregame meal. I, I don't usually eat. I don't like to eat before a stream. I usually like to eat after a stream. And I'll absolutely go and go ahead here and say uh, a bit of a pizza action. I'll absolutely go ahead. I would not have anything that I am four lads from today. But um, it's got to be a pizza. Got to be a pizza, mate. You just can't complain with a bit of pizza. Domino's Pizza Hut. Sponsor the channel. Get around it. Come on. 
Uh, James Bartlett says, what are the ring girls wearing? They look sexy as shit tonight, James. They are the best part about this card. Truly. I know Zarafa and Hartman will be a good fight, but the ring girls are the most exciting part about what we've seen so far tonight. And I can promise you, I can guarantee you that, bro. I can guarantee you that. So two minutes ready to go here of round three. There was eight rounds of this absolutely horrible fight right now. Nariraki is just smiling the whole time, but he's not smiling now. It's the left and the right. The do land there for Bummer. And now Bummer might wake up a little bit. He might land some bombs. Here we go. He might do a Paddy Wiz bomb. Paddy Wiz bomb. Left, right, left, right. Uppercut with the left as well. He's a right hander, but he did an uppercut with the left, which was nice there, Bummer. All right. The pace and energy from Bummer is starting to wake up a little bit now. He's starting to get a bit more frenetic energy about this fight. Bomber with the left there, goes to the right, and then uh, return from the rook is nothing too special there. Or oh, a left and a right, that one lands with the right. Bomber absolutely is up 10-9, 10-9. And this is really good experience for him because Nare rook is not a good fighter, but he's just defending pretty easily. So it's very difficult to land that big blow that you really desperately want. When you're a young bloke, especially 20, oh, that's a good couple of blows there for Bummer. Uh, when you're a young bloke, when you're 20 years old, you're thinking like every punch is going to be a knockout punch. Um, and every punch is not going to be a knockout punch in boxing, especially at the professional level. You're probably not going to get a... You, you've got to fight like you're going to get a knockout, but you've got to expect realistically that you're probably going to be seeing a decision. Oh, this is better. Left, right, left, right. That's some really good ducking as well from, uh, from Bummer. Oh, please, referee. Please, love God. You just have an annoying face. Please get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Get me on the boxing undercard with that referee at this point. Truly. So, minute 25 to go here. Round number three. And the referee getting involved again. Jai Lincoln, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you, dude. All right. So, one minute 23 to go here of round three. And if that referee gets involved one more time, I'm organizing an undercard fight with me and him. Minute 10 left here. Bummer comes forward. Left. Oh, good solid left there. You heard the contact there. And Nari Rook just waiting for whatever's about. Oh, no, he's down. <laughs> I don't, did he actually land that? Did he? Uh, they're saying that's a cracking left right hand. Did he actually land that punch? Hmm. Did he actually land that punch is my question. It didn't actually seem like that connected greatly. Uh, but he'll get back up here, Nari Rook. Hmm. I would like to see the highlight of that one. 40 seconds to go. Bummer comes forward here with a left and, and another left. He comes through with a right, misses that. Body shot there. Comes with a left as well. I tell you what, Bummer, though, is very dicey with that belt line, though. He's very dicey with the belt line. Very close to being underneath it. And uh, they will hang on there. 23 seconds to go here. Round three. Like I said, this is an eight-rounder here, guys. Unless Bummer can, uh, can get him down. This is a 10-8 round right now. And uh, underneath they go. And the referee will separate them again. But he's doing the right thing there. But he hasn't. He's been a muppet this entire time. But at least he did the right thing there by separating it so that we can see Bummer throw a few more punches here. Because Nari Rook's just. He's tough, but he's also not great. So there we go, guys. That's going to be the end of the round three. And that's a 10 8 round there, too. Um, that is a 10 8 round there. Uh, Dazmate just dropped the link. <laughs> As it says, Blaze versus Ref at that station. Yeah. I think it was Footscray. That's in Victoria, I think. I think that's a, eh, no, that did land. It did land. No, that, that right did land. Forget me. It right did land. Uh, well, technically, the age difference is stepfather and son, and technically, they're fighting in a pub. Absolutely. Ben Barber Music says, someone's tell you tonight. <laughs> hey, get around it. You know, that's the only good thing that's happened about this is that the, the, the ring girls, the only good thing about this. Ansplitzy says, dude in the chat pulled someone's IP. What do you mean, Ansplitzy? <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? Dude in the chat pulled someone's IP? What? I'm looking in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to wait for your comment here. Cause just, we're underway here for round... Well, round four is about to start here, guys. It's a... Um, 10-9, 10-9, 10-8 so far through through the fight for Bummer. What do you mean someone pulled someone's um, IP? What, in this chat or the other one? Alrighty, so two minutes and 40 seconds to go here. It's like a mosquito in the room. Oh, that's a good left there from Bummer underneath. Goes to the left, right. There's down there, yeah. There, that should be done there. And Nari Rook's done here, yeah. Yeah, and the re-rook, they've, they've, they've done the fight, and that is a TKO there. 
<laughs> they were in an argument and two grabbed his IP address. <laughs> that's funny, as. Uh, what's not funny is that fight. Bomber just slapped him. So that's going to be a TKO there for Bomber. Um, so I don't know what's happening with that Jacobs fight, but that fight just happened. So um, let's go Bomber by TKO. Oop, not by TikTok, by TKO. Put that there. <laughs> In a fight. And then he grabbed his IP. That's hilarious. I love that. Oh, man. You got you got to find the funny shit in this world, boys. You, you do. You just do. So, bummer by TKO there, guys. That's super funny. Uh, Dazzman says, I live in a box. Zeddy T says, yes, Footscray. It's West Melbourne. Not a great area either. Uh, Trekkin says, my wife, Shamika, is fighting. Ah, Shamika. Well, good luck, man. Good luck. She's uh, obviously uh, Shanika Johnson versus Melissa Esquivel. That'll be later on. Um, I don't believe that's your wife, though, because uh, you didn't spell the name correctly. It says Shanika here, and you said Shamika. But if you are the, wife, the <laughs> if you are the husband, then good on you, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she wins for you. But it says here it's Shanika. Is it? Am I wrong? <laughs> or is this wrong? <laughs> no, it says no. It's, it, it no no. It's, it says C H E R N E K. You sure you're her husband? Because. Uh, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't know. You spelt your wife's name wrong, mate. <laughs> uh, Dad says, got Wi-Fi and everything. And Splits, he says, they were in a no. That's right, yeah. Nah, she's just not. Nah, she's not just gaming. Oh, my God. Gee whiz. Is she attractive, is she? I don't know, man. I'm just looking forward to this rapper Hartman fight, but is she hot ass, is she? Mate, this stream, we're just talking about how attractive all the ladies are at this event. Like... <laughs> That's how bad this event has been. We're just all talking about the ring girls and um, talking about all the ring girls and uh, what's it called? Sorry, I'm going to move this across here a little bit. Uh, no, wrong side. There we go. Like that. So Ben Mubama there by TKO, guys. Daniel says, are you on the, uh, you're on the piss, Dragon? I think Pe- Dragon's on the piss. Well, you need to be. You know what? I might even go get a beer. I might even go grab a beer from the fridge here for this, this event. <laughs> I, may, I may do it. Actually, what are we on likes-wise? Let's go have a look at what we're on likes-wise. If we're on... How many likes have we got? We got uh, 38 likes. Guys, if we get to 50 likes, I'll go grab a beer. How about that? We get 50 likes, and I'll go grab a goddamn beer. Beer this early. What do you mean, beer this goddamn early? It's 8.30. Mate, I'll be in bed right after this. We're going to go up at 9.30 for the next drunk stream. No, I wouldn't be doing that. But if we get to 50 likes, I'll, I'll have a beer. I don't have drinks on this, this channel. <laughs> So for the love of God, to get me through this stream, guys, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because we need to be able to get through this fight. Uh, 38, this is the only the card. Uh, it shouldn't be this early. There should be still three fights to go, two fights to go, only two fights to go. It's 8.30. Yeah, 8.30, and there should only be three fights to go here, mate. What do you mean too early? <laughs> Can I walk you out next time? I'll let you out, mother bitch. This chat's unreal. That, that chat, like if you paid the 40 bucks, at least you get the chat there to have a laugh at. At least you have the chat to have a laugh at, man, because the fights are bad, but uh, the chat is just, that, that's next level. Now we've got people being incredibly racist. Uh, Paul Gallon says, Sonny Bill hiding in here somewhere, your cat. <laughs> Brody says, hello, hello, Brody, how we doing? Oh, man, Sonny Bill is hiding here somewhere, your cat. I don't know what it is. I just love when people get called cats in Australia. It's just such a funny, just such a funny thing. Jack Sparks says, uh, telling you another hour at least before this fight, if you grab a beer, I pour a JD. Well, I said, if we get to, uh, if we get to, for, uh, what is it, 50 likes, which we're not too far away from, uh, we're only four likes away. We're four likes away from getting ourselves a beer. We are four likes away from getting ourselves a beer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then, of course, Jay turns up when Brody does. You guys have been with each other or something? Jay and Brody both turn up at the exact same time. You guys are just something. You guys are You guys are something. This chat is gold. Uh, no wonder Fox Sports didn't want it. <laughs> These mashups are so shit. They are. Lost weight to make weight. What? Shut up, you dog. <laughs> Bro, how's the fight been? Absolutely woeful, mate. Absolutely woeful. But we're getting there. 
We're one like away from me going to grab a beer. That's what, what's happening. Ivan Drago in the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, Ivan Drago. Oh, Ivan Drago. We've got 50 likes. All right, guys, I'm going to grab a beer. I'm going to grab a beer and I'll be back. So you guys have time in the next minute or two to go get yourself a beer uh, because I am grabbing one for myself. All right, one sec. Boys, we are back. We are back, boys. He's got some blue moon. He's got some blue moon. Belgian white. Belgian white blue moon. Here we go. We've got some Belgian white blue moon, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Daz, mate, you're like 12 years old. What are you talking about? Oh, we've got the next fight coming up, have we? We actually do. We actually do have the next fight come up here. All right, so is this um, is this uh, Salmon and, and Jacobs? Reese Reynolds says, beer is gross, personal opinion. We definitely wish I had the taste for it in order to save money. I agree, Reese. Well, no, sorry, I don't agree. I, I, I used to think like you, but I, I like beer now. I don't mind it. I don't have much. I have like one, like now. I'm not really a beer drinker, um, but I, I actually prefer beer to spirits nowadays. I used to like spirits a lot more, um, but yeah, no, beer is... But it's good now. But you don't want to drink too much, otherwise uh, <laughs> otherwise you get a massive gut. Jack Sparks says, the boys have been out the back touching tips, uh, touching hit tips and touching hips between fights. Uh, Brody says, I bet you were glad you paid $40 for this. Brody, what you don't understand is that I get paid it back. I get the money back, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm having fun here. I get a free fight legally. Uh, but you guys, you guys pay for it, and you guys get a shit card. So <laughs> there's a difference. Triple it's not funny to be racist unless it's on Family Guy. Uh, yeah, look, it, it, it depends on the intent and whatnot. But with that being said, like you'll you never you, you don't do it. you just don't do it nowadays because there's going to be someone who takes offence to it. But with that being said, it really does depend on the intent and the the context of the situation at hand. But yeah, it's like. Uh, you never say. You never do this shit. <laughs> You're seeing some heavy shit in that chat. You're seeing some heavy shit in that chat. Uh, that better not be 0%. I don't think it is, mate. I don't know. It's a good drink. It's uh, 1.4 standard drinks. So it's nothing too crazy, crazy. But uh, it's pretty good, man. I'm not even sponsored. 5.4% alcohol volume. So shut up. How about that one? Christina Jacobs? What's this happening? Oh, no, it is Jacobs and Salmon. I was, was going to say, what fight is this? So, Christian and Jacobs, seven fights, five wins, two losses. That whole chat cancelled. Oh, it is. Joe Rogan just died, someone just said. Now, someone's saying that they're going to molest someone. Wow. Yep, that is... That, that, is, that chat is something, man. All right, guys, who do you think is going to win this fight? Do you reckon Jacobs is going to win, or do you reckon Carly Salmon? Salmon has had one fight for one win. Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to put this chat here. I will fight every single one of you dogs at once. Hold on. I will fight every single one of you dogs at once. <laughs> oh, there you go. I wonder if anyone's going to reply to that one. Here we go, guys. So, Jacobs and Salmon coming on up. Let's hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. That fight chat is a shambles. Yeah, I just commented in it saying I was going to fight every single one of them, and they called them all dogs. So, this is two... Uh, Two minutes here uh, times six rounds, featherweight. Two minutes times six rounds. <laughs> All right, so Salmon here. Um, oh, geez. Which one's which right now? I'm sorry. Uh, one second here, guys. Salmon and uh, Jacobs. I'm fi- just trying to... Fi- I'm trying to figure out which one's which, one's which right now, guys. They, I'm trying to look at the... Um, the pants, the uh, the belts to see. Oh, Jacob's in the gold. Okay, so Jacob's in the gold, and in the pink is the is uh, is salmon. Alrighty. Reese Reynolds says, "Meet me in the six zero five six Midland. We'll have a two round boxing match to the fella calling out for a crack." <laughs> All right, so minute ten to go here, round number one, and salmon here. 
She's got her over the top of the head. All right. Jacobs now comes with a left. She'll miss that one. Come on. Let's see something there. Okay. There we go. Imagine I call this fight the whole time and um, I, I get the, the girls wrong. Imagine if I'm getting the, the wrong names this entire fight so far. So Salmon goes 1-2 there. She's the one of the gold. And she's now body shot. That's a nice little left as well. Body shot. And that's a good left there from Salmon. That's good there. That's a nice little hook there from Jacobs. And that's going to be a body shot. And the referee is just trying to... Um, hey, we've got a good di different referee. Good. The other referee was terrible. Terrible. Jack Sparks is Salmon by points. All right. So just not really any power behind any of these punches, though. 10 seconds to go now. Salmon's, Salmon's throwing more punches, but no power. Oh, good left and right there. That was a better right from Salmon there. Why is her name? She's got Mousy. Mousy on her buddy pants. All right, so Salmon there. I'll give her the round 10-9, but it's not a guarantee. As it is, be careful. They'll take your IP address. Ooh. -hoo. Ryan Sims says, Hi, BKR. If this boxing matchup was true, who'd you pick? Sonny Bill versus Jake Paul. I'm taking Sonny Bill, but he's not a better fighter. Sonny Bill Williams is not a better fighter. He's not a better fighter. But he would win because of these significant advantages in weight, in height, in um, uh, weight, height, and reach. Dazma says, Double KO in that fight. Both Muppets. Did you actually pay for this, did you, Daz? Did you pay for this or are you watching it on a legal stream? Who here paid for this fight? Who here has paid for this fight? Which one of you Muppets has paid for this fight? That's all I ask. So I'm, I'm, I don't know who won that first round, man. I'll give it to Salmon, but honestly, I don't think either one of them won that first round. I think the only winner was people who didn't watch that first round. All right, so two minutes to go here. Round number two. And Salmon here with the right. She'll miss that one. Jacob's coming forward now. Oh, here we go. They're just going for a bit of a tit for tat in the middle. Here we go. Body shot, body shot. Oh, that was shocking. Jacob's... Salmon tries to work something up the middle there. Left. They're both just going for it here. Jacob's... I don't even know what's going on here. They're both just swinging at this point. They are both just simply swinging. Jasmine says, I might have to pay for this just for the chat. Oh, bro, you'd have fun with the chat. I can tell you that right now. A minute 25 to go here, round two. Oh, good left there. That was that was a really good uh, really good right there from Salmon as well. Oh, good over the top there from, uh, from uh, Salmon there. This is a hard... I'm still just making sure. I'm guaranteeing which one's which right now. <laughs> Jabbing is Salmon there. So Salmon is definitely the one of the gold. Salmon's definitely one of the gold because they don't have their name on their pants. The belts do not have their name. Salmon there with a good right and left combo. Oh, there we go. That's a good left jab there from Jacobs though. Okay, so we're going to see something else here. Oh, 43 seconds to go now. Thank you much to that, uh, Nagara for subscribing. At least you don't have to pay for this event right now. Jacobs, body shot. Salmon, body shot. They're just hugging each other. 33 seconds to go here. Round number two. I don't think you want a link to this right now, Nagara. And the main event, you will want a, 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 you, it will be a good fight, but this is just a woeful undercard. <laughs> this is just a horrid undercard. Oh, wow. That was a good right there from, um, from Salmon. And here we go. Body. They're going in now, giving each other a bit of a cuddle and a kiss. Bit of a cuddle on the kiss. Body shot, body shot, body shot. And there we go. That's going to be round two. And honestly, shit. Fitty, fitty there, man. Fitty, fitty. Now, Daz may just drop the link to BK Sport USA. That's a link right there. That's a link right there to the fight. Go and click on that link there and subscribe. That's a link to the fight. Some of those punches were woeful. Uh, so this is no mugs here, mate. All challenges. <laughs> Gee whiz. Mate, we are all Muppets. Now we've got people asking for this to be in G-strings. Like, this is a shambles, this chat. This chat's a shambles. <laughs> Hugh Munger says, garbage fight. Uh, <laughs> someone's saying her hooks are how she spanked my bum last night. This is a shambles chat, man. <laughs> it's just a, this is just a shambles chat. 
This chat is an absolute... This card is an absolute shambles. This card is a shambles. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, boys. <laughs> All right, so two minutes to go here of round three. And honestly, your pick is as good as mine regardless of who's winning this fight. I'd probably say it's a 10-9, 10-9 to the judges. Oh, that's a great right there, though, from Salmon. Salmon with a really good right here in round three. All right. Oh, good right there as well from Salmon again. Jack Sullivan says, Roosters win the premiership. You're not looking that great right now, but Salmon is. Salmon, right, left, right, left, body shot. And uh, enough of the cuddling and kissing girls. We don't need to see that. We'll see that later. For now, we want to see some boxing. Jacobs comes forward there with a left. Good left jab there from Jacobs. I don't know why I keep saying right hand, because it's definitely a left hand that Jacobs is throwing. Salmon now will throw a right and kind of connect, but nothing too significant. A minute and eight seconds to go here now. And back into the clinch and just punching, punching, punching those obliques. Oh, gee whiz. That was a bit of a forceful one there from Salmon. Oh, over the top right there, a haymaker. And it lands to the haymaker. Imagine being at the fight, wasting money. Nah, you get to have a drink. You get to have a laugh. And there's some hot ladies there that you can talk to. You know, have a bit of fun. Get a bit telly, as we were talking about before. You know? <laughs> oh, geez, Salmon there. Get a right and left there. It gives you something to do on a Wednesday night, boys. Like, you've got to understand. Like, this is all a bit of a laugh here. I'm having a bit of a joke around. Like, it's still a bit of fun here on a Wednesday night to watch some boxing, and then we get to watch the raffle. Hopefully get knocked out later on tonight. But these fights are shocking. 22 seconds to go. But they are giving it a go, man. Like, you've got to understand. Like, like I said, it's all a bit of a laugh and a bit of a joke. But these, these girls are going out there and genuinely getting into the ring, which is something that not many people do do. You know, Salmon has definitely won this third round here. But I wonder how much it would have cost to go to this fight, considering it was um, considering it was forty dollars for the pay per view. I wonder how much it would have been to actually go to this fight. Can someone actually find out how much that would have been? Can someone in the chat comment like how much this fight was actually ticket wise? Someone would know. <laughs> I'll bash all you shit talkers. <laughs> Ivan Drago says I'll bash all you shit talkers. And as says I will appreciate, it, dude. Uh, yep, now people are insulting Victoria. I want to go to a brothel after this. <laughs> on a Wednesday night, he wants to go to a brothel. Jack Sparks says, I go over the night, so I'm keen to put $100 on them to win the wooden spoon, paying $17. I don't think they're going to win spoon, but there are still teams that are a shout, but that people aren't really giving credit for. Jay Hayes is gold coin donation. If that was a gold coin donation to go to that event, and yet I had to pay $40 for this, then I'm, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the police. If they, if this was a gold coin donation, <laughs> I'm calling the police. All right, so round four here. I think Salmon's winning. Lowest is 100 bucks. Ryan Zaga said, you should come back. I already did. I told them I was going to smash them all. I told them I was going to smash all the vlogs. So a minute 50 to go here. And Salmon there, right and left. Here we go. I think this is eight rounds, is it? It is, uh, no, there's six rounds. So there's three rounds to go here, including this one. But they're inside here. Just going body shot, body shot. Jacob's there with a couple of good body shots. $3,000 ringside. Are you shitting me, Ennis Blitzy? 3K ringside for this. You're joking, mate. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. 3K? Get out of here. A minute 26. No, you're, you're having me on. No, you're having me on. You are having me on. Free for pensioners. All right, so Salmon's got her in the corner here. And that's going to be a landed right there. And uh, they're going to separate this. Minute 12 to go. You are having me on if you think that I'm, I'm going to believe that it was $3,000 ringside for this event. All right, so they're in, in the center now. This is a bit of a more fun round to, to watch. A couple of low blows there from Salmon, but they're not going to call them. I just want to clarify, guys. The Rafa versus Hardman and also Shanika Johnson versus Esquivel will be good fights. It's just the other undercards here that have not been great. And this is what you have, what you risk with these kind of fights. But in the same sense, they've been designed bad fights. All right, so 38 seconds to go here, round four. But it's a bit of boxing on Wednesday night. Don't complain. Sharks smelling tomorrow night. Those should be good in the stream. Oh, Salmon there with a huge drive at the top. This is that one, though. 30 seconds to go. Body shot. Left. Nice. I have to give this fight to Salmon so far. I do. 
No, no, no. That's 30 USD, Smith. That's 30 USD. It's 40 Australian. 30 USD. Body shot there from Jacobs. 12 seconds to go here, round four. And they're just swinging right now. Body shot, body shot, body shot. Uppercut there from Jacobs, but uh, Salmon working hard on the body shots. And I'm going to give that round again there to, to Salmon. Nothing too spectacular, but I'll give it to Salmon again. But nothing too spectacular. Uh, Mephitis says, Hardman, why can't they just call him Easy Man? I, I honestly, for about a, for about three seconds there, was considering timing you out. Oh. <laughs> I was considering timing you out. <laughs> Matthew Lev says, I wouldn't give you a packet of Tim Tams for the fight card. Come on, man, give me a packet of Tim Tams. Shit, Matthew. Give me a packet of Tim Tams. Sam LeBruna, Spud Fight card. <laughs> My God, from my smart boy. <laughs> this is funny because that's what this entire chat, the entire, they've just been insulting the, the, uh, the promoters. Jamie, uh, two five eight zero. How many rounds this fight is? Six, mate. Six rounds. So I think Salmon's won, winning through four, um, but in the same sense, it's very fifty fifty. I'd give it to the ring girls. Yeah, fair enough. Smith says, I think it's Rafa will win and going for him for the first time. I'm going for Hardman, man. I think he'll win. Ooh, good left there from Jacobs, actually. So round five here. But Salmon is is definitely a better fighter here. She goes to the right, left. Minute 44 left, round five. Good over the top right there. And body shot. But Jacobs lands a good left there. So it's just... Her defense has been... Just shocking, Jacobs. But she's not actually been bad in regards to offense. Jamie, 2580 says Hardman on points. I think if Hardman wins, man, I think it's going to come down to him knocking him out. I think if, if it goes to points, and I think that Rafa's probably going to get the win, man. I really do. I think Rafa will win by points, but I I, I have Hardman winning by by TKO. I just think that Rafa's a little girl, man. I think Rafa talks a big talk for a guy that dodges fights left, right, and center. Like, you get the biggest fight of your life against Sue and you, and you don't take it. Like, you're a Muppet, man. Like, you're just a Muppet. A minute to go here, round five. You're a boxer, man. You take your fights. You take your opportunities. You know? Every opportunity I get, I take. Every opportunity you guys get, you should take. If you get an opportunity to take on the best in your industry, then you take that shit. The fact that he dodged Sue to, to after organizing that fight is just bullshit. 38 seconds to go here, round five. Oh, good right there from Salmon. Really good right. And that's a good left as well that clips the chin. 28 seconds left. <laughs> I just saw the face off of this fight. Yeah. It's pretty full on, actually. I think uh, Zarafa was calling Hardman a racist. Oh, she comes in, She loves that over-the-top right here. The swing and right is what Salmon likes. And she got a good right left, a right connection there. Really solid right connection there. Under 10 seconds to go here. There's no way that Jacobs has won this fight. Salmon has definitely won this fight. Salmon is definitely one spot. I think Jacobs would need a knockout to win it. And there we go, guys. That's round five done. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new around here. And obviously, if you want to become a member of the channel, it's only five bucks. The pin comment in the chat. It does go a long way. You get NRL tips tomorrow. Do pretty well with my tipping. I might even... I actually, I've got a new thing for members tomorrow in that tipping video. I've got a new thing called Member of the Week. You'll see what I mean when I put the video out tomorrow. Uh, Trevor Daly says, thanks for doing this though. Something good to watch while waiting for the next NRL game. Exactly right, man. Two days off. Um, we didn't have anything last night. Uh, actually, no. What did we have last night? Did we have something on last night? Oh, we did the um, podcast, the NRL podcast. Tonight, we've got the boxing and back into Sharks Manly tomorrow. But don't forget, man. You know, if you're not doing anything during the day, we do the NBA playoffs tomorrow, which is going to be a good one. Boston Celtics and Brooklyn Nets game two is fiery with Kyrie Irving traveling to Boston again after they lost that first game. I think Brooklyn do get the win there, man. It's going to be super interesting. And then we do do the we will be doing the Chicago Bulls up against the um, uh, Chicago Bulls versus Milwaukee Bucks game two as well, where Bulls gave it a good crack in game one. So hopefully in game two, they can give it a good go as well. Um, and they'll be on at uh, 11 a.m. tomorrow. So if you're not doing anything new in the day tomorrow, get over to BKR Sport USA. Mel or Dad's mate's going to drop the link right now and uh, go and subscribe. But Jacob's here. Round six this is the final round. I think that Salmon's won at very minimum four of those five rounds, at very minimum. So they're up close and personal here. Minute 44 to go, round six. Jacobs is trying to do a bit more here, and I think that's because she knows she has to get a knockout. I do still have your bets in the book, Melm. I do still have your bets in the book. But with what's happening at the dogs, don't know about that 13-plus dogs bet. 
Daz, mate, just dropped the link to the VK Sport USA uh, channel. Appreciate you. Go and subscribe to that channel. But a minute 23 to go here, round six. Oh, over the top there from Salmon. Really, that was the best of the lot tonight. That was the best of tonight. That was the best of tonight from Salmon. Now Salmon's starting to go forward. Body shot, right, left, over the top of the right. Body shot, body shot. She's got her in the corner now. She's just muscling her. She's just muscling her. Here's a right. Here's a left. Here's a right again. Here's an uppercut there from Salmon. Salmon is just crunching her in the sixth round now. A minute to go now. They're going to separate him. So 57 seconds left here. Oh, good right again. She's really good with this over the top right. Salmon's over the top right is actually quite nice. 45 seconds left here. So 40 seconds left now, and Salmon just is the better fighter here. She just is, man. 30 seconds left now. Oh, good left uh, there from Jacobs, however. Salmon's comes underneath there and a couple of body shots. And that's a good right and a left there. Another body shot as well. She's just so up close and personal, man. She's bloody getting a bit of Andy Ruiz right now. Andy Ruiz on Anthony Joshua. Look at her go. Up a cut. Up underneath. Look at her go. Slap. Body shot. Bang from Jacobs, though. She gets a great right inside. 10 seconds to go now. 10 seconds to go here. Oh, over the head. Oh, jeez. And that's going to be done, guys. That'll be done. So now we go to scorecards, but surely it's going to be a UD. Unanimous decision win here for Salmon. Matthew Lepp says, is that Rafa going to be ironed out tonight? Smith says, could Tim Tsu fight Rafa if he won the title? Smith, Tim Tsu is way beyond Rafa. Timmy Tsu is way beyond Rafa. Timmy Tsu is ironing out guys in America, mate. Timmy Tsu is taking on the world right now. You think he's going to come down to Rafa's level? He's a wisher. Zarafa had his opportunity. Zarafa had his opportunity as a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. No, that's not happening. Dazme said, the Broncos lose this week. They're double shit. Melvin says, now I'm stepping in at center for the dogs. Uh, Ansplitzy says, Tim won't give Zarafa another chance. Exactly right, Ansplitzy. Yeah, Tim still is way beyond Zarafa now, man. There'd be absolutely zero. zero. There's nothing for Tim there. What's Tim got to gain from that fight? Absolutely nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. All right, so we're just waiting here for the official scorecards. Let's go have a look at what this chat is, this other chat is saying. Uh... Uh, two drunks fight better. <laughs> um, salmon five rounds of overhand right and a fa Okay, no, I'm not going to read that comment out. <laughs> okay, I'm not reading that comment out. Matthew Lepp says, Rafa talk is cheap. Yeah, Zarafa's a Muppet. Um, Melvin says, what are the current record, records of the current fighters? Are you talking about the fighters fighting right now or are you talking about like upcoming? Because Hardman's 12-0, and 0, I believe. I think he's undefeated. Well, he's undefeated. I don't know if he's 12 or 13 in a row. I think he's 12 or 0. Um, Zarafa, on the other hand, I think we looked at it before. I think he's about five, four losses, one of which was Jeff Horn. Uh, and also, I think he won 29. I think he's 29 or 4, and Hardman's 12 and 0. Uh, right now, you don't want to know, bro. You don't want to know in regards to these ones here. But the Shanika Johnson. And uh, Melissa Esquivel is probably going to be the next fight, I think. Uh, it is going to be the next fight, actually. And that's going to be a good fight. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. It should be United States for Salmon. 58, 56, too close. 59, 55, that's fair. 58, 56, United States and Salmon. Salmon, surely. It has to be Salmon. Yeah, Salmon, absolutely. So Salmon there will get the United States victory there, and that's the right call. That is the right call. At least it wasn't like that stupid call that we saw before with the draw. So Salmon there with the UD, and that was deserved. That was deserved there. So Salmon by UD. Make that little bad boy red there. So, yeah, look, she was clearly the better fighter there, guys. It wasn't the greatest fight since sliced bread, but it was a... Uh, but she was clearly the better fighter in that fight. Actually, let's make this a bit different here. People are going off saying that uh, the other chick was robbed, but that's they're obviously talking shit in that chat because they didn't watch it. They were just looking at the, the ring girls behind. I can guarantee it. I can tell you on behalf of what's happening at this fight, those guys talking, if that fight was robbed just then, were not watching the fight. They were watching the ring girls. And I don't blame them. I don't. I really don't blame them in today's fight, guys. So, Sam, by you day there, guy. Guys. Don't forget, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for new anti. I appreciate you for tuning in. Obviously, we're getting close to the big fight. We've got Johnson and Esquivel up next, and then Zarafa and Hardman. 
Let's go and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Because we got to 50 likes, I grabbed myself a beer. I never drink on the channel. But today, for you guys, we're having a beer. Having a beer. Smith says, Zarafa could potentially have the world if he wins the next two. Could be tempting for Sue. Smith, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> well, it's come on, bro. Uh, Zarafa's a pussy, had his chance. One man and his white boy says, this is on main event. It's 40 bucks on fight.tv, but I would advise you to not purchase it. Uh, you've also missed the undercard anyway, really. There's only one more fight to go here before the main event. Uh, Matthew Lepp says, Sue doesn't care about Zarafa now. Absolutely. He's not even in his, in his vicinity. Not even in the vicinity. Zarafa ruined Jeff Horn's career. No, no, no. Jeff Horn ruined Jeff Horn's career. Also, Jeff Horn won a very controversial victory over Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Anyone who knows boxing knows that that was an incredibly controversial victory there for Jeff Horn against Manny Pacquiao at Suncorp. Um, uh, he didn't win that fight. <laughs> he didn't win that fight, Jeff Horn. Um, but Jeff Horn was still good in his heyday. And splits, it says Rocky Balboa has been brung up uh, to Ivan Drago. <laughs> um, Ripoff says anyone else been charged 40 bucks for a 29 buck event? I'm going to absolutely beat the shit out of these organizers. He doesn't realize that it was $29 US, which is 40 bucks Australian. <laughs> now, it's what are you drinking? I'm drinking Blue Moon, man. I'm drinking Blue Moon. I should get in contact with a beer company. And say if they want to sponsor the channel, because I don't usually drink beer on the channel, but I would have like one. I'd have one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do any drunk streams or anything like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's thirty dollars USC. You absolute dickhead. Someone said. Um, but all right here. So we've got Shanika Johnson and Melissa Esquivel. This is going to be a good fight, guys. Give me your predictions in the chat. We're still waiting here. Obviously, the ads are going on. We've, we've literally paid forty dollars Australian for for ads all night, and we've got some big beats going on right now. You know what's weird about this event is they've got two girls dancing in the ring right now, but they've also got two guys dancing in the ring right now. It's really weird. Boxing is rigged and everyone has accepted that the Pacquiao fight was a Muppet fest. Absolutely. Crawford ended... Yeah, absolutely. Jack Sparks. Yeah, Crawford ended Horn's career. That Terence Crawford fight really killed... killed um, that Terence Crawford fight really slapped up Jeff Horn. Yeah. Because he thought he was destined for big things until that happened. And then he realized, wait a second... Australasia is a little bit different to the old America. You know, you go overseas and you fight one of those big boys and, uh, you know... Oh, jeez, this is a beat right now. I don't know if you guys are listening, but jeez, this is a beat. On a Wednesday night, we're moving and grooving. Now we're talking, moving and grooving on a Wednesday night. At least they're getting some good tunes going. <laughs> I'm gonna, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to beat all you... Uh, uh, I'm going to comment, I... We'll bash all of you dogs. <laughs> I just comment that in the chat. <laughs> Matthew Letts says, Spud Fest, LaBruna, 12 and 0, Hardman, 10 TKO. And so says, let's go. All right, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling Shanika Johnson to get this win. I'm feeling Shanika Johnson to get this win. Are you going to shoot the Fury White fight? Yes, Mel. I believe it's about 8, 9 a.m. our time. So that gives me time to... It gives me time to stream the Cubs game at four in the morning on uh, Sunday, and then I will stream the Tyson Fury versus Dylan White fight. Yeah, Harrison Hovens has just bought the fight. Is it a waste of money, man? I'm telling you right now, you would have actually gotten it a bit better. Uh, it would have been better for you to just listen to this stream. I'm not going to lie to you, my guy. Thank you very much to Mohammed uh, Ajazi for subscribing. Uh, but in the same sense, man, you're getting the two best fights now. Those fights before were pretty shit house. That's why you kind of listen down to cards here. And then use me as a commentator for those ones. Uh, but these ones, next two ones, are going to be good fights, yeah. These next two ones should be good fights. Um, obviously, this Rafa versus Harbin one's going to be a good fight. Uh, it's a 50 50 split. People don't know whether it's Harbin or it's Rafa. It's going to be a close fight. Uh, and then this, uh, this Johnson versus Esquivel fight will be a good one. So, look, $40 is expensive for this card. Absolutely. Very expensive. It should be a $20 card, in my opinion. Um, but with that being said, it depends on your perspective. If you really want to see Rafa versus Harbin, you really want to see one of these guys knocked out, then uh, it's worth the $40 uh, unless it's a decision win. Smith says he's in the top five, 10 box in the country. Zarafa have to respect that. Are you related to Zarafa, Smith? Are you his, are you his family member? Sergeant Kelson says, uh, lay into him, Blaze. Yeah, I'll lay into him. Hold on, I'll see if anyone replied to me. <laughs> I'll see if anyone replied to me. Yeah, someone, Spider Rico says, Big House Sport, you're a rat. <laughs> oh, man. 
Big ass sport, you were right. <laughs> yeah. Spider Rico's called you a dildo. That's one of you guys. I know it is. I know it's one of you guys. <laughs> Cost you two at the end of the chat. Oh, no, Azzy. Floyd Mayweather's here. Bogan sent Addy. Isaac Harbin's there saying uh, you're all underage. Uh, Joe Biden is in the chat now too. <laughs> this is the best. This is this is the best part about this event is that they've got the chat. <laughs> oh, they're talking to Bomber right now, so there might be still like 15 minutes for this next before this next fight, guys. So you got time to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Uh, Harrison Hobbs says I'm only killing these two next two fights. That's why I paid. Did I miss much before, mate? You missed absolutely nothing. Where the best part about this paying for the event so far is that you get the chat. So you can see our chat, which is cool. We're chilling out, having a bit of fun. But the actual chat of the, the fights tonight, or like on Fight TV, is full on, bro. Like it's... <laughs> Ivan Malat Ivan Malat is in the chat. <laughs> Ivan Malat. <laughs> Ivan Malat has just asked, what fight are we up to in the chat? <laughs> oh, it's too funny, dude. So we're just waiting for the next fight, guys, if you're wondering what's going on. Uh, Jack Spark says, I put a couple of links in and so did somebody else. Uh, so Jack, because you're not a moderator, mate, your links don't actually go into the chat. Your links don't actually show in the chat. Uh, yeah, Conor McGregor's there. Joe Biden says, come on, man, you know the thing. Isaac Hardman saying, uh, yep, there's there's some... Tupac is now back. Has anyone seen Shook? <laughs> Has anyone seen Shook Knight? Tupac in the chat. All right. Ben Bug Music says, Ivan Malat resurrected. Mate, we got Tupac asking for Suge Knight here. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, they're talking to Bomber right now. Bomber obviously had a big win before. Well, not a big win, but he had a win over uh, uh, Narachuk. What was his name again? Sorry. Uh, it was uh, Harry Ruck. Uh, Harry Ruck. That's the one. Paul Gallon saying, Isaac, is that really you? Matthew Lips says, Rafa's last fight versus Mundine. Fight card was the worst I've ever seen in Bendigo. I wanted a refund. Bro, so far, it's been pretty bad tonight. It, like, was it worse than what we've seen tonight? Timmy Sue, now he... Matthew, it, but, uh, Smith says, he ran from Sue because he knew uh, GGG was vacating the belt to fight Canelo. Alvarez, if he lost to Sue, this would be happening. Uh, smart, really. Smith, you are guaranteed 100%. I am 100% guaranteeing that you are related to uh, Zarafa somehow. There's no way anyone defends Zarafa this much. There's no way the people defend Zarafa as much as you do, unless you're related to him. Uh, Harrison Hovind, I'm setting up the ring for the next Scallon fight. Good stuff, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be streaming that one. Gal versus uh, Tzuzuki, I think it is. Um, I, I love my boxing, man, so we're here all the time. I'll be doing that one. We'll be doing Tyson Fury versus Dylan White this weekend on Sunday. Um, should be good. So, guys, if you are new around here and you love your boxing or your UFC or you love your rugby league, uh, rugby union, whatnot, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button because we're here literally every single day. Ben Barker says, next fight going to be one-sided. Uh, I don't know, man. I think Johnson could get up. Harrison, oh, that's right. Uh, bomber for a cab driver. <laughs> Matthew Lips says, Rafa ran from Sue and made up a COVID excuse. We took a piss. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know that, but I, I Smith is trying to pretend like... Melm says, that those actual comments? No, no, no. This chat has everyone from Tupac to um, Costa Zoo. It has Cassius Clay now. <laughs> it has Creed the Greed. Isaac Hartman is saying, Oakley Station, I've got bags now. Come get them. I'm going to give them for $10. He's selling bags for $10, apparently, Isaac Hartman. You know... Backpacks, of course. Backpacks, of course, is what he's talking about there. Um, you know, we've got everyone. Even Ivan Malat was in the chat before. You know, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, man. Ladies, it's been funny. Like, that's making it funny. It is. They can't, that chat is making it funny as. Uh, now someone's asking if anyone wants to lend... Anyone want to lend me their mum for the night? The mister was working away this week. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Tyson Fury's Dylan, Dylan White on Sunday will be good. These aren't usually... By the way, guys, if you are new, these, this isn't how the stream normally goes. This is a very kickback stream. Usually, it's way more different to this. Usually, it's way more different to this. How much people in that chat sounds funny as... Well, this is the only way you can watch the fight, mate. So everyone who's watching this fight right now is in this chat. Every single person who is... Um, every single person who is in this fight, uh, who is watching this fight, is watching through this this uh, this event, uh, fight.tv, so... Uh, and Splits, he says, uh, Costia has threatened to turn Gallon to Zab, dude. 
Oh, man. So there would be a heap. There would be a lot of people. Zarafa is winning. What do you mean? 3064. Fix your stream. Fight TV. It's shy. I don't think there's anything wrong with the stream tonight. Everyone keeps saying it's blurry. It's not blurry for me. It's not blurry at all. I think the stream's been fine. Nah, I won't get pumped, mate. I won't get pumped for that one. So we're still waiting here for this next fight, guys. This is the only problem that I found with tonight is that between fights has been so random. Like, you'll either get a, a huge gap or a really small gap. No, it's a stream's fight. No, 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 not my stream. I'm talking about the stream of the actual fight is what I'm talking about. Uh, Smith is just Rafa's stage name. Luke Coley says Rafa by points. Luke. Ah, oh, Luke is getting Rafa by points. Okay. Uh, I think that Hartman's going to win by TKO in round four. But I'll, round th I'll go round three, but with that being said, I could if, if Zarafa gets to the distance, it'll be by Zarafa points. If Zarafa wins, it'll be and he goes the distance, it'll be if this fight goes the distance, it'll be by points for Zarafa, in my opinion. And, and as he says, I can't get over Ivan Malat. Too funny. Who thinks of that? I know who thinks of Ivan Malat. Like that's one of the the sickest person people in Australian history. And <laughs> like, geez, man, people are something. Uh, Melbourne says Hardman by disqualification. <laughs> You're a muppet. Lane Ball says, what happened in this stream? Literally, us just chilling, Batman. This is a super chill stream right now because these the undercard has been <laughs> Spider Rico. <laughs> oh, man, Spider Rico. He's not happy. Um, but this undercard has been super bad. So we've just been killing, uh, ch uh, kicking back, chilling, and um, watching the chat over there and, and laughing here. Jay says, who is Hardman? He's, you know, uh, 12 and 0, mate. That's who Hardman is. He is 12 and 0. Reese Reynolds says, the fight will only be a knockout finish. I agree, dude. I agree. I do believe that it's going to be um, a knockout of Zarafa. I do think that it's going to be Hardman getting the knockout. Honestly, I feel like I'm at club right now. I, the music they're playing for this event, I feel like I'm at a dead set club. Catchy Slippin says, what's the Johnson result? You haven't done it. Uh, have I not? Oh, no, it's about to happen. Oh, that's what. <laughs> Donson and Esquivel is about to happen right now. So we don't know yet. Catch me slipping. You didn't catch me slipping, mate. You didn't catch me slipping. The fight hasn't happened yet. We're about to, we're waiting. It's the next fight. Jay says, what country is Hardman from? He's Australian, mate. He's from Brisbane. He's from the country of Broncos. He is from the country of the Maroons. Jack Sparks says, Hardman TKO round eight. Reese Reynolds says, definitely 50-50, but I'm gunning for Hardman. Uh, Matthew Lepp says, Hardman will pump Zarafa. <laughs> Oh, man, we are still watching ads here. I'm telling you. It's just ads and doof doof. It's literally just ads and doof doof, man. Smith, this is Rafa's last chance. I wish him all the best. Are you his dad, Smith? I want to ask you, are you Michael's Rafa's dad? Is your name... What, I'm going to Google this. What is Michael's Rafa's dad's name? What is his name? What is Michael Zarafa's dad's name? And it's going to say Smith. Uh, his mother is from Australia. His father's from Malta. All right. Yeah, but what's his dad? What's his dad's name? Come on, give me his dad's name because we've got him in the chat right now. Um, net worth is expected to be in the millions. No shit, Sherlock. Um, it doesn't have his name here. Smith, what's your name, mate? What's your name? <laughs> hey, finally, we've got four girls dancing in the ring now. Now it's worthwhile, lads. Now, <laughs> now it's worthwhile. <laughs> We got four four ladies dancing in the ring right now. This is so random. <laughs> this is so random. <laughs> this song reminds me of Shrek too. I think it's Matt says he's Hardman a relative of the other four hundred Hardmans in the fight game. Mate, he's a hard man. See, this is why you go to events like this, just because it's so random, man. It's so, <laughs> so funny. And he says, women in the ring, sexier. Sachin Kelson says, uh, $40 for the Adathon. Wow, yeah, absolutely, bro. That is an Adathon. James Thornton says, Hardman hasn't looked that good, in my opinion. Probably he's 12-0. Luke Colley says, uh, Hardman is Smith, says Smith. All right, here we go. The fight might be, we might be, able, we might be about to see Shanika Jensen and Melissa Esquivel. Oh, I can hear someone say, how you going, mate? Yeah, good event. <laughs> Luke Colley says, Hardman's good, not so much technical, has really only been boxing for a few years now, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, yeah, um, but I think Hardman's going to be too good here today, big boy. I think he's going to be too good here today, the old Hardman. 
Uh, Coop Mays has had a watch for free. Uh, due to broadcasting restrictions, man, obviously uh, not uh, rocket science. You cannot watch it here. It's illegal. Uh, the best I can do is advise you not to pay for it and to listen here. Uh, <laughs> Johnson, 27 years of age. They're both 27, actually. Johnson, 13-1 record up against Esquivel, who's 12-2. and um, they're, This is going to be a good fight. I reckon it's going to be a good fight here. I am getting around to Smith's Rafa. <laughs> Absolutely. You are guaranteed related to Zarafa. There's no way I don't believe you're not related to Michael Zarafa Smith. There's no way someone uh, someone defends Zarafa as hard as you are right now. We all know that he dogged that fight with Timmy Tsu. We all know he dogged that fight with Tim Tsu. I don't know what speech, what Harry Potter novel you dropped before about it being a smart thing that Zarafa did, but... <laughs> This <laughs> is happening with my KO and T-bag in a second. I can't, I can't say like this chat's hilarious. This chat's something else tonight. That chat, this chat's all over the place. <laughs> Can you imagine one of them getting a knockout and then T-bag and the other one in the ring? That'd be, <laughs> that would be incredible. All right, here we go. Melissa. Esquivel, here she comes, guys. Melissa Esquivel, this is a 10-round Super Bantam weight for the vacant IBF Women's Super Bantam weight title. Uh, now, this is uh, the only title fight of the night. This is the only title fight of the night. All right. James Thornton says, Zarafa would have been smoked against Sue. That's why he dogged it. That is why Zarafa ran. So, Melissa Esquivel... So she's representing, is that Mexico? That's the Mexican flag. Wow. I've just seen a full-on comment in that other chat. Wow. I have never thought. I can't read that out. I can't read that out. But that is, uh, that chat is something else. That chat is just something else. (laughs) You guys know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. All right, so it's good. Well, we'll come out there. Anyone who's watching that other chat, look at Gabe's comment. G-A-B-E. Look at Gabe's comment, and um, you'll know why I can't read that out. Uh, Matthew Letts has never seen a good uh, Labruna fight card ever, Palestine. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, Shanika Johnson coming out now. She's 13-1. and one. Oh, man, this is funny. I gotta stop looking at that that chat. Why is there so many security right now? Why is there so much security with her? What's going on there? There's like there's like fifteen security guards surrounding her. Why? What's going on? And this says this chat is too much. Did you? No, I can't. Ryan Zarkles. Basically, what they were saying is, um, oh, hold on, I'll read out kind of. Oh, no, I can't give it to you. It's, it's, it's filthy, bro. <laughs> it's, it's a filthy comment, man. I've got tears in my eyes. It's that filthy. No, it's just guaranteed there's some comments in that chat slandering these. Oh, bro. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. So, here we go, guys. Give me your predictions in the chat. He's saying, uh, this is going to be for 10 rounds, Super Bantam weight. And like I said, this might actually be a good one. This may actually be the first good fight of the night. And split says Ivan Malat, that's why. Yep, absolutely. People coming into this chat right now are like, why are they talking about Ivan Malat, Tupac? What's going on here? Why are you talking about uh, Paul Gallen calling someone a dog? He didn't. This is just the chat of the actual fight. So if you paid for the fight tonight, you also got free access to a random chat with all people who are watching. And there's a lot of heroes. Let's put it that way. JKT says up at the Tigers. Matthew Lepsis, Camposis versus Haney. Now that will be a cracking fight card. Oh, bro, I can't wait. That's going to be awesome, man. That is going to be actually awesome. I will stream that fight. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, wait. We're actually... Oh, because of the title fight, we're listening to the National Anthems. So we've got the National Anthems going on right now, guys. Jack Sparks is Johnson by TKO or points. Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm going Shanika Johnson here by... Uh, I'm going to go by TKO. I'm going to go by TKO. Uh, Melm says Johnson, Johnson. Getting around Johnson there. Guys, we've got 55 people in the chat right now. Let's go hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We will be streaming Tyson Fury versus Dylan White on Sunday. And don't forget, if you love your NBA as well, or baseball, or NFL, we've got Big House Sport USA. 
Uh, so go and jump over to that channel. Mel or, or uh, Dazmate's going to drop the link to that one. Uh, but also, don't forget, we've got the Rugby League tomorrow night between the Manly Seagulls and Cronulla Sharks, which should be a good game. Oh, man, I'm not reading out that comment. Answer, it says, list of people I've seen tonight. Gal, Ivan Malat, Tupac, McGregor, Mayweather, both Tim and Costia, Lana Rhodes, and Muhammad Ali. Smith says, watching practice his teabagging in the ring walk. You're an idiot. <laughs> Sachin Kelton says, Johnson by TKO. <laughs> Someone just said... We're listening to the Mexican National Anthem and someone just come and saying, I lost my virginity to the song with your mum. Like, this is the state of this chat. Like, this is the state of this chat. <laughs> Mel, just dropped the link to BKS What USA, guys. Go and obviously subscribe to BKS What USA. <laughs> All right, now we get the National Anthem of Australia. Beautiful. <laughs> That's the one he's talked about. <laughs> For we are young and free. Get around it. If this doesn't pump you up, guys, then you aren't even Australian, you dog. You aren't even Australian if this doesn't pump you up. Who is this guy singing? This chat is more random than the event. Oh, I don't know. They're both pretty random. They're both pretty random. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go, baby. Come on. Be a good fight. Please be a good fight. Please be a good fight. We just want to see a good fight. Uh, someone's saying that this guy looks like an island boy. And somebody says, Jake Paul's in the chat now. <laughs> All right, someone said, not a copper. All right, here we go, guys. So uh, I'm going to say round six for Shanika Johnson here. So the co-main event of the evening, guys, right after this fight, we will be watching on as the Rafa takes on Hardman. Uh, Melm says, it's funny because I can feel like I can picture what these people chatting shit look like. If you guys are in the Discord, if one of you guys who have paid for it are in the Discord, honestly, man, take a screenshot of the chat and show these guys in the Discord because it's hilarious. But be prepared. Assassin Gullen says, we need a good fight after the undercard we've witnessed. Yeah, absolutely. We need a good fight here. But Michael, um, the Zarafa versus Hardman fight will be a good fight, man. The Zarafa versus Hardman fight will be a good fight, no matter what. So, Melissa Esquivel, 15 fights, 12 wins, and 2 losses. So, she must have had 1 draw. Oh, I tell you, she is... Wow, okay. She must be... So she's from New Zealand, but she's uh, fighting out of uh, Victoria. She's a killer, man, but she is unreal. Uh, can I put it in the BK Sport Discord, place? That's what I'm saying to you to do. 14 fights, 13 wins, wins and one loss here for Shanika Johnson. She's trained by Sam LaBruna. The stream's starting to stop a little bit here. I don't know why. All righty, guys. So Shanika Johnson. I think she's going to win this one here. She's also won in life. She just simply has. Matt says, Aussie boxing events are a shitty side show. Undercards are shockingly bad. I would say that the Harry Garside versus Munru Mate uh, fight was actually a really good undercard. Dargan's and, Dargan and Sims was a fun fight. Uh, we got to see uh, Paulo Alcuso. Alcuso. Um, that was a really good boxer coming through. I disagree with Harry Garside on the card. Some cards, yes. Some cards, no. This card, yes. Bad. All right, round one underway here, guys. Two minutes to go here for round one, and it's going to be uh, Esquivel coming forward here from Mex Mexico. She's getting out here with a left and a right. She's trying to go hard early, uh, but Shanika Johnson's just kind of waiting, waiting it out right now. I'll react to your comments and talk to you guys in between rounds. Wow, Esquivel going for a massive left and right haymaker there that completely missed, and a really wild. She's throwing like KSI right now, man. She's making those really wild haymakers that are going nowhere near landing. And again, she's going to open herself up here. You let yourself hands go like this, and you, anyone with a brain will be able to open you up with just a flurry once you throw one of those. That's a really strange style to be going with here, but uh, best of luck with this one, Esquivel. So Shanika Johnson here, just still waiting her out. Good jab there. Good jab again. Esquivel kind of got a left there, but that's a good left jab there from, uh, from Shanika Johnson. Easy defense. She comes through there with the, the jab. So this jab looks like it's working well here for... Uh, for Shanika Johnson at the moment. A minute to go here of round number one. Johnson backs away here. She's just looking to really pump that jab, and that jab kind of landed there. I don't think that Esquivel's actually done anything right now. She's just throwing those big haymakers, and nothing's actually landing. 
Uh, but Johnson goes with a big right, misses that one, lands that right, though. That was nice. 43 seconds to go here, and Esquivel comes forward. Johnson now over the top of the right. She'll miss that one. Now she'll get a nice little jab going, and then she'll get up, up, up close here. 34 seconds to go now, round one of five. Esquivel comes forward with the left jab, left jab again, misses. Everything's missing right now, but she does come up with a left hook and lands that one. And they both kind of land each. To, oh, I don't know, man. Nothing really happened there either. 19 seconds to go here, round number one. 15 seconds left now. Esquivel comes forward there, misses that one, comes over the top of the left and completely misses that. Johnson waiting in out. She really, she did well there. She gets a nice little counter left. Body shot there from, body shot, body shot again from Johnson. And there we go, guys. So round one's done. I'm going to give it to Johnson, but it's a close one. It's a 50-50. I'll say 10-9 Johnson. Um, and it's what he says. I actually put in the NRL, so if you want to see, go there. Sachin Gold says, we're going to see K in that Garside Matei card. Undercard? Yeah, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. I want to see another give fight like a crab. Yeah, that was a bad one too. All right, guys. So round one done there. And I'd lean with Johnson because she hasn't been so wild. Uh, but with that being said, not an easy one to read. It could easily be a 10-9 round to um, to Esquivel. But I'd say the better punches landed were from Johnson. And, and Esquivel threw more, but the, most of them missed, is what I would say. Smith says, um, does Rafa will be a world champion before Sue at Tim will take it, take it off him? All right, Daddy Zarafa. All right, Smith Zarafa. We get it. You're in love with your son. It's fine, man. It's okay. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to do that. But your son's also a flog. All right, so round number two here. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. So two minutes to go, and uh, it's going to be Johnson who lands a nice little jab, but then Esquivel comes forward there. She is quite wild, but it also seems like she's not too far off with her wild shit. Like, she's coming with a couple of left and rights over the top there. A bit of haymakers, but, you know, um, they're not too bad. J Johnson there gets a nice little jab, but Esquivel's probably been the better to start off this second round here. And she comes through here as well. Esquivel definitely winning the second round. Gets another left jab there. She's, this is a close fight, and she's going to land another left. Johnson is, unfortunately, on the back end of this one right now. She's not looking the greys in this early part. Esquivel comes forward there. She will tire herself out with this way, surely. Surely she's going to tire herself out at some point. Oh, Johnson now comes forward now. Here she goes. Left jab. She landed a couple there. Really good flurry. And then she's going to uh, grab her around the neck, basically, and try and give her a choke. But you can't do that in this sport. No, you cannot do a choke in this sport. Good left there from Johnson. A minute to go here, round two. Esquivel definitely putting the pressure on, and she's the one obviously being the aggressor as we currently speak. 54 seconds left now. Esquivel comes forward. A couple of body shots, and they tangle again. There's a lot of tangling in this one. A lot of tangling. Oh, Johnson gets a good solid right and a left there as well. This is a really difficult style for Johnson to work around. You know, Esquivel is just such a random thrower. She just throws and throws and throws, and she doesn't seem like she's getting tired, but she will surely at some point, especially over 10 rounds here. She's going pretty full on for, a, you know, only two rounds in here. She's been pretty full on. 27 seconds to go here, round two. Oh, now they're swinging. Oh, Johnson's down here. No, she's not down. She nearly went down, though. She got landed with with a really clean left hook there from Esquivel. And I'm giving this second round to Esquivel, absolutely. Esquivel is absolutely getting the second round. So I'm giving 10-9 to... Um, 10-9 Johnson and 10-9 Esquivel. And that's going to be separated. Actually, I might get my book here and I might write down this one because this is actually a good fight. Well, to an extent. All right, there we go. So that's the round done there, guys. And I'm giving that to Esquivel. So 10-9 um, to Johnson. And then I'll go 10-9 to Esquivel. So there we go, guys. So right now, it is 19-19 uh, apiece. Let me know your thoughts in the chat. Uh, Captain James, I want to see another give fight. Ben Barker Music said, I once said a boxer's career was over after a loss. He died a week later. Wow. Way to really, you know, bring the mood down. Uh, <laughs> I'm up it. And Splitsy he says, the Rafa fans are about as common as Michael Morgan fans. Um, Smith says, really, has Rafa beat Horn twice? No, he didn't. He lost once. Matt says, the only people who love women's sport are divorced men over 50. I love women's sport, and I'm not divorced, and I'm also 27, going on 28 in about two weeks' time. So take that, buddy. You know why I like women's sport? Because I do. I'm allowed to. Is that all right with you? Thank you. Women's rugby league is actually super fun to watch. You just don't watch it. If you gave it a chance, you'd actually enjoy it. I'm just throwing it out there. Take my word for it. I know rugby league. I love rugby league. You guys know this. You guys know this. 
So uh, please take my advice and watch a game because it is actually fun to watch the women's NRL W. So a minute 50 to go here. And also mud wrestling is also a sport. And if you don't like that as a male, well, then there's a problem with you. There really is. It simply is. So a minute 40 to go here and Esquivel's coming forward, but Johnson gets a nice little left across there. A minute 37 to go here, round three. Johnson really coming forward but there with a couple of left and rights. This is a good fight, man. What do you want? What do you want? Like, what, what, do you, what do you want after that? Dark and Sims fight the other week was actually probably the best fight of the... Um, this chick, she needs to chuck whatever she's got in her... Um, up, I don't know what that was, but it was coming out. Just pack it away, man. Pack it away. So a minute 18 to go now. Oh, geez. Decent defense there from Johnson. Johnson gets a nice jab there. Really getting a... Uh, really finding a way through this defense. A minute seven to go. Johnson having a better third round now. That's a good left, good left, good left again. Another left there from Johnson. She goes for a left hook. She missed that one. Is that like a pad? Is that like a pad to, to protect the breast there for the female? I don't know. What is that that keeps coming out of Esquivel's left breast? That's really strange. It's like it keeps coming all the way out. It's really distracting. I'm trying to watch the fight. Oh, that's a huge hit. Oh, that's a huge hit there from Johnson as well. Jeez, Esquivel kind of got uh, got a good hit in there as well. Got to be very... Yeah, Esquivel wore that one really nicely. So 30 seconds to go now. Oh, that's good right there from Johnson. Really good right. She's definitely won this third round here. She's definitely won this third round here. Good left there. Good left jab there from Johnson. 18 seconds to go here, round number three. Johnson comes forward there for left and right. Nothing happens there. Esquivel goes for left and right as well, but she'll miss both of those. 10 seconds left now of round three. Esquivel, the aggressor. She'll get a right in. Nothing too bad there, though. She'll come forward, and that should be the end here of the third round. There we go, guys. So I'm going to give that third round there to Johnson. So 10-9 Johnson. So for me, it is uh, 29 to um, 28 right now. 29-28 in favor of Johnson. Uh, and he says you'd think Zarafa's dad would know he lost you'd think Smith says Campos is junior too and Zarafa will all have world titles at the same time yep you're an idiot uh, up the pen and pants says love the NRLW get around it man get around it so round three here guys give me your what your scorecard is uh, uh, right now through three rounds I'm going first round 10-9 to Johnson second round 10-9 to um, Esquivel and then third round 10-9 to Johnson But there were some nice shots there from both, to be honest with you. Truly. They have uh, done well here to start off with. Both of them. It's a boob holder or a boon, I think. Yeah, I think it... I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, but it just keeps coming out. It's really distracting because it's like pure white. And it's just like... Because she's wearing a black top and the white's coming out, it's very distracting. Um, so a minute 58 to go here of round four. It's not nothing that she can do about it. It is what it is, but she's super distracting. So Esquivel now coming out to attack really well here in this beginning stage of round four. Comes with a left, and she'll get a nice body shot there. That really landed nicely. Commentary's not talking about it, but she got a good right uh, right into the oblique there, Esquivel. And uh, Johnson comes up close, and they'll have to separate it. Oh, no, this is the same umpire from before. Oh, no, this guy sucks. I just realized who it is. This guy separates literally everything. He won't let any fight happen at all. This guy will want to be on TV more than the actual boxing happens. Oh, here we go. Inside. And they're just going going hard now. Inside. And they're going to separate. Minute 16 to go here. Round four. Oh, that's Esquivel lands there. Esquivel lands there. She got a left and a right landed there, Esquivel. So a minute seven seconds. Why is the commentary saying Johnson came out best out of that? That's a good left there from Johnson, though. Minute three to go here. Round number four. And I'll separate this one again because the referee obviously wants to get his name on uh, his face on TV. Body shot. Both with lefts. 50 seconds. And Esquivel comes in there with a left and a right. Ooh, Johnson landed a nice right there, however. Good left jab. 43 seconds to go here round four. There's no defense in this fight at all. Good left jab there from, uh, from Esquivel. And another left lands for Esquivel as well. Okay, cool referee, shut up. 32 seconds to go here, round number four. They're going for a bit of a tit-for-tat, and now you've got to separate them. 24 seconds left now. Johnson goes for a left and right, misses everything there. Body shot by Esquivel. Separate him again. Yeah, okay, cool, shut up, referee. 17 seconds to go here. Oh, body shot, they're going for it, they're going for it, they're going for it. They're going for it. She's getting held down there. Johnson's holding in the arm right there. Esquivel comes over the top. Oh, this is a tough round of call, man. 
This is a super tough round of call. I don't know how to say round four. Um, Smith says, we'll see who the idiot is soon, my man. Hard. Oh, no. I'm just saying. Wait. Uh, oh, in regards to... Zarafa's not getting a world title anytime soon, mate. Yeah. Zarafa's not getting any, a world title anytime soon on any real level. I'm actually going to go Esquivel. I'm going to say that was a 10-9 Esquivel, but honestly, I wouldn't be upset if you guys said uh, Johnson. I wouldn't be upset if you guys said Johnson, but I'll say Esquivel there. Kieran Young says, hey, Baker, how's it going? Um, it's going, mate. It's going. It's Ryan Lang says, Fury said, if White does not show up to the fight, he'll fight his friend Joseph Parker. Uh, why will show up, mate? I'm not reading out your comment, Captain James, you muppet. Jeez, yeah, I'm going to give that round to Esquivel. I think it's a tied fight right now. I think it is a tied fight. I think it is a tied fight. So 10, 20, 29, 38 apiece. 38 apiece right now. Ryan Lane says, I can't wait for two next fight. Yeah, when's two's next fight? Matt says, Bull is going to lose half the team. Cover drama. Bet the Broncos now before it becomes public knowledge. It is public knowledge, mate. Minute 55 to go here. Round number five. I think it's a tight fight as we currently speak. I got round one and round three to Johnson. Round th- two and round four to Esquivel. But honestly, every single round could be 50-50. As long as we don't get a draw like we saw earlier in the night, that's the main thing. All right, so Esquivel comes forward there with a left. Good left and a right there as well. Minute 35 to go now. Johnson here with a right. And now Esquivel comes back at her. And they'll separate this one. Yeah, okay, referee. Shut up, ma'am. She gets it. Just separate him and shush. A minute 24 to go. Esquivel goes for a big left underneath and she'll miss that. And a right lands there for Esquivel. And uh, Johnson now attacks her and, and nothing really comes off from that. They're really just up close and personal and uh, a couple of nice little uh, jabs there from Esquivel. Minute 10 to go, round five. Esquivel again here. She, she's the one, the aggressor. That's a body shot there for her. And Johnson comes up and uh, throughout his first minute of this round five, I'm also looking at Esquivel. Oh, big miss there from Esquivel, though. Massive miss. She went for a huge slap, but it missed badly. Oh, gee, we go. there we go. Johnson landed one there. And Esquivel also landed a right as well over the top. Johnson just... She just isn't being that clinical right now. And Esquivel getting another good land there. 38 seconds to go. I don't know if Johnson's going to be able to, to win this fight unless she gets a knockout here because Esquivel just seems like she's too... She's got too much pace. It's just too frenetic. She just won't stop. 28 seconds to go here, round number five. She just can't stop. There's 10 rounds here, and it's let's see, 10 rounds. 20 seconds to go, and they'll separate this one. So this is round number five right now. And, oh, good land there from Johnson, however. And that'll be separated. So less than 10 seconds to go. Escobar is starting to get a lot more. Oh, geez, Johnson gets a good right there. Oh, geez, I don't know. She's looking shaky. I don't know. I still think the whole round was Esquivel's. I'm going to go 10-9 Esquivel, but that last punch there from Johnson might have actually won the round there, but I'm going to leave with Esquivel. I thought she was more dominant for the most part of that fight. Oh, of that round, sorry. Uh, guys, just to, just to reiterate, obviously we're watching a boxing fight right now. Once the fight finishes, then I can talk about Brazil versus goddamn Argentina, but wait until after the fight, man. Um... I was putting the young bloke to bed. What do you have? Who do you have winning this fight so far? So I had first round 10-9 Johnson, second round 10-9 to Esquivel, third round 10-9 Johnson, fourth round 10-9 Esquivel, and fifth round 10-9 Esquivel. So right now, I have Esquivel three rounds to two. Uh, but like I said, and I've said many times, it's very 50-50 in every single round. Very 50-50 in every single round. Uh, which one is more promising for odds boxing? Is Rafa or Harbin? Don't know too much about these guys. Harbin. Harbin's 12-0. Kiss Aussie and Worldwide Collector says chicken fillets. Wow. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go back to the fight. <laughs> and we're going to go get to the fight. All right. Here we go. So round six, guys. If you have a disagreement with me, please let me know in the chat. Two minutes to go here, round six. And and Johnson needs to do a bit more for me. I think Esquivel really is dictating the fight. And she's throwing more and landing more, in my opinion. Uh, Johnson lands one or two good ones towards the end of the round, but it just isn't enough for me to give her the round at the moment. Uh, Esquivel still putting the pressure on, moving her into the corner. Johnson's really got to capitalize on getting that really good punch at the last seconds of that round five. Esquivel there with a couple of body shots and Johnson goes up close and doesn't do anything there. So Esquivel will be happy with those couple of body shots there. She comes up the top of the right. Easy defense for Johnson. And that left will break through there for Esquivel. But Johnson will also get a really nice right hand. A minute 20 to go. Oh, Johnson lands a good left there. They're both... Oh, now Johnson's got the attack here. Esquivel must have been clipped. Oh, they're going to separate it. 
Esquivel seemed like she got clipped there a little bit. And Johnson here. She seems like she's probably been a better in this first 55 seconds of round six. A minute to go now, guys. Oh, good hit there from Esquivel. She lands a nice left on Johnson there. Really quality left. She definitely would have felt that one. Johnson and an uppercut and a left again and a left again here from Esquivel. She is landing some quality punches here. Another left there from Esquivel. She goes up underneath with an uppercut. She'll miss that one though. But this is definitely now Esquivel's round off this last 25 seconds. Some really clean shots being landed here. And Esquivel is the aggressor as well. She is going to be winning this round, in my opinion, unless uh, Johnson, can, Johnson can get some really good wobbling shots here. But there is no real wobbling shots from Johnson so far. Oh, Esquivel with an uppercut of dreams as well. Johnson trying to go for it here, but uh, just nothing landing for her. 20 seconds go, uppercut again from Esquivel. She's really reading her well. Esquivel is reading Johnson well here. 14 seconds ago, Johnson gets a right hand of herself. 10 seconds to go now. Johnson with a left. Johnson with a left misses that. Esquivel comes forward here. She misses and ducks underneath that one. And I'm going to give this round to Esquivel. I'm going to give this round to Esquivel here. I'm going to do it. Yep. I'm going to give that one to Esquivel as well. So my card right now, I am saying first round Johnson, second round uh, Esquivel, third round Johnson, and then four, five, and six order Esquivel. So that's my personal opinion right now. Greg says someone sinks someone. Uh, and so says, someone in chat said Zarafa tested positive for COVID. <laughs> Boxing match, not a fight. What are you talking about, Matt? Uh, Kel Brook, Jeff Horn, Mundine. Who, who has Hardman fought? What? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? This is a good fight right now, though. This is a good fight. You don't know. Like, there was a lot of rounds at the beginning that could have been 50-50s. There was a lot of rounds at the beginning that could have been easily a 50-50 round. So uh, six rounds done here, guys. And I've, I've given Esquivel four rounds to two. So you can still come back and win these final three round, uh, these final four rounds for, for Johnson and, um, and, and, and take the win here. But that would mean that she would have to win every single round from here on out. But all righty, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate you for tuning in. Obviously, we're here every single day from a different sports. So, love your boxing, rugby league, and the likes. Get around it. Esquivel here with the body shot there. Oh, that's good over the top there from uh, from Johnson. She lands a left there, Johnson. She does land a left. That's a good left again there from Johnson. But uh, Esquivel gets a 1-2 as well. Minute 42 to go here at round 7. Esquivel body shot and also gets a nice little land to the cheek. Left cheek. It's a close fight. Oh, what happened there? I think she tripped over. Yeah, she just slipped over there. Esquivel slips over, but she's all right. She hasn't been knocked down there. Esquivel comes forward, and now Johnson comes forward underneath. Minute 20 to go here, round seven. Esquivel, good left jab. Really nice left jab and body shot. Here we go. Johnson comes forward as well, though, but she's just not throwing anything that's connecting really solidly. A minute five to go, round seven. This is a very 50-50 round, still up for the grabs. Still up for grabs here. Either one can snag it. But Johnson needs to snag it, in my personal opinion. She'll get a left there, left jab. Oh, unbelievable shot there from Johnson. She just crunched that right, right to the nose. That was a brilliant shot there from Johnson. That punch right there may win her this round. That punch right there may have won her this round individually. But uh, Esquivel here comes back with a left of her own. 37 seconds to go here of round number seven. And they'll separate this one. 30 seconds left now. I feel like Esquivel might have lost her balance somehow. I don't know. Maybe her knees. Or I don't know what's happening here. But she just seems like that. Because she's got her knee pretty strapped up right now. And she seems like her balance is a little bit all over the shot. So Johnson will put her off balance again there with the left. And 13 seconds to go here. Johnson's going to win this round here. This is definitely Johnson's round. Oh, good left there from Johnson. And Esquivel comes in again. She'll miss that one, though. And uh, I think she, her knee's done. I think her knee's done here. Esquivel's all over the shot. I think that's a 10-9 round there for Johnson, absolutely. Uh, I don't think you can argue that one either. I don't think it's a 50-50 round. I think that is a clear round of Johnson. So I've got 4-3 right now to Esquivel. But she's definitely tired here. Uh, I told you guys that the way she's fighting, she definitely could get tired. And, and as we currently speak, um, you know, she's got a little bit to... Uh, She's got a little bit to go here, um, but she hasn't clearly won just yet. She's For me, she's got four rounds to three, but geez, it's going to be a tough one to call from those early rounds. Malcolm says, tomorrow night, Sharks vs. Eagles. Cool. Captain James says, Rafa is going to get beat so bad he'll have to start fighting TikTokers. Uh, Matt says, boxing is boxing. Only two weapons. The fight involves everything. I've been in the fight. Yeah, but what are you talking? What are you talking about? Are you, why are you saying this to me? 
I don't get why you're saying this. I understand what the difference between a fight and a boxing is. What's the point? I've been in the fight game as long as you've been alive. Are you talking to me as if I've said something here? I don't even know what you're on about. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, um, I'm going to move on now, brother. I don't know what you're on about. Um, oh, unless you're talking to somebody else in the chat, because I have no idea why you're referring to me as if I don't know the difference between a fight and boxing. <laughs> and then for the, I'm old, I'm older than you. I'm older than you, so I know more than you. Like, shut up, man. That's just a wanky comment. So, I mean, and it's just random, because I don't even know why you're getting so upset there. So, I mean, 44 to go here, but it's just a wanky comment just there of, oh, oh, well, I've known boxing as long as you've been alive. Wank. Minute 37 to go here, round number eight. And Johnson gets a good jab there, and a right as well. Minute 30 to go here, and she's winning his first 30. I'm telling you, Esquivel, she is tired. Told you she went all out in those early rounds. And uh, there's a minute 22 to go here, round number eight now. Esquivel with a really good left jab there again. She's coming forward now. She just needs to uh, to keep maintaining some form of kind of pressure here because, like I said, that 10-9 last round wasn't... Um, uh, uh, that's uh, that, that last round. Uh, by the way, it's time out, Matt. You're boring me, brother. You're boring me, bro. So a minute to go here, round number eight now. Sorry, man, I just think that people who are older who think they know more just because they've had a few years on them, like, you know, it's just a wanky comment, dude. It's just a wanky comment. It's like, we don't need you, man. You're just bringing down the chat at the moment with your wanky comments. So 45 seconds to go here, round number eight. Appreciate you, man, but if you're going to be a wanker, then see ya. So 40 seconds to go, round number eight, and uh, Esquivel here coming forward. Oh, Johnson lands a nice left. Beautiful left there. Comes up the top of the right as well. And uh, Esquivel comes in with a couple of body shots. I'm, I'm thinking maybe to give this round to, to Johnson right now, though. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking to give this round to Johnson right now. 24 seconds to go. She's coming back. She's going to tie it at 4-4, actually. She will have tied it at 4-4 if she does win this for, in my scorecards. 15 seconds left here, round number eight. 10 seconds to go. Johnson probably being the better here in this round. Oh, good left as well. Can she get one last big punch in here? Good last punch. Yeah, she did. She did. So it's going to be a 10-9 for Johnson there, in my opinion. 10-9 for Johnson. There we go. So round one, round three, round... Round one, round three, seven and eight, all Johnson. Round two, round four, five and six, uh, um, Esquivel, in my opinion. Uh, Matt fighting the Bush League. Yeah, everyone thinks they know everything when they get a boxing fight into them. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one said anything disrespectful. But older people, for some reason, they just feel like they have the ability to talk shit to you just because they've got a few years on them. Like, look, cool, man. You can be 80, but that doesn't mean... It means you understand you have the experience of watching plenty of boxing fights. But, you know, my life as well, man, I, I've watched plenty of boxing fights in my life to understand that there's a difference between boxing and UFC, which is effectively what he's arguing there. What effectively he's arguing is that fighting is more UFC and boxing is, is not necessarily fighting, which is very technical in the way he's arguing it. And then just to be a wanker and say, like, I'm older than you, so I know more than you, just really, it just, it grinds my gears the wrong way, man. I just think there's so many wankers in this world who think that, the shit, man. Just like, shut up, dude. Just enjoy the box and then shut your mouth. Just enjoy the goddamn fight. So a minute 50 to go here, but he's not going to like that call to the fight there. <laughs> Her knee's done here. Her knee is done here. Someone just said this is the strange form of cleaning over as well. All right. So uh, I think Escobel's done here, man. Her knee is pretty gone. Her knee is pretty gone. And she'll take another big punch here. I told you, Escobel's tired and her knee is uh, is gone. All right, here we go. So she's got some good shots here, Johnson. She's really trying to dig into the body here. There's only two rounds to go. I think if Esquivel... I think Esquivel is desperate to just finish this fight off and, and hope for the best in regards to... They're going to check out the leg here, yeah. They're going to be asking about the leg here. They're getting the doctor up here. Jared Troy says, Ryan Langley, good question. I'm still waiting for the Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury fight. Um, you can clearly see she's done... Oh, that's a good left there from Johnson. Yeah, Esquivel, I don't know if she's going to be able to win this fight from here, man. She was looking good in those middle rounds, but uh, she pushes forward. And she keeps going here. Minute to go now. Oh, here she goes. She's actually going for a punch. She's going for a slap here. She's actually having a pretty good ninth round right now, Esquivel. She's actually having a pretty good ninth round. Comes over the top here. Body shot. She's just going for it now. Body shot again there from Esquivel. She may actually win this round. 
Oh, geez. Good left there from Johnson, though. And uh, body shot. Oh, good left from Esquivel. And a left again from Esquivel. I'm thinking she's actually winning this ninth round. I actually think she's winning this ninth round right now. Oh, good left there from Johnson, however. 30 seconds to go here, round number nine. And they're going to separate this. 23 seconds to go. She is, uh, she's a warrior. Good up, uppercut there from Esquivel. She's a warrior, man. You can tell her knee is about to buckle, but she is just going hard, and I think she's going to steal this ninth round. I think she's going to steal this ninth round here. Like, Johnson should be capitalizing on this. Johnson should absolutely be capitalizing on this injury. So that's a good right hand there. I'm actually giving that round Esquivel there, man. I am. So it's actually five. In my scorecard, I'm giving 5-4 to Esquivel right now. Um, timeout, Smith, please. He's obviously trolling. Um, Ryan Lane says, Smith, you're a casual if you think Mike Tyson the greatest of all time. I would say that in that era, though, Lennox Lewis was the best. Yeah, no, he's obviously a troll. That's why I haven't been really been... Co- I had a bit of a joke around with him before, but obviously, you know, he's obviously just trolling at this point, lads. Um, Malcolm Mayweather versus McGregor happened. Uh, what did Malcolm say? Uh, DJ Hardy says, Hardman all day, KO round one. Uh, I don't know about round one, ma'am, DJ, but I think round four. I've gone round four, but I think if it goes to points, I think it's Rafa wins. Um, but if it's uh, a knockout, I personally believe that Hardman will get it. Personally. Uh, Mike Nice says, where can I watch this one? It's $40, man, on Fight TV. I would definitely say it's not worth it now, man. Just listen to my commentary and then watch the highlights afterwards um, because it's not been worth the fight, the $40. But this fight's been a fun one. And it's 50-50. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised who wins. But right now, I have 5-4 to Esquivel going into the 10th. But Esquivel's um, knee is just done right now. So she's going to have to survive a 10th round from hell for her. <clears throat> so, uh, it, 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 honestly, it could be a draw. I'm not going to lie. It, it could be. Uh, but I do believe that Esquivel's won right now. But Johnson needs to win this round for that to be possible. Here we go. She's going for it here. I don't think that Esquivel... I think this will go to points. Um, and I honestly couldn't tell you who's going to win this fight. It's 50-50. Because those first four rounds, one... I gave two to Johnson and two to Esquivel. They were 50-50 rounds. All four of them. All four of them. All right. So Esquivel comes forward here. She's not getting anything... Not landing anything there. Minute 17 to go. Johnson goes to the left. Misses both of those. Esquivel with a good left and uppercut there. Nothing solid on the connection, but she was landing. And they're going to just go up, up, up close and crowd inside. One minute to go here of the fight, guys. This is the tenth round. Esquivel jab uh, goes underneath there. This tenth round is up for grabs right now. No one's won it just yet. Fifty-four seconds left. No one's leading this fourth, uh, tenth round as we speak. This is very messy. This is very messy. Thank you, whoever just subscribed. That's great left there from Esquivel. Great left, and then Johnson. She goes underneath. Esquivel goes to the body shot. I'm telling you, Esquivel could honestly be winning this this 10th round as well. 30 seconds to go. But I think Johnson's the hometown here, so she probably will get the advantage with the judges too. 24 seconds to go here, round number 10, guys. 24 seconds to go, round number 10. It's a good fight. Oh, good Johnson. Left, right. Good Johnson, left, right. 15 seconds to go here, but Esquivel, she is a warrior, and she gets a right uppercut as well. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know, man. I honestly, I'm going to give this... Oh. This is Johnson's round, probably, but it's so 50-50. She's going left and right, and that's it. Honestly, I'm going to say that's the 10-9 Johnson, and that's 5-5 for me. I just gave that, that fight as a 5-5. I gave round one Johnson. I gave round two... I gave round one Johnson. I gave round one to Esquivel. Round three... Uh, yeah, round one, Johnson. Round two to Esquivel. Round three to Johnson. Round four, five, and six to Esquivel. Round seven, eight... Sorry, round seven and eight to Johnson. Round nine to Esquivel. And round 10 to Johnson. So that's five, five on me, guys. This is honestly up for grabs. This is up for grabs right now. Malcolm says, wonder why they charge premium to watch this sport. I don't know, but this was, this was a good fight. This was a good fight here, lads. Tell me if you disagree with me. Tell me who you think won that fight if you're watching. Uh, Dana says, I just heard that Hardman's interview says he has sparred 90 rounds with Timmy Tsu. He sounds ready to rip Zarafa's head off. Yeah, but the thing is in boxing, man, is you've got to be careful you're not too emotional. You've got to be careful you're not too emotional. And, and, and Hardman is the more emotional out of him and Zarafa. Zarafa is a muppet, but honestly, Hardman's going to be very careful. I agree, Matthew. Let No Limit do put really good fight cards on. 
They do. And we saw the last one with Harry Garside, Manru Mate. We also got to see Paulo Acusa. Uh, Paulo, uh, pa- uh, Paulo Acuso, is it? Acuso, he was very good to watch. And we also got to see the Dargan Sims fight. There were some good fights on that on the card. I reckon this could be a draw, but I think I would probably lean Esquivel. If any, if I'm going to lean anyone, I'd, I'd lean Esquivel. But the thing is, man, is that Johnson is actually the hometown here, so she probably gets the lean. She probably gets the lean here. This is a very difficult uh, fight to read here, guys. Honestly, 50-50. Let's go and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new around here. Do not forget, we're going to be streaming some NBA playoffs tomorrow on BKR Sport USA. The moderators are going to drop the link in the chat right now. We'll be doing the Chicago Bulls versus Milwaukee Bucks game and also the Boston Celtics versus the Brooklyn Nets game, which should be awesome. Captain James, I'd say Esquivel won just from listening to your commentary. Okay, yeah, this is why it's good that you guys um, sometimes don't watch it because you can tell me in regards to what my commentary, because obviously I don't necessarily, I know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm seeing what I'm seeing and saying what I'm saying, but you know, sometimes the way that I speak and, and the flow of it can tell you who, anyway, who I thought won. I thought Esquivel probably lent it, but the hometown here, the hometown is Johnson. We all know what boxing is like. We all know what boxing could be like. But if I was a judge, I'd be giving that one to Esquivel. Uh, JSA, JPA says, Esquivel unanimous is a big call. Wow, we. Jay Hayes says, BK Sport, yeah, it has, it drops a link for BK Sport USA. Appreciate you, Jay. Thank you very much. Click on that link and subscribe to BK Sport USA, guys. Captain James says, I mean that in a good way. Malcolm says, damn, that's tough game. Balls versus bucks. It is, man. Smith says, I'm back. Yeah, we'll see for how long, big boy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Two Warriors. It was a good fight, man. All right, here we go. Ten rounds. Judges scorecards for decision. 96, 95. Esquivel, split decision. 96, 94. Johnson. And Adam Johnson, or Heights, whatever his name, 97, 93, he'll give that to Johnson. He'll give this to Johnson, I reckon. Here we go. Yes, Johnson. Yeah, she got the lean there. I disagree with it. I do. I disagree with it, but in the same sense. Uh, it was a good fight, man. It was it was a good fight. Um, so Johnson will get the lean there. Um, she is the hometown. I do disagree with it slightly, uh, but I'm not I'm not too unhappy with it. You know, I'm not going to complain significantly about it. Um, I disagree slightly. Um, I do believe Esquivel probably lent it, but because she was obviously not the hometown there, um, yeah, it is what it is, man. So uh, it will be Johnson by split decision. There we go. Uh, yeah, she is in the red. We'll do that little bad boy like this. Bing bong. All right, guys. Well, guess what? We've got Zarafa versus uh, Harbin coming up next. I don't know how long it'll take. We've been, it'll be, it has been all over the shop, but there you go. I don't understand that scoring, by the way. That scoring was really interesting. That scoring was really, really interesting. How did they have 96, 95, then 96, 94, and then 97, 93? How does that work? How does the 90, 96, 95, and 96, 94 work? How does that happen? How does that work? How does that work? Can someone please let me know how, that, how that's working right there? Because uh, there was no 10-8 round there. So I'm just confused in regards to that. But anyway, Johnson split the decision. There you go. Jared Choice is hometown favoritism. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I thought that Esquivel was probably the better fighter there, but I'm not too upset. I'm not too upset there. Uh, but guys, all right, let's hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Give me your prediction to the chat. It's free to subscribe, guys. Just hit that subscription, uh, that subscribe button right now. It is free. Refresh the stream and then get involved in the chat and let me know. Do you think Zarafa is going to win? Do you think Harbin's going to win? And when do you think the fight's going to be over? Jack Spice says, yeah, that's pretty bad. Should have been a draw. I think, if anything, it should have been a draw, yeah. I think, if anything, it should have been a draw there. And I said that it, either a draw or Esquivel, um, but it is what it is. Uh, Jack Spice says, Yark, did, a, um, did her missus have a, just have her mouth guard in her mouth? Um, y- yeah, it is, what, it is what it is, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> when you're in a rela- like a long-term relationship, man, you'll understand that that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, that shit don't matter. I know it's a bit it's a bit weird, but in the same sense, when you're in a long term relationship, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Jay says Esquivel should have changed her surname to Smith for this fight. <laughs> maybe, mate, maybe. Captain James is Hardman, hopefully with a KO. I'm so excited for this next fight. I am super Oh my god, is she Oh my god, is she reading out an ad right now? Oh my god, is she just read out an ad in her purse fight speech. 
How much did she get paid for that? She better have got paid money for that. She no, I mean, I know, I know she got paid money, but she better have got paid money for that because she just read out a an advertisement on her post fight speech. Are you joking? Are you joking, bro? <laughs> Unreal. You hopefully she got paid a bag for that, man, because that is that is funny as. All right. Smith says Rafa stops him in the third. Oh man, if you guys still if you guys didn't buy this fight, which you, you shouldn't have, but if you did, if you have seen that chat, it's still going off. Like these guys are still going off at each other. T Max says Johnson would have read that ad because she's likely got paid peanuts for this fight. Yeah, fair enough, actually. That's a good call. She would have got paid no, next to nothing for it, and she does have to pay the bills. So I'm not having a go at her. I just find it funny as I find it funny that she just literally read out an advertisement in her post fight speech. So she's obviously Moldy and um and Australian. She must be based in Australia, but she's from she's also got Moldy heritage. Yeah, no one's getting paid much there, Smith. Absolutely. Uh Tatum Kelson says we can't escape the ads in this event. Yeah, you get the ads on the <laughs> on the stream and then you get the ads in the uh, the post fight. Jared Torrey says I've gone with Zarafa for the KO, but don't mind if Hardman gets the KO. Big cool. Hardman to get KO'd by Zarafa. I think if Zarafa wins, he wins by decision. I, I think that um, if anyone wins by KO, it's going to be... Um, I think if anyone wins by KO, it's going to be... Uh, what's his name? Um, Hardman. Catcher Slim says, who you got for the main event? I've got Hardman, man. And I've got by TKO on the round four, round three, round four. Um, one of the two. I, I don't know. I just feel like he's going to be emotional, but I think he's going to be cool, calm, and collected after that first round. I think the first round, he might slip up a little bit. You may see Zarafa put him down. He might go down. Uh, but I do think that Hardman will actually get the win in the fight. Yeah. Uh, Dragon says, I have 100 on Zarafa head-to-head. Fair enough, mate. Charles McGregor says, Zarafa stops in the fourth and fifth round. Okay. Uh, Ryan Lane says, Hardman by first round KO. Uh, ben Bargo of Music says, Bong time, ready for main event. Good stuff, man. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you head off there, though. Because we're about to get underway here. Well, I don't know how long we have to go on uh, get underway here because this fight was actually meant to start like an hour ago. Um, but uh, we're probably still, I'd say, 20 minutes away from the main event actually getting underway here. I just slept for eight hours. Turns out the women are still on stream still. People really don't like women's sport, eh? I thought that was actually quite enjoyable to watch that fight. Ryan Lane says, Jake Paul by 14th round, doctor stoppage. I wonder if back in the day they had like, well, what do you reckon the longest fight ever has been? I guarantee you back in the day, day, they probably would have had longer than 12 rounds. What is the longest ever boxing fight? I guarantee you we find it. Boxing fight. Is there anything? Seven hours and 19 minutes. The longest boxing match with gloves in history was 110 rounds long. It began around 9 p.m. on April 6th, 1893, and ended the next day well after 4 a.m., Andy Bowen and Jack Burke fought for seven hours and 19 minutes in New Orleans, Louisiana. That's mad. I told you. I knew it. I knew there was going to be some some event back in the early days where there was no 12 rounds and seven hours worth of boxing. That's wild. 110 rounds long, lads. No, they didn't have 32 rounds in a splitsy. No, it wasn't. They had 110 rounds, my guy. <laughs> 110 rounds. Uh, Jack Sparks says, Rafa ran from Tim and Hardman. It's been sparring with Tim, Hardman, and, and Tim. I believe so. I reckon he keeps his undefeated record. Jack Sparks says, round 15. No, there was 110 rounds in that event. The boxing's longest match in 1893. Ryan Lane says, it must be two-minute rounds. What do you mean, must be two-minute rounds? doesn't matter whether it's two minutes, three minutes, one minute. doesn't matter if it's 30-second rounds. Yeah, but 32 rounds used to be a thing. When was that? When was 32 rounds a thing? That would have been like in the early, still early days. When was 32 rounds in boxing? Let's have a look here. Um, how many rounds were in the 70s boxing? Uh, that was the 15 rounds to 12 rounds. Yeah, so there was the 15s the de- after the death of Korean Challenge. Oh, the limit for boxing championship fights was reduced from 15 rounds to 12 fight rounds after the death of Korean Challenger Duck Koo Kim against world lightweight champion Ray Mancini. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Kevin James is wondering if some of them rounds was them having a sleep. Kieran Young says 110 rounds. Holy crap. They must have ex- been exhausted after at round 50 at least. At round 50. But you think they're, they're exhausted after round 50? Mate, they're exhausted after round 5, let alone round 10, let alone round 12. We've only got 12 rounds in boxing now, nowadays. So times that by about 10. Wow. 
Kiss Aussie says rigged. What was rigged? The last fight? If you say the last fight was rigged, I don't necessarily disagree. Uh, Team Max says it's 10 p.m. and they're still dragging this main event out. I know. At this point, you just end it. Like, at this point, you just bring it out. Like, we've had a lot of... Uh, we've had a lot of waiting here, man. We've had a lot of waiting for this in this event. I don't really... I'm not a big fan of how this event's been run. Oh, here we go. Oh, they might be bringing it out now. Imagine Cambosis KOs Haney in first round. Australia would go off. Oh, that would be wild. That would be actually insane. I'll stream that event. I will be. I'll, I'll be streaming that event. So I can hear that they're starting to talk about the fight, but they've still got ads in the screen right now. Hello? Jack Spokes, I told you at 8 p.m. when he walked in, they won't fight for two hours. Yeah, fair. Well, it is now 10 p.m. I'm, I'm tired as. I'm tired as right now, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We're about to get to the main event here, which is Michael's Rapper versus Isaac Hardman. Here we go. No mic in the ring. Why are they not playing the ring mic and they're currently showing ads? They're currently talking about the fight. What's going on? Ryan Lane says, why would a main event be this late on a weekday? It happens all the time. This is this is what happens. The Paul Gallon fight main event would have been similar time, 10, 10, 30, or something like that. I think that actually, I think it was 10, 30. I think uh, Gal versus Mike, no, Mark Hunt. So, oh, 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 oh. not Mike. <laughs> not Mike against Mark Hunt. Um... <laughs> you don't want to say Mike before that last name. Uh, but yeah, against Mark, I think that was not until 10.30, 10.45. This is boxing, man. They don't care about times. They don't care about times, man. So we're still waiting here because we're still looking at ads of Palmer Bet or some shit. But uh, stop showing ads and get us onto the ring because we're seeing that they're talking about the fight right now. They're literally hyping it up. We're still seeing ads. Darren Dunn says, I wasted $40 a dude. <laughs> Jeez. On this event, this last fight, better make up for it. Yeah, but Darren Daniels, at least you got me here. And secondly, you've also got the chat there where someone's saying oh, some filthy, there's a lot of filthy shit going on in that chat. A lot of this. <laughs> that is the state of humanity. That is humanity. Like right there, that chat is the definition. We've had Floyd Mayweather, we've had Ivan Malat, we've had... Um, you know, uh, Tupac. We've had we've got Paul Gallon there right now. You know, we've got, we've had I, we've got Ivan Drago still in there. Mad Dog. You know, that, that's the, that's the state of humanity. That chat over there. Uh, Reese Reynolds says Cambosis will only lose if he doesn't keep his guard up and defense tight. But the only reason he will lose if he does is he's got near perfect fundamentals. Otherwise, team Cambosis. Absolutely, I believe Cambosis wins, man. I think that Loma is a bit of a different beast. I, I, I think he might struggle there. I think he will struggle there. Uh, but I think that in regards to Haney, I think he can get the job done. Absolutely. Team X is no limit. Put on much better events than this. Absolutely, man. I agree. Absolutely. Um, no limit is uh, is the peak in Australian boxing right now, in my opinion. And it's great to see. But uh, here we go, guys. We're about to get on the way. We're still watching ads of the same ads we've seen all night. Oz to City says, hey, hello, Oz to City. Who you reckon is going to win? Who are you backing in for the fight, Oz to City? Uh, Ryan is like, is any Donald Trump? Oh, Donald Trump would have been there. Marcelo Montoya's right now there calling people the F word that he used in that game. There is now a Marcelo Montoya there. This is what I'm saying. This chat is wild. Uh, this chat is wild. We're still looking at sponsors as they're talking in the ring. Smith says, I've seen better legs on a table than Zarafa. Oh, I thought you were supporting Zarafa today, uh, Smith. Surprising that you've gone against him now. Ben Bargo Music says, if Camposas can't get past Haney, he doesn't belong there. I agree. I think that, uh, I, I really think that Camposas is, uh, is about to take a really big step up. And I think that Haney obviously really opens him up again to that American audience. I think that obviously it was great in regards to the American audience uh, from the uh, from the last fight um, with Tiafimo. But I, I think that Devin Haney will be another one. I think that you know, obviously Ryan Garcia is a, is a huge one there for that American audience too. Although he's not great. Uh, he's fine, but like he's going to get slapped. So um, Garcia is a is an Instagram man, um, and it, it's it, it really will help out in regards to that. So right there, there's the decision, guys. So 207 votes. We had 32% for Isaac Harbin by KOTKO, 29% for Zarafa by decision, 26% for Zarafa by KOTKO, and Isaac Harbin 11% for the decision. Oz City getting around Ty Telford. Uh, Saturn Kelton says, please make Zarafa hit the deck, Harbin. I'm begging. Well, we're about to get underway here, guys. Like I said, thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get it. Get in the chat. It's free to subscribe and then get in the chat. Jared Choice says Haney is pretty good. Won't be easy for Cambosis. I, I I think that Cambosis will be it'll be a lot easier against Haney than you imagine. I just think that he's going to have a really tough go against uh, against Loma. Um, 
but I think that he really, it's going to be great to see him really get woken up in regards to, uh, uh, in regards to a lot of the world more so, because I think that obviously Tia Tia Fimo, people would believe that's just one upset, and then now they're just going to move on, like he's he's not going to be anything else. That's one big result. Just like the Tigers in the NRL, the West Tigers get one big result against the Eels, and people forget they're still not that great. Um, but with with Cambosis is different. But the Americans would would think that way, and uh, English would think that way until we see him do it again and back up what he did. And this is why it's gonna be awesome when he takes on uh, Haney later this year in Melbourne. I will be streaming that fight, just like I will be f- streaming Tyson Fury versus Dylan White this weekend, guys. I will be streaming uh, UFC 274 in a couple of weeks' time. Um, yeah, there's a uh, there's there will be doing a lot a lot. Smith says uh, Zarafa has the worst eyebrows in the business, and he has worse leg, legs than Hardman. Oh, okay. Uh, Jack Spark says uh, if you look at the stream, they are selling merch. Oh my god. Oz the City says I'm Ty's brother. Good stuff, Oz the City. Well, good luck. Good luck in the future. Uh, Ryan Langner says Campos is a bold person going for the big dog instead of non-title fights like Davis Gar- Garcia or Loma. Uh, would love to see Garcia knocked out. Oh, man, Garcia get knocked out would be wild, man. Obviously, he's a part of that LA scene, so um, it, it would be ideal for you know an Australian to, to get amongst that LA scene in that factor. I honestly think that's probably the biggest um, fight in regards to casuals. I think casuals will watch Cambosis versus uh, Ryan Garcia than they would Cambosis versus Devin Haney uh, because Devin Haney doesn't exactly have that kind of name with the casuals, but Ryan Garcia has that name with the casuals. Uh, I, th- I believe Lopez kind of did. I actually think that Garcia probably has the biggest name with the casuals Besides maybe Loma. Um, Smith says uh, that uh, Hardman has the better right hand and teabagging style. Okay. Uh, Garcia got glass jaw. Ryan Langdon says, I mean non-title because none of the guys I mentioned hold any belts. Uh, look, I can't believe that we're still looking at the same ads here. We're still looking at the same ads over and over and over again, guys. Over and over and over and over and over again. But here we go. Maybe maybe they're doing something here. No, they're still putting they're still putting stuff up. I don't know what's going on here. James Thornton says, and Tank Davis, you forgot him. There is also Javante Davis. There is Tank Davis. There is Davis. All right. Are we going to get underway here soon or no? Tank is a pretty big name as well. Yeah, Tank does have a pretty big name. Tank does have a pretty big name. But I think I think that for the casuals, it's Ryan Garcia, mate. I do. I think for the casuals in boxing, it's Ryan Garcia. Uh, ben Bugger Music says, cheap production tonight for boxing. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's disappointing. Uh, but in the same sense, Zarafa versus Hardman is a big rivalry, but I just don't know how much people care about it outside of the industry. And this is what the thing is in regards to the, the casual conversation that I'm happening, uh, that, that I'm talking about right now, is that you can have the best fighters in the business, but if you don't connect with the casuals, then people just aren't going to give a shit. Yeah? Um, and it, it really does help with the casuals getting behind it. So this is why I'm referring to it. Uh, Robert Anthony says, uh, what's your honest opinion on Anthony Mundine's career? Uh, mate, look, I obviously think that he he was one of our best fighters, you know. Um, yeah, look, he was a bit of a wanker, but he also is deliberately a bit of a wanker, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, he, he built into that, and it's entertaining, man. He was an entertainer, and, uh, you know, he knew what he was doing. That's what I'll say about Anthony Mundine, is that he knew exactly what he was doing the entire career, and, uh, you know, as much as you you, you like to see, you want to see him knock out, get knocked out, um, he was an entertainer. So we need entertainers in the business, man. You know, you need your, you need your wankers. You need your, your good blokes. You need your underdogs. You need your um, tall poppy syndrome guys. You need your, your flogs like Zarafa. And you need your, your hard work and grinders like your, your, uh, your hardman, man. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm super excited for this fight. And uh, in regards to Anthony Mundine, you know, he's a legend of the game, man, for so many more things than just simply the actual punching, but also for the entertainment that he brought to, the, uh, to Australian boxing. Uh, Ryan Langdon says, Tank Davis has a big name because of Mayweather management. Uh, Oz the City says he didn't want to rematch with Ty at Welterweight. Ben Barker Music says, Def a good fight for boxing. Anthony Mundine is the richest Aussie boxer ever, says how smart he was. Yeah, it's exactly like Jake Paul. You know, Jake Paul is hated by millions. Justin Bieber has been hated by billions, you know. Uh, <laughs> let's go and say, uh, let's go and say Donald Trump hated by trillions. Uh, I know there's not trillion people on the planet, but that's not the point. The point of the matter is, is that like, just because you're hated, you're like... It doesn't mean shit. You're smart enough to be hated by a great deal of people, right? Everyone's going to have haters is what I will say. Um, Aquinas says, fight would have been more hyped up if Zarafa turned up against two. <laughs> yeah, Zarafa's a little little girl, man. Zarafa's a little girl who ran away from that fight, obviously. But, um, you know, uh, at least at least you're getting to watch this now. But he would have got slapped by two. We all know it, man. He would have got absolutely crunched by Timmy Tzu. And, 
Uh, obviously, Tim Zhu is, is, has moved on now to bigger and better things. And I think that if Rafa wanted to take him on at any stage, that there's no way. There's just simply no way that uh, we'd be seeing Sue take that. You know, he's got too many big things in the future for him. And, um, you know, I, I can't wait for Sue's next fight. Uh, Jared Choice and Mundane was a talented athlete. And so he says, whilst you're hating on these guys, you don't realize they're destroying guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack Sullivan says, Jake Paul versus Sonny Williams. Um, I think that Jake Paul won't take that because I think that Sonny Williams is too big and he's got too much of an advantage in regards to the height, the size, um, the reach. I think that uh, Jake Paul would be behind that factor. And in boxing, those factors do matter. They do simply matter. Uh, so, but then again, I think Jay Paul is the better boxer than Sonny B. Williams. I don't think Sonny B. Williams is a great fighter. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. It's the Rafa versus Hartman. They're actually getting us hyped up right now. It's about to get underway. Who's ready? Let us know in the chat. Who is ready? Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Actually, let's see how many thumbs up we are on here. Let's see how many thumbs up we are on here. I want to see how interest, how many people are actually interested in this fight. We do have 60 likes here. Good stuff, guys. Let's see if we can get to 75. Let's see if we can get 15 more likes before the event starts up here. Captain James' Jake wants to find another old fella. Bro, he's, a sm- he's one of the smartest businessmen you're ever going to see in the world. Uh, six fans, if Cam Bosis beats Haney, he'll become the first ever undisputed lightweight champion since 1992. Jeez, this will be a massive moment for Australian uh, boxing in July or June, whenever that happens. Uh, Captain James says, Jake wants to find another old fella. Yeah, read that comment. Thank you to JJ for subscribing. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, Smith says, uh, will you cheer on Zarafa if he gets a shot at the title? Mate, I will cheer on any Australian in any good moment. You know, I would prefer Hartman to win this fight here, uh, but I guarantee you that I would I would back in any Australian uh, when it goes up against the world. You know, I'm proud of my country. I'll always support my country. Whether I like someone or not, I'll, I'll get around them from our country because it represents us. It represents our community. It represents where we're from. Um, and there's no way that I would ever go against an Australian for a, a, an America taking them on. Um, this is why when it comes to rugby league, World Cup, I always say, oh, I'd love to see Samoa, Fiji, Tonga, you know, and PNG win, but if Australia was playing in the final, I still want Australia to win, man. I still just do. You know, I still just, as much as boring as it gets, you're still proud of Australia, man. So no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much I, I dislike a person or think a person's a flog or a muppet, um, I will absolutely back him in because they're Australian. Oz says, uh, trying to get Ben Kite versus Ty Telford, but Ben's asking a lot of money for it. Ben Kite, there's no way. That's not the one I'm thinking about, is it? Um, JSA, JPA says, Cam Bosa stops hanging late. Oh man, how big would that be in Australia? How, how, that would send our country wild, man. <laughs> that would send our country wild. Man, geez, I'm starting to get really pumped up for this fight here, guys. I am, I'm starting to get really pumped up for this fight now. Here we go. We're just waiting. They're about to come out here. They are about to come out here. Uh, Logan Finlay says, what's your honest opinion on Jake? Oh, no, guys, I'm, I'm over talking about Jake Paul now. Dylan Circle says, everyone putting Jake down, but even if you trained for as long as him, he, who he fought, would still body all you talkers. I'm literally defending him, bro, so I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, Jake Sparks says, Rocky, he, I don't think he's a good boxer, but that's in regards to comparison. Guys, again, and I say this on my tier list rankings for rugby league, I say this all, 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 all the time, you can compare you are allowed to compare. Just because you're not a good boxer or you're not a good rugby league player or you're not a good sports player doesn't mean that you can't compare what this boxer is like with this boxer or this fullback is like with this fullback, right? You are genuinely allowed to criticize and you are allowed to pick out faults in regards to uh, players compared to other players, right? Jake Paul, for me, is not a good boxer, but he also knows how to pick his fights where he does look like a better boxer than he is because he's picking guys that he knows that he's going to win, right? He's taken on UFC fighters that are different fundamentals between, you know, UFC and boxing, just simply as that. So much different fundamentals there for Ben Askren. That's why he wants to go against, you know, Jorge Masvidal, and that's why he wants to go against Conor McGregor because the fundamentals are so different and they're coming to his sport. But then again, Conor McGregor has that advantage because he's done it before on a bigger scale. So, so, um, yeah, that's what I'll say in regards to that. But I still don't think he's a good fighter. Uh, ben Barg, but I do think that he's done a lot for the business, which is what you need. He's really brought boxing to the casuals, which is great to see. Uh, Ray Minucci says, BK, who do you rate as the best boxer of all time? Um, very, very difficult because obviously you've got to go through the different weight classes. Um, you know, I also have a very controversial opinion in the fact that if you're going to hit someone and not get hit, that's probably the best best uh, form of attack, right? That's the best form of... It's like the best form of offense... The best form of defense is offense, yeah? And it's like defense wins championships, right? 
So if you want to go by that way, you actually do have to throw Floyd Mayweather's name in there. You do. You have to throw Floyd Mayweather's name in there um, and give him the respect that he deserves as much as he's a piece of shit. Like, he is still one of the best, if not the best of all time. Um, you do have to throw in. You do have to throw Muhammad's name in there. Um, you do. Look, <clears throat> Lennox Lewis is absolutely up there. I know people want to say Mike Tyson, but I would say... Maybe not so much in regards to that. I think he's an absolute brutal man, but I still think there is a lot of flaws in his in his uh, in his fighting style as well. Um, yeah, I think that he had the I, I think that he had the most lethal punch in the game. But I also think that there is a lot uh, that other fighters possess that probably put him above him in regards to the sense of what I just said about Floyd Mayweather. Um, but Lennox Lewis is, is, is absolutely underrated, man. People don't talk about him anywhere near as much as they should, but that's because they don't really get it. Tech Donald Sullivan says, has to be Floyd 50, you know? No, 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 no. He also picked a lot of those fights and he waited for money Pacquiao. Um, but with that being said, I also will, will lean with him. I will lean with him, but it's, it's, it's super controversial. You can, it's like LeBron James and Michael Jordan or, or Kobe Bryant or, you know, um, Wilt Chamberlain and whatnot. Or uh, Cameron Smith, um, Andrew Johns, Darren Lockyer, Wally Lewis, um, you know, Gary Ablett Jr., Gary Ablett Sr. You can go, you know, across the game and, and it comes down to your perspective and when you watched. But here we go, guys. We're about to get underway here. We're about to get close. We're still, I keep saying that because it keeps going to the shop, but it's not happening yet. Uh, team matches, I love boxing, but MMA cards are much better at pumping the fights out. None of this 20 to 30 minute waste in between. This is wild tonight, though. This, this event has been poorly handled, in my opinion. Uh, six fans, Lennox Lewis is the best in that era. And that's the perfect comment because it's all about eras. You know, different eras have different styles. Different eras, different styles. Like back in the 90s for the NBA, like that was really good. Mike Jordan, he, I don't necessarily think, I think it translates more to this game than LeBron translates to back then. But in the same sense, LeBron is, is an absolute killer in this era. Like the 2010s onwards were LeBron. 2020s will probably be Giannis. 2000 the 2000s uh, were Kobe, you know, to 1990s, the 90s were Jordan, uh, the 80s, you'd even argue Magic, uh, Magic Johnson, um, or Larry Bird, I don't know, it's up to you guys. The Hornet says, I subbed on my other account, I didn't get the thanks for subscribing screen. Um, so the Hornet, so basically, um, that screen only comes up if you're a public subscriber, so that means that you have to have on your, your YouTube um, it has to say, you, you have to click on the part where it says, uh, show my subscriptions. So whenever you subscribe somewhere, it shows. Um, I can't do anything about it. It's all down to you guys. Uh, Robert Anthony said, but thank you very much for subscribing, man. I appreciate you. And also, if there's a moderator in the chat, can you please drop the link to the BKR Sport USA channel? So if anyone wants to watch the NBA with me tomorrow for the Boston Celtics versus Brooklyn Nets and the Chicago Bulls versus um, Milwaukee Bucks, jump over there. But tomorrow night on this channel, we're going to have the Sharks versus Manly game, which I'm looking forward to. And then on Sunday, we've also got Tyson Fury's on the white. We've got one game on Friday night as well with the NRL. Uh, baseball on Friday as well. I remember BKR Sport USA. And on Saturday, we've got two rugby league games plus baseball and basketball over there, and, and then fo uh, footy again on Sunday, plus we've got the basketball, baseball, and also Tyson Fury versus Dylan White, so it's a big weekend, big weekend. I guess what it says, six fans, debatable because of how they're seen. Uh, six fans, Tyson Fury would beat everyone in that era just because boxing now is more technical and better training, technical and te technology and awareness. Perspective, again. Perspective, again. Charles McGregor says, yeah, Lennox Lewis, best pound for pound heavyweight. Mate, Lennox Lewis is so underrated. Jack Sparks says, here we go, about time. Kind of, man. Like, kind of. Like, it's not... We're just in the darkness right now. There's no one actually out there. So, BK Sport USA, the link, Sebastian Grammer, my boy Sebastian, all the way over there in uh, Europe, in Romania, or England, I think he said the other day. Uh, he just dropped the BK Sport USA link, guys. So, go jump on there, subscribe to that one. Help me pump out better content on BK Sport USA too. Logan Finlay says, as a Rays fan, I know we are going to get hammered. Uh, I have no idea who you play this week, uh, but I have to film a tipping video after this as well uh, for the members. So, that will come out tomorrow for, for all the members. It's obviously only $5 a membership, supports the content. Uh, and my, my NRL tipping video will come out tomorrow, probably about... 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, Cop says, when's this going to start? I'm ready for bed. Mate, your guess is as good as mine. We're still waiting here. It's just darkness right now. We're listening to Doof Doof. A bit of Doof. A bit of Doof. A bit of Doof 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 Doof. I'm not going to give you the prediction, unfortunately, Logan. I only give that for the um, for the tips, but thank you for letting me know who you're talking about. Uh, Charles McGregor says, fight starts at midnight. <laughs> Mate, fight starts at about 3 a.m. at this rate. Thank God we don't have a 4.20 a.m. cub start. If we had a 4.20 a.m. cub start, geez, I'd be, that'd be brutal. 
Aquinas says, have you seen that 30 for 30 doco on Holyfield? Good watch, man. Um, I'm going to write that down. You know, I do need to take a break sometimes and just watch shit and just kick back. And I, I would love to watch that. Uh, 30 for 30 uh, Vander Holyfield. That'd be good. Holyfield was good, man. A bit before my time, but also very good. Um, six fair. And this is another thing that people don't get, right? Is that you watch an era. You didn't get to watch. So, for example, right? I'm going to speak on my own personal behalf in regards to the NBA. We'll go, right? Or we'll go and say, for example, Sixers fan, yeah? So, Sixers fan has grown up in an era with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder uh, and <laughs> Andy Ruiz, <laughs> uh, Dylan White, Joseph Parker, these guys in this industry, yeah? So, he is more inclined to think that Tyson Fury is the best of all time because that's who he sees as the absolute undeniable killer right now. But then you go back and you're just like, well, you didn't actually get to watch Mike Tyson with that buddy right hand. You know, you didn't get to see the guys like, you know, uh, those, those massive big bobbers. Let's go through some of the names here. Hold on. Best heavyweights of all time. Let's go through this. Heavyweights of all time boxing. We're still waiting here, so we may as well, guys. We may as well. You know, you got, um, what's the 10 greatest heavyweight boxers of all time? George Foreman, Joe Frazier. Gee whiz. Like, Tyson Fury's up there, man, but, like, come on. Rocky Marciano, like, he's before my time, but a 49-0 record, 43 knockouts. Like, Rocky Marciano, man. Tyson Fury is obviously there. Joe Lewis, George Foreman, Joe Frazier, uh, Larry Holmes. I don't know much about Larry Holmes. I don't know much about Larry Holmes, but obviously his name is here. Um, And that's why I love hearing about these names, because, like, I've grown up without him, and yet people who were in that era say, wow, he was amazing. They're coming out right now. Well, no, they're not coming out. The dancers are coming out to dance. Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Muhammad Ali. Like, that's just some phenomenal names there. And this is what I'm saying. Like, it comes down to perspective, boys. It comes down to perspective. But we are about to get underway, hopefully, this time. As it says, Holyfield, Lewis, Ali, Frazier, Tyson, Marciano. Rocky Marciano is so underrated, too, because it was before our time. It really was. Larry Holmes beat Muhammad Ali. The Hornet says, let's go. I hate to reference. I love Hardman. I met you once, but you were celebrating mad when the Titans scored, and I was scared to ask for a photo from someone whose life I hope to live, maybe in future. Appreciate you, dude. Um, you know, I grind it out, man. I know it seems easy, but it's very tiring and very tough what I do, but I love what I do too. So you just have to put the effort in, man. Grind it out and just have fun, dude. Just have fun. But you've got you to suck it up through the hard times, you know. We don't always go up 100 subscribers a day. You know, sometimes you go up one or two. You know, sometimes you won't go up and sometimes you'll go down. Um, and then some other times you'll go up 100, 300, 500, 1,000. Um, it is what it is, man. It's all part of the game and you just got to love what you do and, and I have a passion for it. But it is very tiring doing as much content as I do. As I do. Greg Schwartz says, hey, brother, you reckon the Warrior the Bulldogs can beat the Broncos on Friday night? I can't tell you, Greg. Obviously, the pin comment, BK Sport $5 membership. Tomorrow, you'll get a 20-minute video of me talking about every single game and what my tip is. That's for the members only. So thank you very much. But... Uh, It'll be an interesting game. I'll tell you that's going to be an interesting chat tomorrow because they are very wounded, the Bulldogs. T-Max says, I was so sure the fight would be done by 11 p.m. We're watching on as three, four women right now are dancing in the middle of the... Uh, I just don't understand why there's two guys here. Like, I'm sorry, but most of the people at this event are guys and they don't want to be watching the two guys dancing in the middle of the arena right now. They, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. They just want to see these, these, these four women dancing. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, Bruno Good, he's going for Zarafa. Oh, Bruno Gord is who you're going for. Oh, I'm um, I'm backing in Hardman here, Bruno. I'm backing in Hardman, but I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. But I would love to see the fight because we've been waiting here for the last 14 hours for the ads and these women and men dancing to watch this fight. I imagine this is a, Titan, a Tyson fight. Oh, bro, this is tiring, bro. This is tiring that we're still waiting for this fight. Like, it's just wild. Like, did, they, did they actually sit there and think, oh, let's, get, let's make them wait for nearly 30 minutes after the last fight and then get these women... To, okay, no, this chick is very attractive. So she can dance, they can dance, but please get these guys out of here. <laughs> Jared Choi says, James Thornton, I'll have to watch some of vids of um, uh, Nicolino Losh. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. Someone said something. You're a Bulls fan. I love the Bulls clothing, but my team is Golden State Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i got my Bulls shirt on right now and my Bulls hat. I will be streaming the Bulls game tomorrow between the Bulls and Bucks on Big House Sport USA. And uh, like I said, also that other game between the Boston Celtics and uh, and Brooklyn Nets, which will be a good one with Kyrie. But yeah, Golden State Warriors, obviously, uh, they've been getting good wins against the Denver Nuggets, man. And it's what he says, Robert Anthony, save it for an AFL stream. And yes, he does. 
Uh, oh, does anyone on here like AFL? Yeah, I'm a Cats fan, man. I also get around the sun. He's coming from the Gold Coast. We are still waiting for them, by the way. We are still waiting here. It is pure darkness right now. This is ridiculous. And now the lights have come on and no one is out there. Unless they're coming out now, maybe. Jamie2580 says, Gianna's the best player in the world. I wouldn't disagree at this point. Who is this guy singing, by the way? He's like an island boy for Australia. Reese Reynolds says, Prime Costa versus Mundine. Who wins? So this is the thing, Reese, because I didn't get to see Costa. You know, that's the thing. Um, I, I never got to see Costa in person. I never got to see Costa on TV. He's a bit before my time, man. So it's very hard for me to give you that answer. Um, I would probably lean with Costa, though. You know, from what I've heard, I would lean with Costa. But that's from what I've heard. That's not from personal experience. Jack Sparks says, the best in Oz boxing. Uh, Robert Anthony is Monday too big for him. See, that's the thing. See, Robert Anthony, have you, were you there when Costa was around? Because for me, I wasn't. So I would rather listen to somebody's opinion of someone who saw Costa too in his prime and also Mundine in his prime. So we're still waiting here. We're listening to this guy sing now. Honestly, this is an exhausting event right now. I just want to see the fight at this point. It's taken so long, man. Whoever organized this event, you should be fired. You should be fired. You should be fired. And it says, it's actually that stupid. I can't put into words this. It's stupid. Uh, Blake says, Zarafa versus Nikita Zu. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't want to pass it, man. You know, obviously he uh, he ran away from Tim, so maybe give him Sue, t- uh, Nikita. Will says, I hate this event. Never going to buy anything for this again. Dude, this event has been one of the worst I've seen in a long time, man. Truly. It really has been. Sigurd's fan says, when was Canelo in his prime or is he in his prime right now? Uh, no, I wouldn't say he's in his prime. Oh, no, I wouldn't say he's in his prime right now. Uh, Smith says, 30,000 years later. Oh, bro. Like, we're listening to this guy sing. No one cares, bro. We just want to watch the goddamn event, you know? And I hate, I'm sorry that I keep complaining, guys, but it is what it is. Like, we've been waiting here for like 30 minutes for this main event. We waited between 30 minutes for that last one. Like, and this guy is obvious. Uh, just dead. Just sub to the USA. I would love to watch that live stream tomorrow. All right, bro. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, catch up. It's a fight against the clock now. <laughs> Do you guys think Zarafa has left the building or has he run away again or? Do you reckon uh, Zarafa's going to pull the I've got COVID card again? Or <laughs> Aguino says different weights. Reese two fought a light welter and Monday fought at middleweight. Well, there you go. Uh, Bruno Gordon says how good's Hardman? He's twelve and zero right now. He's twelve and zero going for thirteen and zero. So uh, we're just waiting to see if he can uh, keep this undefeated uh, streak alive. Saturn Girl says uh, this entertainment is actually annoying me. It shows the fight. Yeah, I know. Like, it, it also sounds like this guy's using, um, what's it called? The audio tune thing? Um, the audio tune. This guy's feeling it right now, but I'm sorry, bro. No one's feeling you because we want to watch the fight. Six fans, imagine Zarafa pulled out the fight and they announced a cancellation. I would, I'd, I'd, throw, I'd throw up. I'd throw up. Sebastian Grammer says, be sure to like and subscribe. People, this man sat through the whole shit this event had to offer. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> At least we've got Tyson Fury this week. So that'll be good. That'll be a good event. Um, we'll just say auto tune makes anyone sound okay. Yeah, it's I guarantee it sounds like auto tune. It does. Do you guys get that same sound? It sounds like he's using auto tune here, or he's just like lip syncing. I don't know. And this isn't a comment, uh, a compliment either. I just want to throw this out there. It's not a compliment either because it's just not that great anyway. Like. <laughs> Uh, and says, I think they've promised a certain time at the main event. Well, then why would they start all the fights so early? You know, by the way, Fight TV, they are the organizers and promoters of this event. They are the where you get the, the stream, right? This is where you can see the fight. They had the fight starting at 5 p.m. It didn't start until 7.30. Oh, no, this guy's still singing. Oh, bro, that audio tune is... It's horrible, bro. I can see the chat on this other one saying rubbish. I paid 40 bucks for this. This is wild. No, it's not over, Anselitzi. No, it's not over, bro. He's still singing. This He's still singing. <laughs> Someone said COVID. Get out of the ring. <laughs> this 
chat's going wild. <laughs> oh, so people have just tuned in, right? On Fight TV, there's a chat of all the people who have bought this event who can chat away. They can make fake account names. We've had Ivan Malat. We've had Donald Trump now. We've got um, Tupac. We've had everyone. Ivan Malat was the best one. Um, but <laughs> these guys are tearing this man to shreds. It's been, there's no filter. There's no filter in this chat. So just imagine that for an Australian event. Oh, man. But all right, so it's Rafa, age 30, Hardman, age 25. Uh, 180 centimeters height for Rafa, 183 centimeters height for Hardman, 182 centimeters reach for Rafa, 189 centimeters reach for Hardman. So he's got the height and reach advantage. Uh, record of 29 and 4 for Zarafa, record of 20, 12 and 0 for Hardman, 18 wins uh, via KO for Zarafa, 10 for Hardman. So here we go, guys. <laughs> Some people are just, they are still spewing about that guy singing just them. COVID, get out of the ring. <laughs> All right, so they're warming them up now. Here they come. Clark General Comment says, uh, without being critical, this is the worst pay-per-view I've ever seen. What is with the dancers and singers? Oh, Clarky, brother, brother. <laughs> it has been something, bro. It has been, a, this has been a spectacle. All right. <laughs> it's not been a good spectacle, but it has been a spectacle. All right, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, man. Greg Schultz says, who's the captain of the NRL fantasy team? But uh, we, we, we've waited like three hours for this boxing event uh, between fights, so I'm not going to be talking about NRL fantasy when I've waited 17 hours between the last fight of Johnson and this fight right now, mate. Six fans says, by the way, Beaker, the Fury white card starting at 4 a.m. Sydney time, so got to be up early for it with the main... Oh, brother, I'm up early for baseball every morning, so... On Beaker Sport USA, but... Uh, <laughs> 4.20 a.m. all the time. And it's says, someone is Tyson Fury and spamming Dosta. <laughs> hey, Clarky, are you, have you, have you bought the fight? Obviously, you sure, surely you have. Are you looking at that chat? That chat's wild, bro. Like, that chat is wild. I've, I've never seen an, a professional event be held with such an unfiltered comment section. Like, it's, I've seen Ivan Malat spamming some pretty filthy stuff in that chat, man. Like, it's just mad. Uh, but I love that you said without being overly critical. <laughs> uh, Ansel, he says, someone is Tyson Fury. That's right. Meatloaf would be proud. All right, so he's coming out now. Here we go, guys. We finally got to the main event. We finally did it. We have uh, witnessed four dancers, six dancers, two guys and four women. Uh, this is at a bar. They're selling merchandise about five foot away from the uh, arena. And... Uh, We've seen one good fight through seven so far, <laughs> which was the co-main. At least we got a bit of horses, though. Way up in the sky, little darling. All right, we're still waiting. It's just song right now. We haven't got anyone coming out. Still waiting. Reese Reynolds says, what songs are they walking out to? Oh, this is Harbin coming out. This is Harbin coming out now. Well, if you fight me on this channel, I'll be what you were saying. Now, this channel, we'll have the boxing and UFC on this channel, man. So we've got Harbin walking out right now to, uh, what's that movie called? Purge. That's right, The Purge. Uh, Greg Schwartz has put the camera on the stream for the boys, brother. No, 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 no. It's illegal. My, my channel is professional, man. It's illegal. I will get sued and I'll also get taken down. So absolutely goddamn not. All right, so Harbin's coming out here. They're just doing The Purge. Uh, he's got The Purge music right now. Jake Spice is Harbin with the banger of a ring song. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we'll keep the lights off, man. That'd be awesome if they kept the lights off here. This is a really good ring song here for Harbin, by the way. I hope he wins, man. Here we go. Let us know in the chat, guys. Who are you going for? Are you saying Harbin win or are you saying uh, Zarafa wins? And, and let me know what round. Or do we see a decision or do we see a knockout? Ryan Sl uh, Langdon says, speaking of Tyson Fury, he's Instagram live right now. What? For this fight? There's no way he's watching Harbin versus uh, Zarafa. And so it says purge overused when it comes to walkouts. Oh, I don't know. Harbin's one right now is pretty full on. It's pretty good. Cam James says, come on, Harbin. Skip Zarafa, walk out and get to the fight. <laughs> Dave Travis says, Zarafa KO. I don't know, man. I'm feeling Harbin by TKO. Logan Finlay says, I want Harbin to win, but Zarafa is probably going to win. I don't know. Harbin's the favorite here. He's 12 and 0, boys. He's 12 and 0. Sebastian Grammer says, I reckon a hard and decision. 
Uh, Ryan Lane said, I think tonight's Fury White press conference. Oh, maybe, yeah. Got 2K on Michael by KO. Returned 14K. <whistles> Wowee. Four, is it really four? How much is that paying? What, six, seven to one for uh, Zarafa KO? That's that's you? Nah, seven to one. Surely not. Surely not. Ryan Lane said, I think tonight, that's right. Uh, Sex Spice says, just remember Hardman to TKO round eight. I'm saying TKO round four. Well, I want to say three. Oh, what's this song? What's this song that Zarafa's coming out right now? Pretty boy, Zarafa. Look at this pretty boy. What is this song? This is this makes me feel like I'm 15 years old again. This makes me feel like a 15-year-old blue light disco. You know, youth on a Friday night. Oh, man, this is such a lame walkout song, brother. I feel like I'm 15 years old again. And it's, but it's a Hall of Fame. It's like, it's a good song, but I feel like I'm 15 again. again. Uh, Ryan Lane says, would you rather soccer is qualify the World Cup or can both beat Haney? Uh, oh, that's a hard one, bro. I'll probably go soccer is qualify for the World Cup, bro. But Cambosis will beat Haney, so it doesn't matter. Cambosis will beat Haney, mate. So, I, but I'll probably go soccer is qualify. Um, but Cambosis will beat Haney regardless. So that's a win-win. Uh, the Hornet says, Hardman first round TKO. Think about it. It's Rafa loses. His career is done. He can't get another fight after this. Hardman loses. He loses to someone who went the distance with Kel Brook. Yep. <clears throat> Zarafa has the experience. Catch Slippin says. Uh, Daniel Daniels says, Zarafa the body la- uh, latte sipping soy boy. Uh, Bruno Gord says, Cambosis beat Haney. How good is that? That's going to be a big stream on the channel, guys. Cambosis versus Haney will be a massive stream on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, you really should. Nate J says, Rafa calling Hardman a racist, a racist at the presser was a coward move. Oh, man. And it's he says, L plus ratio plus bozo plus annoying plus cringe plus 12-year-old plus what are you doing in my chat? Here we go, guys. Oz City says, Rafa will win. Smith says, Rafa wins the walkout fashion show. He's literally known as a pretty boy. Um, so guys, if you are just tuning in, the way we commentate is we will commentate the fight for you. Um, I will talk to you guys in between rounds, right? So uh, I will I will refer to you guys during the um, after rounds uh, to finish in between. Um, or times my grand final, easy. Uh, Anthony says chat giving it to him. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the Australian national anthem will be coming up here now. If you don't get pumped up at this one, guys, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Oh, no, please don't tell me it's that same guy. Don't tell me it's the same guy. I think it actually is. Did they pay him like 10 bucks? Did they go down to the local pub to some guy on his acoustic guitar and uh, <laughs> and just say, hey, mate, we need you to be a singer for our event tonight? The Hornet says, as Rafa is a hypocrite, he talks heaps of crap to Jeff Horn about only beating Pacquiao and beating an old mundane. Then he went and fought him. Horrible man, hypocrite, and overall dickhead. Wow. Um, yeah, look, obviously Jeff Horn didn't actually really beat Pacquiao. Let's all be honest with you there. But uh, overall, um, Zarafa is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a little girl, man. Um, if he wins this fight, cool. Uh, but I just don't see it happening. I think Hardman's going to be too good here. But this is, this is where boys turn into men here, man. You know, it's all talk until you get here. And now it's all about who wins in the ring. You know, it's all talk, 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 and then uh, now we're going to see who's going to walk it, and uh, it's it's going to be right in front of us. And so he says he's going to pump it up. Bootleg Island boys, six fans of Cambo to beat Haney or Queensland we're in Origin. Guys, anyway, we're going to get into the fight here now. I'll take Cambo to beat Haney there, absolutely. All right, so the main event of the evening, 12 rounds here, guys. 12 rounds. Trekken says, the Rafa comes on late and steals it. Hardman's gas tank will be something I'll be watching, especially late on. Well, I believe that if if Hardman doesn't win his fight in the first um, in the first four or so rounds, I genuinely believe that uh, that uh, we'll see Zarafa win by um, decision. I, I think Zarafa wins decision, but if he, if it goes that long. Uh, but I, I my tip is... Hardman to win by round three or round four TKO. He's undefeated right now. He's 12 and 0. He's looking ready to go here. He looks a little bit nervous, but he also looks like he's good to go here. Jack Sparks says, Rafa looks like he wants to rip his head off. I think his Rafa punched himself out. Greg says, better be seeing his Rafa do the stanky leg. May We want to see a knockout here. You know, we, we want to see a knockout. Greg Stewart says, I got $1,000 on Harbin stoppage in the seventh round. Pays 28 k Wow, Greg Stewart, your shout. If that wins, you have to become a $5 Beacow Sport member for the boys, man. Jeez, 28 k Wow. Good on you, bro, for having that kind of money to bet on that. <laughs> so, Zarafa here, looking like a Muppet, but he looks ready to go. 
Uh, Anthony says, Rafa thinking if it's too late to pull out. <laughs> Can I still use the COVID card? Can I still use the COVID card? No, I'm in the ring right now. No, I can't. So 33 fights, 29 wins and four losses. Here we go. Michael, pretty boy, Zarafa. All righty, guys. Let's go and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe in you. Greg Stewart. So what has he got? 1,000 on Hardman's 7th. Uh, Greg, oh, look at them. Uh, they're ready. <laughs> they're so ready right now. Harman's, <laughs> I love Harman's eyes there. Greg Stewart, uh, so he's got, um, a, a, a K. All right. Um, on Harman in the, what is it? In the seventh round. All right. 1K. All right, here we go, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe when you're around here and let's get ready to rock and roll here. Come on. So it's going to be uh, Harbin in the black and in the green is the Rafa. All about the talk. Now it's all about the walk. Two minutes 55 to go here. Round one. There is 12 rounds of this event. Harbin comes forward there with the left. He goes for a jab. Rafa goes for a jab as well, but he just goes into the chest there. Nothing too much. Two minutes 45 to go. You're just seeing Zarafa goes over the top with a right. We'll miss that one. Harbin really pressing the issue right now. Good jab there from Zarafa there. Really good stiff jab. Uh, body shot there. That worked out well, but that's a good left and right there from Zarafa. Two and a half minutes to go of round one. That was a really good left-right combo. Hardman looks like he's just... I think Hardman's willing for the distance here, the way that he's, he's smiling, the way that he's kind of pacing himself in this first round. That's a good jab there for Zarafa, though. So far, that Zarafa is really utilizing that jab quite well. It's just feeling out this fight, this round one. Harbin backs away. Zarafa moving around. He's at the corner. Moves back around the ring now. He goes for a jab again. Lands nicely. His jab has been working pretty nicely in this fight, Zarafa. Harbin again gets slapped with the jab. I think Harbin is really waiting for this first round. I think he's happy to secede the first round, as we're currently seeing. And that's going to be another jab there from Zarafa that's going to land. A minute 45 to go here. Harbin just pacing it out. Just waiting it, and he goes for a jab there, Hardman. That's not going to land. That's not going to do anything there. Minute 35, easy defense there. And uh, here comes Hardman. Now he comes forward. He goes for a bit of a energy spree, but nothing too serious. A minute and a half left. Still moving on the edge. Oh, Hardman went for a big shot there. If that landed, that would have been huge, but it does not land. Hardman was going for a big push there, and you can see he's trying to set up that right uh, that right hand. He's going for a jab, and he's just going bang, straight over the top, but he does, does miss that one. Minute 10 to go, and he goes for a swing there, right hook. Hardman is still trying to really figure out, uh, figure himself out and where this is right now. He's in the corner right now, Zarafa. Hardman trying to for force him into this corner. Zarafa will, will jab himself away. And he's, oh, here we go. Good body shot here from Hardman. Good body shot here from Hardman. That was really weird from Zarafa there. 50, 50 seconds to go here, round number one. Unless Hardman does something here, he's definitely lost his first round. Uh, Zarafa goes over the top with a right. That doesn't land. I, I don't even know who's what they're chanting right now. What are they chanting? 33 seconds to go here, round one. Hardman comes over the top there. Nothing at all. 27 seconds to go. The jabs of what has won this round for Zarafa if it stays this way. 20 seconds to go here. Harbin misses that left jab. 15 seconds to go. A whole lot of nothing here from Harbin in his first round. But I feel like he's just trying to, to, to feel out the uh, the distance here. He does have the reach advantage and the height advantage here. Not too much of a height advantage, but uh, a decent reach advantage. Three seconds left, two seconds left, and that's it. So I'm going to give that first round there, guys, as a 10-9 to Zarafa. There you go. All right, so Ann Splitz, he says, uh, flog Muppet looking, chat going crazy, small gloves. Uh, Jay says, I've got five marbles on Hardman. Malcolm says, Muppet versus Muppet. Smith says, not even a minute in, you think he's looking to go to distance, come on. Um, right now, man, he's looking like he's setting, he's, he's trying to, um, to soak up some energy. Uh, I think that he's not going to fall out right now because he's trying to feel it out. Um, absolutely, you know. Um, look, obviously you think you know everything about boxing and that's fine, man. Um, but Hardman right now has not used up a lot of energy. Zarafa won that round, absolutely. And I think he was happy to succeed that round as he's waiting uh, for his moment. As you saw, he tried to pick off a couple of moments and it didn't really work out. But you didn't see him go for any kind of flurries there. Um, look, Hardman wasn't impressive there at all. I think Zarafa definitely won that one ten nine. But it, you, you're silly if you think that, that there isn't strategy to what he's doing right now. You're silly if you don't understand the strategy to what Hardman's doing as we currently speak. And it says Zarafa 10-9. Absolutely. All right, here. Second round, guys. 
Second round here, and Hardman comes forward, and he gets a good right there, Hardman. He gets a good right. Comes over the top. That's the first significant punch there. It's like I said to you in the first round that he was, you know, trying to feel out that distance. That's a good body shot there from Hardman. That's a good body shot there from Hardman. And now Zarafa tries to go for a jab. Nothing really lands there, though. Two minutes for you to go here, round two. It's a good start here for Hardman. He comes forward now. Bit of a flurry. But that's a good right there from Hardman. He's wobbled Zarafa a little bit there. He's gone backwards here, Zarafa. And Hardman's coming forward. He's putting the pressure on now. He's putting the pressure on now. It's like he used that first round as a bit of a, you know, waiting out to figure out the distance, eh, Smitty? So two minutes and 24 seconds to go here of round number two. Zarafa comes forward there with a left jab. That's a good shot there from Zarafa, though. Really nice right in return. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go of round two. So Rafa still moving around. Hartman putting the pressure on, but uh, it definitely is... Uh, so Rafa's not really necessarily on the back foot completely, but Hartman is definitely moving him around. That's a good left shot there from Hartman to bounce back the head of Zarafa. Uh, body shot, body shot. Oh, Hartman's down. Hartman's down. Hartman's down. Hartman's down. Hartman's down. That's a body... Was that a body shot? I didn't even see that one. I didn't even see that one. Was that a body shot? That was a good shot. That was a good shot from Zarafa. That came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. Gee whiz, Hartman was... Uh, oh, geez, that body's getting peppered right now. Oh, Hartman's going to be done here. Hartman's going to lose here. Hartman might lose here. Zarafa's going hard. Zarafa's going hard. It's over. Oh, that's a big call. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's way too early of a call. That is a way too early call there. That's a way too early call. That's a horrible call from the, the referee. That's a horrific call from the referee. That is way too early. That is... That is way too early to be calling that. So Zarafa wins there, but that was incredibly early. That is an absolutely horrific... Like, Zarafa was the better fighter. Absolutely. Zarafa slapped him in that first round and then kept going here. But I disagree with this stoppage. But Zarafa was going to win this fight if this maintained. That was a great left hook there from Zarafa. Frank Stone says, too good in my books. Absolutely. Zarafa was the better fighter in those first two rounds by a long way. But what I will say is that that is way too early to be calling that fight from the referee there. Ref premature ejaculating the stoppage. It was way too, way, way, way too premature there. But that being said, the Rafa did absolutely slap it in that second round. But there's just no way he should have been calling it that early. Could have gone a little longer. Absolutely, T-Mac. Could have gone a little longer there. Can we get a better F in the chat that did the better of 1K? Yeah, geez. Well, that was a quick fight. See, this is the thing that I say to you guys, man. Austin City said I got 3K. Well, hopefully you can support the channel, man, by $5 membership in a pin comment if you want your 3K. Uh, you know, I hope you, uh, I hope you do uh, get around it considering you won some big money. But uh, good on to Rafa for winning, man. We'll wait, obviously, for the uh, official call here. Let me go and um, put this. Uh, they're going to hug each other out. That's good stuff there. I think there's going to be a rematch here, guys. I absolutely think there'll be a rematch because I think Hardman definitely will feel like that was too early. Uh, Zarafa by TKO. Let's put that down here just so when people come into the stream, they can see that. Bingo, Zarafa by TKO. All right, so we'll wait here. Uh, Horn says, I'm a man, you Queensland Broncos fan, just add some depression. That was a great left hook followed by a tiny headbutt. <laughs> Jack, getting around it. Uh, Greg Stewart says, hope not, that sucked. Uh, what is the schedule for streaming sport this weekend, Frank Stone says. Uh, I'm doing all the NRL, all the NRL, man, on BK Sport USA. If you subscribe, we've got the uh, two NBA games tomorrow, Boston Celtics versus the uh, Brooklyn Nets in 9.30 a.m. in the morning, and then Chicago Bulls versus Milwaukee Bucks at 11 a.m. And then tomorrow night, we'll be doing the uh, Cronulla Sharks versus Manly Seagulls game. On Sunday, on Friday night, what are we going to be doing? So we're waiting here for the official, uh, then to officially call it. On Friday night, we'll be streaming uh, Broncos Bulldogs, but we've also got two, a baseball game at 4.20 in the morning on BK Sport USA for the Cubbies and uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, followed by an NBA, couple NBA playoff games, and then we've got that Broncos Bulldogs game. Saturday, same old thing, man. We've got baseball, basketball, then those two NRL games, Titans, Cowboys, Tigers, Rabbitohs. On Sunday, big day, though. We've got baseball, Cubs, Pirates, then we've got Tyson Fury versus Dylan White, and then we have Knights, Eels, and Pen Panthers versus the Raiders. So, yeah, huge weekend, man. Huge weekend. Big ass what USA link just got dropped there. Uh, we're still going to wait here, guys, for the official um, card to come out. 
this is the thing, guys, and I want to say this. I this is why I say to you guys, if you don't want to pay for event, just chill out here with me, yeah? Um, because I get my money back for this, okay? I get my money back for this. I pay for it, um, you know, and I obviously am able to earn it back. So I don't lose anything from this event, right? Um, but you guys, that $40 was way too much for this event, way too much. It was one of the worst fight cards, fight setups I've ever seen in my life. It was one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. So... Um, what I will advise you is that if you don't want to pay $40 for a big event, literally just come here, man. Um, and this isn't me just circle joking myself. It's just me saying like, this wasn't worth it tonight. Uh, it's true. Did Harman lose? Yeah, he got TKO round two. So it says, uh, you sound like the flog now. Zarafa got his tile shot. Now good on him. I hope he brings it home. No, I don't like, sound like the flog. Zarafa won that fight. I think that it was too early. I think that the call was too early there. Um, but no, I don't sound like the flog here at all, man. I think that he was the better fighter in round one. I think he was the better fighter there in round two. Um, and it's good to see them, uh, you know, hugging it out right now after after all things are said and done there. Um, but no, no, I'm no, I'm not, man. You know, you can you can definitely see that Zarafa was the, the the better fighter in those first two rounds, and it, it just is what it is, man. You know, you can't win them all, and uh, you can't make all the right predictions there at all, and um, you got to give credit where credit's due. But I do believe that the umpire stopped that one way too early. You, you, yeah, exactly right. Still, Smith still sound like a flog. We obviously know Smith is a troll. It is what it is, guys. Um, but you know, Zarafa is saying. <laughs> All the haters, thank you. <laughs> Darren Daniel says, uh, Smith, you still sound like Vlog, yeah? Greg Schultz says, Hardman is a dunce. He should go push lawnmowers. Log, Logan Finlay says, it's free and you can have fun and talk about the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Satan Carlson says, a shocking event with the only one good match. Um, yeah, yeah, the last fight was good, not this fight. Dylan Circle says, so glad I didn't put that. I'm so glad I didn't put that. I would have been angry as thank you to work, uh, thank you to work for working late. Um, oh, as thank you to work for working late. Appreciate you, dude. I think that's what you're saying. Catch Slim says the experience prize on point, bro. Easy money. Uh, well, uh, boxing is never easy money, but it ended up being good money for you. Uh, Sergeant Kellen says stop, uh, stop around to beak our sports, save money on shit out events like this, and to have a fun and chill time. Absolutely, man. We kick back and have a good one. But I wish it was a bit longer there. I wish it was a bit, fun, a bit more. Uh, uh, we had a bit more time to to kick back and enjoy some boxing. But you know. Uh, be good to see what he does next. Like, who does he go up against next? Because Tim Su is still not going to take this fight. Tim Su will not will not go near Zarafa. He's too big for for uh, Zarafa right now. They're saying about the rematch. I just Zarafa. Here we go. World title coming up next. Yeah, that's cool. But you ain't going to be you. Tim Su is not going to be taking you on, butter. Uh, Madeline says, are you a full-time YouTuber, BKR? I'm here pretty much every day. I'm here pretty much every day, so I get around it quite a bit. Uh, Jack Sullivan says, are you going to Magic Round? I'll be there on Saturday. I'll be doing all three games. I sunk seven long next to VV. Good on you, bro. I'll be going all three, I'll be going all three games on the Saturday, which is Warriors, Rabbitohs, um, Dragons, Titans, and Pent Storm. Tim Zhu, man. Like, bro, you calling him out, but you ran from him the last time you fought, went to fight him. You're the one who ran from him. No, you did back out of that fight. No, I don't know why you're saying you never backed out of that fight. You did. Yeah, that's cool, but you you did. There's no point lying here, Zarafa. Like, you've had a good win here, but there's no point lying that you, did, you backed out of that, you didn't back out of that fight when you did. Frank Stone says, not going to lie, no, nothing like this sport, but enjoy listening to the Big Howl commentary nonetheless. <laughs> Give it up, bro. Appreciate you, Frank. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Greg, uh, Oz to City says there won't be a rematch. Uh, well title, your positive COVID test. <laughs> Best training camp. Hey, I want to hear Hardman. Not going to make excuses. He got him. Yeah, that's boxing at the end of the day. You win some, you lose some. You win well, you lose well. Good on you. I hope he goes and gets that IBF full title. A lot of beef. Social media is a crazy old place. At the end of the day, and he punched my head in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good on him. He's, he's taking it like a champion. He is. He's taking it like a champion. Hartman's taking it like a champion. He's saying, I'll keep boxing until I'm 33. I'm going to marry my beautiful fiance and 
uh, he's going to win a world title one day. Is what Harbin says. I don't believe that's. I don't think I believe he will. Um, but with that being said, you you got to you got to appreciate the way he's taken this. Like he literally said, you know, that's boxing, man. I came in here and uh, we got uh, uh, he got slapped here today and. Yeah, better fighter one is what he said. Robert Anthony says, everyone please support this brother and drop a like or subscribe. Exactly right, Robert. Appreciate you, dude. Like I said, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. on Sunday, we'll be streaming live for the Tyson Fury fight. <laughs> Fleabag punched my head in. Good on him. But I do think the stop hoots was quite early. Jared Choice, I wouldn't mind seeing Sarafa versus two. It was meant to be. Ric Flair. The Ric F- Oh, no. Oh, true. Okay. Oh, that was really lame. That was really lame. Uh, they're really sucking each other off now. Um. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna jump off here for for the time being. I appreciate you as always. Obviously, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. We're gonna be back, like I said, tomorrow. Sharks Manly on this channel, but on BKR Sport USA for the two NBA games between the Celtics and the um, Celtics and Nets and Bucks and the Bulls. So I appreciate you as usual, guys. I uh, hope you still had fun here. Despite obviously the event being a bit of a um, being a bit of a drizzler overall, but I appreciate you as always. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.